All right, we're going to start our recording too. We are streaming. We are recording. Um, it doesn't say I'm dropping any frames right now. But theoretically, <laughs> things are working fine. Um, oh, I need to reset my timer and the death counter we don't need. Whoopsies. Um, we want to switch the text back to zeroed out because I have not started yet. Okay. And I don't remember what my start button is. Oh, freaking crap. How did I mess this up? Uh, plugins. Where are they? Or scripts? Is this a script or a plugin? It's a scripts. Um, count up from zero. Text source timer one. Um, well, here's the start stop button. So we're going to use that and then close this. We're not going to question it. Um, okay, so starting a new file, Skyrim Anniversary Edition, nothing. We're using no, I, I guess this will be a video, so I should probably explain it at the beginning. No items used. Anything that goes into my inventory cannot be used. Um, the idea is that nothing will be in my inventory. I'll probably just drop stuff as I pick it up. Uh, the only thing is obviously quest items have to be used, but really I don't consider that using an item as much as it is carrying one. I would not say that my mailman is using my mail. I'd say he's delivering it. Um, so quest items obviously are a necessity, but outside of that, uh, we won't be using... Now, if the quest items are like a weapon or armor, you can't put those on. You can't use those. They are just um, to be delivered. Uh, I need to very quickly... Sorry. Something's driving me insane over here. Boom. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's. it's about as simple as, as it gets. Fully vanilla playthrough. Other than it's the anniversary edition, so it has the Creation Club content on it. Um, I am finally awake. And the objective is just beat the game, kill Alduin. Yo, it's Magoo! <laughs> I should have probably started with that, too. Very professional start to stream. You know, as expected from Notorious Streamer Magoo. Wait, Notorious doesn't usually mean good. Whatever. Storm cloaks the Empire wants. Taking my watch off because it messes me up sometimes. And I'm gonna need to be good. What's wrong with him? Kill who? All doing the world eater. Um, you'll meet him in just a second if you stick around. Um, yeah, effectively, the, there is an objective to this game, and it's to kill one specific dragon. Hello, Milky Phoenix. How are you today? Where are they taking us? I really, with Skyrim challenges there's a very strong temptation to like start after all of this <laughs> it's classic but it takes a while what village are you from horse thief why do you care a nord's last thoughts should be at home man the i don't like that our head doesn't tilt with the cart either never finished this game that i've always wanted to i've only finished this game like twice <laughs> i've played this game for hundreds of hours and i've only finished it like twice so this will be like a new experience for me. Is everything looking all right with stream? Is it lagging or anything? I, this is the first time ever streaming while recording other than a couple of test streams. Um, so I'm, I'm not sure. Did the anniversary edition make the graphics better? Yeah. Yeah. The, the I don't know if it, it's coming through on the live stream well, but things look a lot nicer and smoother in this version of the game than the one I'm used to playing. Of course, the one I'm used to playing is a modded mess as well because I've modded it so many times and then, like, uninstalled the mods, like, halfway, so it's completely broken. Um, so when Anniversary Edition came out, I didn't actually have Spy Spyrim. <laughs> um, I didn't have Skyrim Special Edition, which is what came out later. I had, like, the standard edition of Skyrim. Um, look, the background is even, like, the focus is racking as I look from, like, here to over there. That's neat. Um, so maybe the special edition always looks this good. Good, so your fault, Nezlock. It was awesome. Oh, thank you so much. I worked um, really, really hard on that. That video took me about six months to make, um, off and on. But uh, for the last month or so, I've been working on it probably, I don't know, um, 10, 15 hours a week for the last month or so at least. Um, odds are it was a good 150 plus hour project. Um, when it's all said and done. But I had a blast. Um, it was a, a really fun edit. 
it was a really fun video to make but uh and the challenge was fun too if you're a fan of fallout 4 i highly recommend playing it that way it like i used weapons i've never used before i looked at the game completely differently it, it felt good um i don't know that i'm gonna get the same personal enjoyment out of this challenge um but I didn't want to do... I'm going to do the same thing in Skyrim eventually. I just didn't want to do the same thing back to back. And this stream is for the next video I'm going to make. Um, and so just to keep things fresh, I wanted to switch games, do a different kind of challenge. I'll eventually Nuzlocke Skyrim. That one will be harder to do because of how to classify the weapons. It will be a bit trickier. But I'll I'll do another spreadsheet. I'll make it work. Um, I want to do it in all the like first-person Fallout games. Uh, as well as um, the Outer Worlds. If you've ever played the Outer Worlds, or if you haven't ever played the Outer Worlds, either one. It's a really good game. Um, it's made by Obsidian, who made New Vegas, and um, soon avowed Obsidian's fantasy version is is coming out soon. And so I'd like to get a, the Outer Worlds Nuzlocke out at some point before that happens. Um, because then that way, whenever a vowed comes out, I can do that. Now, I've already been putting a lot of thought into what race are we picking? Yeah, uh, in survival difficulty, yes, there are a lot of advantages to certain races. I've never actually done a playthrough in survival yet because I haven't had this version for long, but we're ignoring all of that. <laughs> and we're going with a high elf who has very few advantages in survival. There is a good reason for it, though. Being a high elf um, is going to be necessary for a few reasons. So since we cannot pick up items, um, obviously we cannot use uh, weapons at all. And so really our only ways of dealing damage were are unarmed and the magics, like the spells that we start with. Um, so I thought about going Khajiit for better unarmed and they also have better survival-ish stuff. But effectively, you have to fight a lot of dragons in the game and having something that can hit at range is just going to be kind of needed for, for how this is going to work. Um, and out of the different magic geared races high elves by far work the best just because they um uh always vote orc see it's like berserk is really good and i i thought about orc and they are really good for survival the thing is my like 90 percent of my damage is going to come from magic um so berserk orc with unarmed was an option but the unarmed wouldn't do very much um especially since we can't wear any armor so we can't get the, like gauntlet you know perk later on from heavy armor um and so High Elf gives us access to Highborn, which regenerates magic really quickly for a minute, which can kind of allow us to infinitely cast fire spells. Um, so, unfortunately, I've, I'm not a big fan of High Elves, but I have not been able to think of any option that I, that I feel has a better chance than High Elves. I like this guy. Um, but I, I play Orcs probably. Khajiit and Orc are by far the two most... If I'm going to do stealth, I go Khajiit. If I'm going to do punchy punchy, I go Orc. Um, High Elf is your favorite. The other thing is that High Elf start with 50 extra Magicka, which is the only race that starts with any actual boost to your base stats. Since we can't eat hardly any food, if at all, I don't actually know if we can at all, um, since we can't really eat anything, and um, we'll be cold a lot of the time, our stamina and our health are both going to be like bottomed out no matter what race we play. <laughs> so I need something that can have some range. And the only thing that affects magic, I believe, is sleep which we can do because because like beds are not like an item as far as my inventory is concerned. Um, so I am, I'm goodness. I'm sorry. I've smacked this like three times. I'm allowing the use of beds, which also will allow us to level up. I was trying to do magic build, but it feels weird to me. Maybe there's some mods that were help. There definitely are in honestly. And that's what I'm worried about here. Um, I like that, that dark one. Um, I do not have any mods active. This is completely vanilla. Uh, let's make him buff. That just seems funny to me. Um, but yeah, the, uh, magic is very determined by your enchant, your armor and your enchantments or robes or whatever. Um, in most playthroughs, like by the end of the game, most of the spells you get, you can't like use without some sort of buff to your magic from your armor. Thankfully, I won't be getting any of those spells because I can't read spell tomes. Um, so I'm going to be using flames <laughs> for like the entire game. Um, I don't know that I care enough about any of this. We can give him some war paint, though. I think war paint is really cool. Um, I've always been partial to this one and this one. Let's go with the, the eye scar. Let's do a, let's do a purple, though. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I don't think I'm going to mess with the face at all. We're not really going to be seeing it any. I, I'm just... Let's change eye color, or let's see what the options are. 
Actually, that green is probably going to be the coolest option we have, huh? Ooh, the red's kind of nice. Yeah, let's go with that red. It's kind of cool. Uh, but no, we have no mods active at this point. I thought about putting some cosmetic mods on, but since this version's a lot <laughs> better in appearance already, obviously, you know, I don't have any mods, but all the Creation Club stuff that came with the Anniversary Edition is on. Uh, I've not actually explored that at all, so I, I, there will be things that I do not know about in here, which I'm very nervous about. Um... Yeah, we're just going to stick with the rest of it as is. I, I like the white hair. We're going to go with it. I'm not taking too much time on this. Finish and name your character. Okay. I thought about the name beforehand, and since I'm going to have nothing um, and be practically homeless, I'm naming um, him Linus. Um, Linus. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Stardew Valley lately because the new update came out for it. Linus is the homeless guy. <laughs> The big concern is going to be where I can sleep. Like, finding places that have unowned beds that I don't have to pay money for because I'm not allowed to spend money. Because I shouldn't have any money. Um, High Elf, unfortunately, does not start with Sparks. Dark Elf starts with Sparks. Um, which was a... There's, there's a very strong case for Dark Elf here because they start with Sparks and they also have the Ancestor's Wrath ability, which is like a flame cloak, which does warm you when you're getting too cold in survival. If I fail this run... Like, if I get to a point where I just can't proceed, I have to probably restart as Dark Elf. Hey, you know, awesome. Um, <laughs> so, um, Dark Elf is, is a very solid option. They start with a higher destruction skill, too. The Highborn ability, I think, is the, is the main draw here. What High Elves start with is um, Fury, the illusion spell, which will not work on anything past, like, I think, level three or four. It is technically an avenue to get more levels if I need more perks, because I can cast it on weak stuff on loop to level up my illusion to get extra perks to put into destruction or restoration. But otherwise, everybody starts with flames and healing. Um, Bretons start with conjure, or, or yeah, conjure familiar. Dark elves start with shocks and then, or sparks or whatever it is. And um, yeah, I get fury. I won't really be using Fury, but if I need to level grind, it's an option. Because realistically, my level's going to stay really low. Like, the only things that I can do to gain levels... Can't pickpocket, because that's items. I mean, I guess technically I could take the items, but not use them. But that feels like too weird of a blurred line, so I'm not going to be doing that. Um, can't lockpick, won't have any of those. Um, can't use any weapon or armor-based stuff. Unarmed doesn't give you anything, so we'll have Destruction, Restoration... Sneak. I can sneak. Which, as soon as you cast a spell, that doesn't do it. But, like, I could level it up just for the sake of it to try and, like, sneak past enemies and stuff. One thing that will actually be a very big deal in this run, I can use shouts. Um, I'm not considering Dragon Souls items. You can't hold them. I'm saying they're fair game. If I can kill the dragons for them, I think I deserve it. So, um, yeah. Shouts, I'm going to rely pretty heavily on after a certain point. Um, because, oh, by the way, um, Amy, that's, that's all doing him. I gotta kill him. That's our objective is kill him. My hands are tied up right now or I, or I would just do it now and win the game. Of course. Um, also this isn't going to be using any weird, like speed run strats because mostly because I don't know them, but also because I don't want to get into freaking horse tilt or whatever it is. Um, I am just going to run straight past all of this. Whee! Oh, let's check our difficulty also because so you can't actually start survival mode until after you finish the tutorial. So we're not technically in survival right now, which is just kind of annoying, but whatever. Um, but I do want to go to our settings. I think gameplay wise, we're going to leave it in master rather than legendary. I would do legendary the entire time, but I think there's a very high chance I have to back off of legendary later. And I would rather try and start in something and stay in something. And I, I think I can do better than expert. Um, is that a different dragon than the one you killed at the start? Yes. Yeah, the one you killed at the start is some other named dragon. I don't even remember its name. It's not really significant. Um, Al Alduin is like, just think of him as king dragon, sort of. <laughs> um, so we're going to be playing in master, and, and we're going to see how that feels. If it feels too easy, um, I'll bump it up. And if it feels uh, way too hard, I might adjust it later. But excuse me, Alduin, I'm ignoring you. <laughs> I love it. If you know where you're going in this initial starting section, you can just skip. You can just, like, pretend like there is no danger. Um, which way do these guys even go? 
I'm Imperial all the way, just in case you're curious. So we're going with Hadvar, and I'm pretty sure he goes through this door. Because they, like, cross as they run, I think. Is that the... So no, this is not the so false dragon. We will, we will see that one today, for sure, though. Um, I might need to adjust my camera up some. Please hold while I do something that's very unprofessional on a stream. And adjust my camera. Oh, too far. We should keep them. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. That's not any better. I didn't move <laughs> didn't move it at all. Going to cut themselves. Come on. Come on, just a little. There. <sighs> Come on. You need your hands free. That did a, a t I moved it a little. I don't know if that I don't know if that's any better at all. Take a look around. Shoot. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these worms. So with the Empire on the Railroad, you're pretty... Most people would not agree with you on that. Most people would say I'm very not cool for doing that. Um, yeah, no, I, I like... There's no point in searching that wooden chest. I will just move on. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, magic. So, yeah, we have Fury, which I will... Um, I'll favorite everything so that we don't have to... Uh... I'm not used to the controls here. One second. Favorite flames. Healing. And then we will equip Highborn. Favorite it as well. Uh, camera looks good. Thank you. Uh, well, I don't know. Do I look like I'm sinking a bit now? Do I look like I'm just ahead? <laughs> Maybe I just need to zoom it out a little bit. Hold on. Uh, well, hold up. Did I just zoom in? I did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Whoops. I'm backwards from, I'm used to being behind a camera. There, I think that's a bit better. I don't know, maybe I look really squatty now. Yeah, I'm kind of cutting my chin off. So I'm gonna tilt it back down, but just zoom out a bit. I think that's what my problem is, is that I zoomed in a bit too much. Come on. This is a nightmare. I have not used my stream setup in a while because I've been recording that video. So if I sit more comfortable here, I think I'm good. I like the slime coming out of your chest. <laughs> sure. Um, I think I adjusted this camera a bit. Whoops, too far in that direction. Yeah, that, that looks better, I think. My microphone went away. I kind of like it being a little bit visible there so people know what I'm talking into. The slime coming out of my chest. Like, is there a canon reason why my chest is slimy? No. <laughs> Um, so let me now open my favorites menu. We're going to set flames to one, healing to two, fury to three. And that's, that's pretty much the lineup there. This is, <laughs> we've already got everything we need for the entire run. Oh, wait, uh, sorry. I'm breaking all the rules. Whew, that was close. I had clothes on for a second there. Camera good now? Cool. Um, oh, but yeah, back to your saying. Empire and Railroad. I, okay, how are we doing here? We're not, we're not doing good. Uh, okay, that didn't do that much damage, though. But let's try and... And we are already almost out of magic. That's cool. Hadvar, are you helping or what? Woo! Just wondering why the slime? Because it's it's the goo. It's the goo from Goo Dog. My Goo Dog. It's the goo. <laughs> That's it. That's the lore. Um... The, the lore is, is, is goo. <laughs> so, uh, Magoo Dog is the gamer tag. It is the name of the channel. I go by Magoo. Uh, the Goo Dog is the channel, like, uh, logo, uh, mascot, however you want to look at it. And, um, the, the goo is a, a purple goo. I'm, I'm glad. I appreciate it. Oh, that's Hadvar. Sorry, dude. So now, there's not an easy way to unequip. I don't think I can, like, set <laughs> fists to something. There's all these nice potions in here that you normally take, but uh, not me. Moving on. Um, but, sorry. Railroad and, and Empire, I think, are both morally uh, the, the, like, correct options. Personal opinion there. Um, in my opinion, in Fallout, the way that synths are presented, they are presented as, like, people. Like, as having that level of, like, um... Uh, 
what's the word I'm thinking of? Sentience? Sorry for interrupting. No, you're fine. Um, they, they're presented as having like the same level of sentience as um, people. And so in my opinion, um, anything that would just kill all of them or enslave all of them is pretty immoral. Now, you know, if they're not, that's one thing, but it, it very much, to me, is presented as if they're just as much people as people are. So to me, that, that means the railroad is more objectively right there. Now, obviously the Minutemen are a fine choice as well, and they're probably much better suited to like manage the Commonwealth, but um, I like the railroad better because they're quirky and weird. Oh, they both have bigger swords. Um, as far as the Empire versus the Stormcloaks, I just don't understand how anybody picks the Stormcloaks. I'm all for religious freedom and all that, but they're just like... I mean, come on, they're the racist faction. <laughs> it's just like, how do you... How do you really side with that too much, you know? This is the one time I'll have help fighting and I will happily take it. Because this, this ain't get, this is what we got. This is the run. It ain't getting any better. <laughs> but that's all right. Woo, bob and weave. Light them up. Walk into the flames, dude. Not you. You weren't the one supposed to walk into the flames. Sorry, I got to get my control scheme back in my brain. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh no! Don't su don't suplex when you're in under me. <laughs> oh crap! Sorry for flashing you, everybody. That was that was not part of the plan. Oh my gosh! Ooh! <laughs> That's um. Okay, I was about to say, cool, we probably won't get to see many, like, melee finishers because of, um, I won't actually be punching that much, but, man, that's probably for the best. So with flames, since they do, like, a residual damage, a lot of times it's better to just kind of poke and prod. I don't know how that guy did not just hit me. Um, you got stuck. Destruction increased to 21. We are practically petitioned for allowable trousers. I mean, you don't get any benefit from the ones I was wearing before. Actually, they any trousers might give you some amount of warmth, which would be not in the spirit of this challenge. We could try and sneak past the bear, I guess. Like they tell you to. But I've never snuck past this bear before. Ever. Can I get a point to sneak by just like moving around over here? Let's see, is my sneak leveling up? I'll take any early game levels I can get. Yeah, my sneak is leveling up doing this. Can I just do this for a while until I get sneak 16? I'll take, I mean, there's gonna be times where we have to just avoid combat. This is not one of those times. We can take the bear, I'm pretty sure. Uh, by the way, saving, survival mode. Oh, we don't have survival mode yet. I was like, does I don't know if it restricts saving or not. I don't know if I should restrict saving or not. You know, have like a like Fallout survival where it's like based on sleeping or, or whatever. Um, how's Sneak looking? Oh no, that's not increasing at all right now. So there was, a, there was a period where I walked where it did. Maybe over here? Maybe get a little closer? And like walk into the wall over here? Is this doing it? It is. Okay, I'm going to walk into this wall for a second. I want to see if I can get a couple of sneak points just to like... The earlier I can get the novice destruction thing, the better. Because I'll be able to use flames twice as much as soon as I get that. Um, and that's like the biggest power boost we're going to get for the entire game. So the earlier we can get it, the more the quicker we'll know what we're, what we're in for. Um, but you know, that's fine. Come on, give it to me. Is it Does it not go up if I'm walking into the wall? Oh, I have to actually, like, move around? Is that doing it? I can't tell. Maybe I have to be within view of him. Like, approaching and backing up. Is he dead? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. This is doing it for sure. Sure. 
Listen, there's going to be some cheesy nonsense in this run. I'm just telling you right now, there's going to be some annoying garbage. Why is, is this bear deaf? Like, I mean, I'm all for... Is it because they haven't gotten here and told me to sneak yet that he's not... Is this like the most exploitable thing ever? Nope. No, it isn't. Okay, I had to I had to test it, huh? Okay. <laughs> oh, frick. <laughs> oh, crap. Let's try and conserve some magic. Do some Bernie damage to him. You know, let let do some damage over time. And then go in for the kill. Wait, what what is it that you're doing? Um, I was pretty much trying to level up my sneak because I was crouched and by like approach sneaking up to him and then backing up over and over, it was giving me sneak experience. So my sneak leveled up one and a half times just off of me kind of waltzing around the bear a little bit. Um and I don't actually need sneak for much in this run. There might be times where sneaking past enemies is, is worth considering. Um, but right now, I'm just doing it to try and get my first actual level up as soon as possible. Because I can... Let's think. I think there's only three skills I can level up. I can level up sneak. I can't do lockpicking. I can't do pickpocket. I guess I can technically do speech. I can't buy anything, but I can do persuasion like twice. I might get a level on speech. Probably not. Can't level up alchemy. I can level up illusion. I cannot level up conjuration. I can on destruction and restoration. I cannot on alteration, enchanting, smithing, heavy armor, block, two-handed, one-handed archery. Yeah. So at most, three to maybe four skills can be leveled up in this entire game. The rest of them cannot be used in the slightest. Um, unless I find a skill book because reading a book on a table, you don't actually have to add it to your inventory. That's a technicality, I'm sure, but I'm saying that that counts as something I can do. There's not a whole lot I can do, so I might as well take what I can get. But the thing is, that might actually be detrimental because I'm leveling up a skill that I can't even use. So it's honestly most likely just going to make the whole game harder, so I probably won't do that. Um, yes, we will be in the enabling survival mode now. That is the plan. Wait. Yeah, I'm not waiting. It's just all doing. The air is warm here. That's good. Nice and warm air. Um, that's what we all want to see in life. I need to, my mouse cord is like slipping behind my desk. There's something like weighing it down right now. Oh, it's it's strung through another cord. That's why. Um, so I just need to put something heavy on it where it is on the desk. Is my camera batty? 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 <laughs> uh, my Camry, Camry? Oh my gosh. Camera battery is heavy enough to stop it from sliding behind the desk. I can't talk today. That is not a good sign. Uh, all these ingredients that I cannot pick. Um, I mean, I guess I could. I don't know. I haven't really landed on my policy for can I pick up items or can I just not use them? I think the point is that I can't even pick up items. There's not really a benefit to doing it. So I, I don't know why I would anyway. Uh, we are going to grab the mage stone um, so that we can level up our destruction and restoration quicker. We probably won't keep that for the entire playthrough. There will likely come a point where we switch it to one that has something that can benefit us a bit more because these are one of the few things that I can actually do. Um, but for now, the quicker we can level up our, our magic, the better. Um, so we want that. So let's talk real quick about the, the skill perks. Um, let me show you the only ones that matter. <laughs> this, is, this is how I'm planning on beating the run. And I'm hoping it works the same in this version of Skyrim as the one I'm used to playing because... Um, I haven't played this version of Skyrim much. So, destruction. Novice destruction is a huge deal. It'll make flames way better. Dual casting is also a huge deal. It will also make flames way better. Then, um, from here, augment in flames. Fantastic. Intense flames. If I can get to it, sure. Probably not. Otherwise, though, augmented frost, augmented shock don't matter. I cannot get frost or shock spells. And none of these up here matter. Apprentice Destruction does matter. We'll get to that later. And um, Impact matters a lot. Um, impact matters a, a whole lot. We'll get to why later. Um, but just know that there's gonna, there's some weird quirks that um, I'm already hungry. Oh, that sucks. Um, so that's another problem is I can't eat food. Man, this one bandit takes all that to kill. How many freaking naked him just standing there are we going to have to see in this run? 
Uh, I'm not going to take... I Normally, I would go in there and clear that place out, but I don't gain any benefit from getting the iron ore. Um, and I don't, if I need to go power level, that's not going to be the place for it. Um, we're going to try not to do that. We're going to try and only just play straight through the quest and just level up as we go. Oh, let's not get bit because I really don't want to contract any diseases. That's actually a, a big deal. Because if I contract a disease... If I contract a disease, I can't heal it, I don't think. Unless you can sleep them off. Because shrines cost money, and I don't have any money. And I'm not going to have any money. My items right now... Oh, it gave me 12 lockpicks. We're going to drop those. My items right now are none. Uh, I think that guy's caption said, You should have come here. Get on in, buddy. You should have come here. Unless that's meaning something very different. We're not going to think on that too much. All right, so we've made it to Riverwood. They're going to tell me to go to White Run. That's like, like completing quests has no meaning. Um, because, like, what's the freaking point? Like, other than the main quest. Like, if they give you a reward, who cares? Don't go setting the place on fire, okay? Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to ignore this. Oh, yeah, I can get warm real quick off the forge. I think I'm going to run on up to Bleak Falls Barrow because no fast travel. So, um, oh, can I, is quick save a thing still? It is. I don't know how much I want to allow quick saves. That's an interesting thing to think on. I kind of want to just allow the game's auto saves, but maybe that, that might be dumb. I don't actually think I'm going to die on that hill. Uh, we're going to head on up to Bleak Falls Barrow, get the Dragonstone now so that we don't have to do as much running back and forth because, uh, no fast travel. The map effectively... Serves us, like, no no function currently. Um, so, yeah, you'll notice, though, with our skills, um, or our stats, I mean, our stamina is already starting to go down because we're cold. My magicka is green as if it's got an active effect buffing it, but I think that's literally just refreshed. Picking pockets is easier when you're warm. Hiles are born with 50 extra magicka. Like, oh, and I have 25% resistance to fatigue. So, because this is here, it always acts like I'm under a magic effect that gives me extra magic, even though I'm not. Um, I don't see why vampirism and lycanthropy are not allowed in this challenge. And that was one of the things I was going to get to in a bit, is um, becoming a vampire gives you access to an additional spell. It's actually pretty good if you progress decently far into being a vampire. While becoming a werewolf, uh, obviously gives you a lot of boosts there um neither of them use any items they have their own benefits and drawbacks obviously um and the like master vampire thing is I, I don't i'm not doing master vampire um i'm just gonna go ahead and say that i feel like if if i became a master vampire effectively the challenge would become master vampire only playthrough like it, it just would be so i'm not gonna be doing that I am considering becoming a werewolf. I'm not going to use it a whole lot in combat if I do, but my thought is the air is treacherously cold. Total health. Move more slowly. Stand near fire to warm up. Sun or snowflake, yada yada. Can slow down how quickly you become warmer wearing armor with a high warmth. Ah, yes, that will help. Um, great. Let's not fight those bandits. I think if you just walk by. Oh, are you serious? You're attacking me? Oof. Okay, we're just going to keep moving now. Whoa, I'm in a rock. Um, technically, the werewolf can be boost boosted by totems, but those are items. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Um, I wouldn't be doing any of the werewolf quests. I don't even know if I would get any of the werewolf perks. Um, there is one... Oh, yeah, you don't, like, regenerate health in this mode, do you? So I need to, like, actually be doing this. I haven't taken hardly any hits. Um, there's one main benefit to becoming a werewolf to me, and I think that it might give us our only access to food. Um, you don't actually have to eat. You won't starve to death, even in survival. But it gives you some major penalties. So my thought is, if I turn into a werewolf and eat people, that, um... If I turn into a werewolf and eat people, it might fix my hunger. So we, we might do that. We'll see how necessary it seems. Could you stop? Whoa! <laughs> I dodged him like an Oh, man. Like it's my job. Yeah, kiting enemies is just kind of 
how this is going to go. And do the exploit where you start the companion's quest but use magic during the practice match. Um, I mean... Can you not just punch him in the face? I'm allowed to punch people. I don't actually... haven't even thought about that. I have not considered that in the slightest. I'll be honest with you. Not nearly enough thought has went into this. I am freezing. That's good. Look at my darn health. Holy crap. That's so bad. This is going to end up becoming a I take a hit and I die kind of run, huh? Oh, dang. So let me very quickly show you why I'm a high elf. This is why I'm a high elf. Because now I can go kill this guy. I just activated Highborn. And my magic uh, filled up enough to do that. Why did it stop? So if you look at my magic in the bottom left, that's why I'm a High Elf. Um, again, there's merits to being a Dark Elf, but I, th I think High Elf is probably the way to go. That's how a level grind of destruction is. Oh, you mean like using it to level up. No, I'm going to try my best not to use exploits. I won't guarantee that I won't use them if it becomes necessary. Um, Trevor Newquist. Thanks for becoming a Magoober. <laughs> Glad to have you. <laughs> um, I'm not going to guarantee that I won't do exploits to, to power level later, but I'm going to try my best not to. Oh, shoot. Because it cheapens the experience a bit and yada yada. Um... Because if I just got destruction to 100 right now, I think the get, it would kind of take out some of the challenge of the challenge. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We're starting to not be able to see. We're so cold. But there's a fire here. We're fine. Warm me up, fire. Please. That's how this works, right? Do I have to stand, like, in it? Oh. The, the lighting effects are going to woof. Drive me a bit nuts. So can, I can sleep in these, right? Sweet. Um, so now here's what we do. I'd like to get Highborn back, but I don't know if it's actually worth the, um, I don't know if it's worth the hunger that I would take right now, since I don't have any way to replenish it currently. Um, as I get hungry, I'm just getting hungry. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I think right now the objective is to kind of do everything as fast as possible until I can become a werewolf and eat somebody. I think that's that's the idea. Uh, because other than eating people as a werewolf, and I don't actually know if that'll fix your hunger when you come out of being a werewolf. I have no idea. I've not played this game mode before. Oh, let's let this guy die, though. He's, um, I don't know if, if, if you don't know this, that bandit is a higher level than any other one in here because it's designed, he's designed to die. You're supposed to just watch him die right here. If you actually go fight him, um, he can mess you up if you're just level one and playing in a pretty hard difficulty. Um... So, I think it should be that. I'm not even going to look at them again. I'm pretty sure I remember the pattern. Yeah, we're good. Uh, look at all that stuff we can't grab. Uh, but yeah, I, I've i considered doing the whole, like, get a mammoth to chase you into an area a mammoth can't fit in <laughs> for destruction. Um, I'm going to try and avoid that, though. There is one area that's <laughs> really stupid where you can just kind of grind destruction and restoration together. Very little. Very, very few levels. Um because of how slow it goes, but I find it funny and I always do it a little bit. And so I'll show that if it works in this version of the game. Uh, no, thank you. Sorry that this is going to be exactly how everyone has to fight the spider every time and, and very lame, but you know, we're already out of magic. I could try and run out and punch it a couple of times. I just don't know how much damage this thing will actually do if it hits me. I mean, I'm assuming a lot. As long as I keep it, like, taking the little, like, burn tick damage as much as I can. Then we'll we'll kill it eventually. Yeah, Arvel, I'm working on it, alright? Kill it, kill it, he said. You kill it. Just, just the objective is to just keep him taking the little burning residual damage for as much as possible. This is how we're going to do a lot of fights in the early game until I can level up enough times to get any amount of magic. Or at least until I can get novice destruction. That will help a ton. Don't let it get 
I don't know if this challenge is possible, just for the record. I, I didn't do the research one would assume before starting this. Please. Okay, so another uh, big obstacle we're gonna face in this run is my own personal patience. It's very low. Come on, try and hit me. Oh, that is a lot of poison damage. Hmm. Hmm. See, we're in a bit of a conflict here between my uh, my patience level and the likelihood of me having to do this twice. Is that bandit a substantially higher level? Is the tiny dart still take him down? Yeah, it's weird. I think it's hard coded to auto kill him, but no matter when you come in here, he's a much higher level. Even though the tiny like those darts don't do that much damage, for some, I think to show that traps are dangerous because this is your tutorial, they have it coded to kill him if he gets hit by him at all. But if you try and fight him, he'll, I've, I don't know that if I come straight here, if I ever like win, unless I'm in like an easy difficulty. Oh, uh, don't give me the cutscene. This is, it's not gonna kill him. <laughs> Freaking heck. All right, let's uh, get my magic back before cutting Arvel down because spoilers, I know how this goes. Yeah, give me a second Arvel. Just a second. I'm just, I'm waiting for no particular reason. Speaking of waiting, can I? I can. So, barring the hunger issue, I can get Highborn back instantly, but it'll make you starve to death. So that's, um, this should be enough. It's coming loose. I can feel it. Give me that claw. It is a quest item. I am supposed to pick it up. Why should I share the with anyone? Oh. Thank you. So this is the one type of thing you can pick up. I can pick up the Golden Claw. Um, because it is a key, it is an item, I'm delivering it more so than actually using it. Um, oh wait, Draugr. Should I regen everything first? I probably should. Wait, there's a thing that'll kill them over there, right? Oh my gosh. That is not much damage, huh? Sheesh. That sucks. That sucks bad. The claw. Oh yeah, I've got one back there. Um, I should pull that out, but I'm not going to. Oh, please don't kill me with that. Come on, guys, walk on it. You know you want to. Yoo-hoo! Oh, it only got one of them. That's not good. It didn't even get the one that's like got more health. Yeah, you step on it too. Good call, dude. Good job. Where's the other one at? Now let me not step on it. <laughs> Make myself look like an idiot. Oh, it's the one I dealt damage to. Maybe I can actually kill this one. Yeah! I'm good at the game. Cool. Oh, that guy, I believe, is a restless draugr that has the, like, the frost hand he puts up in the air, if I recall correctly. Um, so let's get a little bit more magic back before waking him up. That's so funny to watch. My favorite is that they, it either will, like, ragdoll them immediately, or it will hit them and they will not budge an inch and then just collapse on the other end of it. And, and it's, there's no in-between. The physics in Skyrim are so completely busted. Yeah, this is a restless draugr that I almost definitely can't kill. Yep, there's the frost spell. Oh, dang it. I didn't get to the thing in time. Okay, so I gotta run over there faster. Shoot, that killed me quick. Okay, and we're back to the bedroll. Uh, we're still not warm enough? Oh, does it? It saves before you sleep, doesn't it? That's what it is. That's how the auto save works in this freaking game. Okay. Take two. First death. I'm not going to do a death counter for this one because I think it would get way too high. I think it would get absurdly high. <laughs> the death counter in the Nuzlocke made a lot more sense because it effectively was a counter on how many weapons I couldn't use. Uh, I can't use any weapons in this one, so I don't know that it's worth keeping track of. I don't know. It might be funny. So I Sky, I'm just like survival and fallout. Generally, yes. Um, you can save without sleeping though. I just didn't. <laughs> um, I'm torn on how I feel about saving. Cause like right now I can do this. I just quick saved the game. And now I can do this and I can reload where I was standing right when I quick saved. Why is he just standing there? <laughs> that was great. Um, how did it say before you sleep? Just like when you walk near bed. No, it's like whenever you go to sleep, whenever you hit to sleep, it like 
backs up a second and saves. I don't get how it works. That's just how Skyrim always has worked. Uh, but yes, uh, Skyrim survival also includes cold weather conditions, but it does not include water. You never have to drink. You only have to eat. Um, so it, it adds cold, removes thirst, I guess just to not overwhelm with annoying systems. It just didn't want to do extra. But um, it doesn't have the save restrictions that um, Fallout has. And so I don't know if I should self-impose those. Or... Oh, no. I'm not imposing those. Just for nuisance's sake, I'm not going to... I'm not going to do that. So the thing is, I have a death counter that I can pull up. Here, I'll... I'll I, I don't know. It's like... It's just going to be so abundantly high. Um, but maybe that'll be the funny of it, you know? So, yeah, here's... Oh, that's where it was for the Nuzlocke. You can tell I've, I've streamed very recently, obviously. Um... Death counter one. I mean, I guess we'll we'll use it for today, and we'll see if it's so annoying to keep up with that like that we don't want to deal with it. But we'll we'll do it for now. Why not? Hello there, friend. Oh my gosh! See, and that is where a quick save comes in. I don't know. It, it feels like a, a coward thing like because you can quick save your way you can kind of brute force this game really well with quick saves but at the same time this is the dumbest challenge so i don't think anyone would hold it against me for quick saving because effectively i can just make the video faster if i allow it because it'll spend less time backtracking for no reason and since not only can i not fast travel but since i can't spend money i can't take the carriages any less time spent backtracking is is probably uh, a really good stinking idea considering um how much just tracking there's gonna be like how much running around i'm gonna have to do in this run it, it's going to be anything i can do to cut down on the time this run's gonna take is probably wise not being able to take the carriage is gonna be rough especially in like the colder climates because you can freeze to death um, I am genuinely concerned about how that's going to look. Because, spoiler alerts, um, you have to go to the coldest uh, parts of this map multiple times. Um, and I'm going to be doing it in my skibbies. So... Got him. Okay. Um, I'd say since those safe restrictions aren't coded in survival this culture, you don't abide by them. That's what I kind of feel like as well. Um, so we'll we'll pop a save. I'm going to try not to abuse it too much. Some people will like quick save before every single encounter and all that kind of stuff. I will before the big ones. Like I'll save again before the Death Lord or whatever. But I'm going to try not to be just quick saving every 10 seconds, um, which I do have a tendency to do. Like I'm about to quick save again when this magic is full. Just so, no, I'm not. It's Arvel. I just didn't want to have to re-wait for that, but I'll just save before the next scary. Oh, wait, we have to get the claw. The claw! Actually, I'll just... One, one second. I'm wearing pants, so I can do this. Can I reach with my headphones on? Yeah. Yeah. We've acquired it. <laughs> We have acquired, we've acquired the claw. Cannot use it like this. Just key. I'll keep this here for good luck. <laughs> okay, now that we've got the claw, that was what went wrong before is I didn't actually have the golden claw. That was on me, sorry. All right. Yeah, I'm torn on the, the werewolf vampire thing. I really am because on the one hand, I don't know. I'm worried that it'll make the run. It might not go in the spirit of the run. If I use that, if I find myself just like, oh, I just do every fight as a werewolf because it makes more sense, then I might unallow it. But, and if, if I'm already a werewolf, ugh, that's the thing. If I'm already a werewolf, you still get boosts of like not getting disease and that kind of stuff. Okay. Well, we killed that one. We'll let these guys kill themselves. Come on, boys. Y'all set these traps, remember? No? <laughs> cool. 
Um, but yeah, like I'm the werewolf thing. I, I think so. From what I've seen, when you get hungry, it gives a red tint to the entire game. And just to avoid the annoyance of having that, having some way to refill food, even though it's a once a day power, I, I think is probably worth it. All right, we're gonna this time do a bunch of damage. And then as he's getting up and getting within range of freezing me to death, I'm gonna run over here and I'm gonna get close enough for him to, oh man. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Step on the thing! <laughs> he killed me so much faster last time, right? Like, I'm not crazy in thinking that, am I? But that was a lot slower. Um, the other thing, though, with the um, werewolf is that you have to do some... Oh, freaking, I woke him up. You have to do some decently difficult quests for early game, at least. Why is that? What is happening here? Hold on one second. I think I know why that's happening. One, one moment. Uh -huh. I think my script is causing issues. Do -do 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 -do. Let me see if this fixes that. I'm trying to jump, <laughs> and it is putting my hands up and down, which is obviously not how that's supposed to work. Where is it not running right now? Oh. Is that what it is? No. Um, where's my controls? Gameplay. What? I'm confused. Is it? It's doing set. It's not doing. It's doing settings. There we go. Space is jump. It is not ready and sheath. Yeah, drains. I mean, cold resist, though, I, does make me wonder about. That could be a valid option. Um, oh, space is now jumping again. I don't know what just happened. Could you do me a favor and just, like, die real quick? Oh, uh, goodness. What? I just hit shift to sprint and it my steam is being weird. The disease resistance is a good buff to have. Yeah, that's the other thing is that like, if I can't get rid of diseases, that might be very essential. Can we get that one to die? Okay. But I don't know, the cold resistance might be a bigger deal if we're being honest. Stop to try and hit me. What, did the button break? Did I overuse the trap and break it? I don't want to test it myself. Oh, he almost tested it into me, which would be a problem. Just keep him burning. This is just the plan at this point. I can't get the trap to work, so I'm just going to keep him on fire. Come on. Yeah! You're dead. Okay. Back to forward progression. This is Bleak Falls Barrel. This is not a good sign. Um, so here's what we're going to do this time. Do as much damage as we can. Does the button work when a body's on it? I don't know. Excuse me? What? What are the darn chances? Okay. Let's just, let's just round them all up. We're just... We're going to play this a little fast and loose here. Just a little risky, you know? <laughs> just yeah that's not happening um i mean i guess i could be punching these guys oh hello good to see more of you oh my goodness it feels like i'm playing call of duty zombies <laughs> back in the day running around map geometry to confuse them yep you're still chasing me huh Okay, well, this is a more open area. We can we can do some work here. Well, I guess I could level up block, huh? Oh! Well, shoot! I was not expecting that. I guess it was a greatsword. I should have been thinking ahead. Oh, darn it.
Oh, he turns and fights you? I can't die to Arvel. That would be the most embarrassing death in any game I've ever played. Yeah, just stop, dude. Stop. Give me the claw. Okay. We've got we've gotten the claw again. We're good. I have it here. Goodness. Okay, maybe we stop trying to kill things for now. The thing is I need the levels though. Let me um let me try something here. Wait, can you can't block with fists because it's a a dual wield situation, huh? So never mind, you can't level up block. Is there not a Is there not a I thought I guess I'm thinking of Fallout. Huh. Um. There's not a control. There's not a button for block, right? It's just it's just the same button as like attack. Just right hand, yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. If I have a, hmm, no, yeah, there's no way to to do that. Uh, 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 I can't see anything because I cannot get oriented. That works. If we can get this front guy to slow down a bit. Ouchies. Maybe we heal, actually. What's your opinion on the Far Cry series? J I I've only played, actually, I've only played Far Cry 5. Um because everybody was talking about it when it came out and it looked fun and so I played it and I did have fun with the game when I played it. I have not, I'm not very like into the lore or the specifics on the game very much, but I enjoyed what I've played. I liked killing people by throwing baseball bats at them. That was funny as heck. Um, so generally I have a favorable, like general opinion on it, but I don't know much. Um, but I, I don't, they, they seem good. He can go around that way? Oh, shoot. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh, I made it through the frost. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. These axes are my... Oh, I knew I was going to mess it up. I was like, these are my one salvation. Darn it. <laughs> I'm almost an hour in and I haven't beaten Bleak Falls freaking Pharaoh. <laughs> Can you? Can you feel it, Arvel? Can you feel the love tonight? Let's get some more magic back this time so we can actually kill him. So that we can get our magic back again before fighting the Draugr this time. All right. Golden Claw. Oh, yeah. My death still say one. I've died, what, three times? <laughs> I totally forgot. This is definitely going to be too much to keep up with, but I'll... I'll I'll uh I'll give it another second worth of a uh, of trying. Uh was that my third or fourth death? Might have been my fourth. Anybody remember? <laughs> Let's see. So I froze to death and then I so the second one was getting hit by the the big sword, right? And then I just ran into the axe. So that was my third death, I think. We're going to go a third unless somebody remembers otherwise. Oh shoot, what did I just take? No, go back. No. We are not allowed. Oh, I had an arrow from getting shot, by the way. I'll have to drop arrows periodically. I forgot about that mechanic. Would you say, uh, what would you say that your favorite Far Cry game is? Like, what's the, what's the best one? If I were to reinvestigate, what's the, what's the one to go for? Okay, so the plan here is kill one of these guys and then get the rest of them to run into the thing. But let's wake them all up before I use any magic and see if I can't line them up. That's, that's the thing is I'm using, I'm using flames suboptimally. You need to get them together, line them up, knock them down kind of situation. Destruction increase. See, I haven't gotten a destruction increase yet. That was more, I've contracted, contracted what? Brown? That's, oh, it said brain rot, didn't it? I'm new to the series playing Far Cry Primal. It's fun to just unga bunga as an early human. That's the thing is that it seems like the Far Cry series is very self-aware in the sense of like the game is fun to just be a gamer. You know what I mean? Like there's there's not, I don't think it takes itself very seriously and I respect that a lot. Um, so what is this effect from brain rot? What is it? Do? It is brown rot. I didn't say that wrong. 
Light and heavy armor presents 25... Oh, that's fine. Sleeping is 25% less restful. Pro progresses to severe brown rot. I don't need severe. <laughs> this will be the one where we succeed, by the way. I won't die this time. That's how this is going to go. Okay, we need him to step on this. That's just an essential for me having a chance of getting through here. Yeah, I love that they do that like they're yelling at you, but they don't. Oh, right. I have to do it going in this direction because I'm an idiot. He missed it. I'm dead. That's okay. I had brown rot anyway. <laughs> That's death four. Um, <laughs> doing great. Death four. Yeah, well, there's a s not a huge chance I keep up with that the whole time. Okay, I need to take this. I'm going to have to... The, me trying to take it fast is leading to mistakes, which is leading to um, me having to take more time doing this. So I'm going to take it slow. I'm going to do it right. Cool. So I'm going to sit here for a little bit while my magic recharges. I might try and get a sneak uh, point here, actually, because I can sneak around these guys. And unless you get close, they don't wake up super easily, I don't think. So like, can I do this kind of thing again? And it level up my sneak? That'd be kind of cool. Oh no, he very much just saw me. That's all right. We'll do the line them up, knock them down thing again. We'll do some running around, wake everybody up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Having a ton of fun with Primal. Three is probably some of the most fun. Blood Dragon, really cool 80s action flick aesthetic. I don't even know what Blood Dragon is. I, why have I not heard of that before? Okay, so I did not... Oh, I'm dead. Freaking heck. I was looking at chat while trying to fight a thing. Not most recommended. Over here. We're going to let magic fully regenerate like a smart little noodle because this is getting dumb. <laughs> this is getting real dumb. And then I'm going to, you know, not be a dummy. All right, cut him down. Kill him. Oh, I didn't update death counter. Right. Hello? Hello? The ground is lighting on fire, but he isn't. There we go. Grab the claw. Grab the claw. Update the death counter. The claw fell over that time. Hopefully that's not a bad omen. Um, death counter updated. No freaking heck. Okay. Now we let our magic regenerate. Like a smart person. We don't sneak too close this time to wake him up. I'll still sneak around the room some and see if it does anything, but I'm not going to go past this pillar. So if it is doing anything, it's doing it, and if not, I'm just waiting for my magic to recharge, which is fine. We have discovered that I can kill them if I get them all in my, my blast. That does increase your sneak. Man. Sneak is kind of really easy to, to cheese, isn't it? I'm not going to bother. Because I still don't know how good it is for me to level up. Because <laughs> leveling up makes the combat harder, and I'm not going to get any stronger, so... I mean, I'm going to get minimally stronger, but I'm not going to be able to... Why does that keep happening? Freaking. It's like if I hit tab, and then, like, it thinks my tab is still held down, even though I'm not pressing it. Health is low. You should find a potion. Oh, thank you. Um. Don't know why they all just got stuck there, but I'm not complaining. Which one of you guys is about to die? One of them's about to die. I saw it. Why does your health fade away? Oh, because it doesn't regenerate. So since my health status isn't changing at all, it doesn't show up anymore. Is that also what's been happening? Have I been taking damage and then not healing it? That's what I've been doing, isn't it? It's just Story of Far Cry 5, I think it is, with the cult leader in rural America. Yeah, that's the one that I've done. I don't know if that's 4 or 5. That's the one that I've played. It is um, very interesting. It's, it's very fun. <laughs> it's not a game that has a ton of longevity, in my opinion. I, I think you kind of have your fun with it. And then anytime I try and go back to it, I'm like, I've seen and done this 
enough. It's one of those kind of games where you have like an area, like a map area that you're like slowly gaining control over. Like the Infamous series, if you've ever played any Infamous games, it has that kind of a, a thing to it, which I don't know, maybe all Far Cry have that. I don't know Far Cry very well. Um, the missions, there's only so many types, like all of those kinds of games. And so it eventually does get very repetitive. Um, but generally speaking, really good. Okay. There's not really any point to getting all the magic back with this guy because I can't kill him anyway. Well, no, it is because I'll need to heal myself while he's killing me. So we're going to get all the magic back. We're going to kill him. We're going to quick save because I don't have brown rot. Pop him with some flames. Switch to healing. We need to get to him to the other side and then run through. Because we'll have him step on it, but it won't get him. Okay. Frost slows you down. That's the main problem. Follow me over this way. Follow me over this way. Freaking heck, he did it again? He's staying too close. Oh, we got him. And I've leveled up, but you can't level up without sleeping. So, but I've leveled up. I want to go through the DLC and eventually play through the first Infamous games. Play through Infamous Second Son with my fiance. Infamous Second Son is um, is a lot of fun. The, the mechanics are clean. That's the thing. If you go back and play Infamous One, Infamous Two, it the, the it's dated. You know, the graphics are dated. The games are dated. But like, they're still fun as crap, in my opinion. Um, let's very quickly do that. Um, they're fun, fun as heck, in my opinion. I love the Infamous games. The only thing I haven't played is First Light. I haven't played the DLC for Second Son. I've played Second Son. I haven't played through the DLC. It seems really cool, though. Um, they're really good games for just, like, flashy, overpowered, you know, combat-type stuff. They're very, very satisfying, in my opinion. So let's do that thing where we wake everybody up. Are any of these restless? Or is it just, that's a normal, that's a normal... That's a normal. Do any of them have bows? I think one of these guys has a bow, doesn't he? If I recall. No, they don't. Okay. So I took some damage. That's fine. Let's uh do as much flames damage to them as I can, and then we can take on the axes if I need to, which I might not. I do. I definitely do. Well, that one's almost dead, so let's finish it off. And then let's run past. woo -hoo -hoo. Give them both a good hit. We'll take it. We will stink and take it. Actually, I probably shouldn't turn those off. Huh? Let's turn them back on. Pretty good fallback point. That's what I have to remember is since health doesn't regenerate, whenever the health fades out, I'm used to that telling my brain health is full. Um, when the health fades out, it's not full. It's just not moving. <laughs> so I have to remember that. Another good flashy game is Devil May Cry. I want to play Devil May Cry so bad. I've seen enough of Devil May Cry that I almost know that I'll love it. And I just haven't ever taken the time to. I've never bought one of the games. I've never, you know, whatever. Um, but I, I need to do that. It's on my, it's on the list. Because um, I'm uh, very much a huge, oh, darn it. Oh, darn it. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Ouch. Will that get him? I am hungry. Hungry for more dead Draugr? How did that not get to that one in the back? He's about to get up and start coming after me again. All right, that got that one. Yo, we're actually killing stuff. Um, I'm a huge Kingdom Hearts fan. Um, and it is another one that just has like kind of overly flashy combat for the sake of it. I didn't care for Kingdom Hearts 3 nearly as much, uh, which is a bummer because we waited like freaking 12 years for it or whatever. Um, it was fine, but the good, what I always really liked about Kingdom Hearts is that the combat was flashy, but also still skill-based, and Kingdom Hearts 3 felt a lot less skill-based. It felt like just, just mashing buttons, uh, which is nothing wrong with that. It's just not what I loved about the series. Also, I know that this is really annoying to watch right now, and I appreciate anybody who's bearing with me. Um, it won't stay like this. As soon as I get that first perk, I'll be able to do a lot more in combat without just being, like, completely empty on Magicka at all times. And having to fight every every battle like that. That only lasts until I can level up. Which, realistically, I could run out to the front and level up right now. But uh, I'm not doing that much backtracking. Kingdom Hearts 2 is close to my heart. Like KFC. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2 is 100% peak. Birth by Sleep is also really good. I don't own a PSP, so it took me a very long time before I played it. But when they released the like remixes on the PS3, 
Um, I played Birth by Sleep, and I know now they have it on. It's on Epic Games, so I have it on PC now. And the cool thing about Epic Games is that people have modded it to where Kingdom Hearts One has some of the like quality of life improvements that Kingdom Hearts Two had. So Kingdom Hearts One is a lot more fun to play now, in my opinion, on if you play that version. Um, I still play with a controller instead of mouse and keyboard because the mouse and keyboard controls were kind of jank. But um, yeah, I uh, I think Kingdom Hearts Two. I've said for a long time is my favorite game of all time. I don't know that that's 100% accurate just because I'm at the point where there are, you know, speedruns are so skill-based, not as much RNG, but it's still there. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Um, Speedrunning is something I very much appreciate viewing, but could never get into doing. Um, I'm just not, this is more of the, like if I want to take a game to a next level, this is the kind of thing that I do. I can't, the speed run stuff, I, I don't think I have the uh, patience for redoing the same thing that many times. Um, this guy's annoying as butt to kill, and it's really far to get him to do anything else. Um, so we actually need to kill him. So that's a little annoying. Ugh, almost died there, because I couldn't jump for some reason. So if I just keep jumping back and forth on this, he just gets confused, right? Seems that way. Yeah, we're fine cheesing this. I don't care. Um, but yeah, I uh, have always loved Kingdom Hearts. I think these days, now that I'm farther detached from some uh, from some other games that I played as a kid and like from all of that, I don't know if it claims my number one spot anymore. Um, Fallout 4 is my most played game of all times. I've never put as many hours into any other game as that one. Um, that doesn't. It's not my number one favorite. It's just the one I've spent the most time playing. I'd say that odds are um, could never speed run, but there's some games that I'd want to learn just because I love the game. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. And there are some games that I love that nobody else really plays, and I've considered like there's three submissions for the world record, and it's like I wonder if I could beat that. <laughs> I wonder if I could learn how to beat that. Just to have a world record on some game that ma means a lot to me, but not much to anybody else. The main um, series that I'm talking about and that I was about to mention anyway, I'd say is my favorite of all time these days. Um, is a game called on the PS2 called Dark Cloud. Um, and there is a sequel, Dark Cloud 2, otherwise known as uh, Dark Chronicle, depending on what part of the world you live in. Um, that I played a ton as a kid. I play a ton still as an adult. Um, it is by far, in my opinion, just like, it's such a good series. It was so ahead of its time. And I think it's just fantastic. Kingdom Hearts 2 is still a game I can go back to and play no matter what. Yeah, same, 100%. I'm with you there. Um, but... Dark Cloud, fantastic game. Same kind of PS2 era, in my opinion. Different, much slower combat. Uh, you remember Dark Cloud? Well, I don't know if you'll remember this or not, but I keep it loaded up for stream music. Let's go fight a Draugr Deathlord. <laughs> I don't know how that, I haven't actually checked the music balancing on y'all's end, so let me know if it's audible or not. Um, I haven't actually been playing stream music at all because I've just been rambling this whole time. But I have a lot of stream music loaded up. Oh, don't kill me. Let's kill that guy in the back, maybe, with that. Nope, he just barely ma managed to avoid all of it. Can I jump through here and not... Ooh, nope, I cannot. I cannot. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm big on fire. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. <laughs> We're fine. We pulled out of that one. Yeah, Dark Cloud is a phenomenal game. I love it so much. I play it all the freaking time. It's a... Uh... It was, at least, on the, like, PlayStation Store on PS4, where you could get, like, a HD version of it. Everything else is exactly the same. Still has the same, like, bugs and breakpoints and all that. They didn't actually remaster it, but it does look nicer. Um, but, yeah, no, I freaking love Dark Cloud. <laughs> it's such a weird, obscure game for me to be so obsessed with, but I'm very obsessed with it. If I ever, like, made it, as like a YouTuber or a streamer, my objective would just be to get as many people to discover Dark Cloud as humanly possible. <laughs> because it's such a good game. <laughs> Dark Cloud 2 is good too. Very different experience, but still very good. Uh, the music balancing is good right now. Maybe a tad too loud when it hits the crescendo of the song. Okay, I can, um, let me uh, real quick adjust that. I appreciate the, the input there. It was a little quiet earlier. And so I pulled it up some. So tell me if that's... Uh, we'll go two more clicks. Tell me if that's a little bit better. Um, but yeah, it, it's a fantastic series. 
if there's like dream project, if I could have one thing made. Um, oh, I didn't mean to hit that. I gotta spin this two more times. If I could have any game ever exist, it'd be a Dark Cloud 3. <laughs> That's it. It would be a Dark Cloud 3. It wouldn't have to be made with modern tech either. It could be the same vein as the others, honestly. But if it was actually modern, that'd be fantastic. Did I? I messed this up, didn't I? Uh, items. Miscellaneous. Golden Claw. How did I mess that up? Oh, I forgot to spin this one the second time. That's why. <laughs> I only, uh... I, I only spun that one once. All right. We're about to have our first, like, boss fight of the run. So let's, um... <laughs> try not to freaking die, I guess, is, is the plan. Um, I'm good on health, right? I'm good on magic. I don't have highborn up, but I don't really want to wait because I would just get hungrier. Um, we do get unrelenting force here, but we can't use it yet because we haven't killed a dragon. So we are going to quick save on our way in. We're going to get some music going. Let's get this first so that it will stop chanting in my ear. All right, let's do this. Actually. Get some punches in before he's fully up. Okay, that does that much damage off of a freaking Fus Roda. That's not good, considering that that's not what that is supposed to do. That is not a predominantly damage dealing. Felt about uh, Dokapon Kingdom, obscure PS2 game that only I knew, but always got my friends to play. Got a remake for Switch last year. Really? I haven't heard of it. What kind of, uh, like, what's the style? What's the genre? I actually didn't know if, unless that, like, I grew up in a very small town. Um, and so unless my, like, stinking blockbuster family video, whatever the heck it was, I, it was neither of those things. It was, you know, unless my local video store had it for rent or unless I got it as a Christmas present. I didn't actually know that many games. And the, what I got as Christmas presents was the kind of games that my dad liked. <laughs> and I started out when I was a kid, I would watch him play Dark Cloud. And that's what made me, like, discover it and fall in love with it. And then I just, it stuck with me my entire life. Uh, Kingdom Hearts was one of the first games that I bought just because I wanted to, because I was like, what's the weird game with the anime boy and Mickey Mouse on it? <laughs> Actually, I played it when I was a young kid. We rented it, and um, I remember it scared me <laughs> when I was really young, because I hit the point in, like, Destiny Islands on Kingdom Hearts 1 where Heartless come after you endlessly, um, and you have to, like, go to the door and, like, progress the game but I could not figure out where I was supposed to be going. So I was just trapped fighting Endless Heartless and I was like, I'm scared, these evil things. We were on like Happy Fun Island time and, and everybody was just playing with beach balls and now this guy's gonna kill me by shouting me to death. That's not good. Um, so, I don't know, that one has a special place. Come on, dude. I gotta, like, focus in on this for a second. Please! Yes, he staggered. Okay. Just keep him on fire. No, that's... Stop doing the thing! I don't have enough magic for that! I hate that that happens in this game. I'm gonna die. Kill him! Yes! Give me that dragon stone, you piece of garbage. Look at all that other stuff I can't have. Woo! Okay. All right. We've killed an enemy. Like a scary enemy. We've, we've done it. I almost died from getting shouted to death. That's so bad. <laughs> that is not a good omen. But you know what? We were able to clear the dungeon. We're still level one. So like, I don't know what I was stinking expecting. Uh, Mario Party slash Final Fantasy type game. Playing a board game like Map Rescue Villagers and try to have the most money. Oh, interesting. That sounds cool. Yeah, I feel like that other than like Mario Party, like that t style of game is one that, you know, I feel like people now view the communal aspect of video games as like online competitive play. I, I just feel like there's much less emphasis on couch co-op these days because most people play games with their friends on the internet as opposed to people around you. And I don't know, there's a little bit of magic in that, in my opinion. Um, so I guess we will run back to Riverwood. The air is treacherously cold. Yeah, that's the other question we're gonna have is, can I survive the run back to Riverwood? That's another um, 
perk that would help a ton in this run is if I could get the perk that makes healing spells also heal stamina, but I doubt my restoration will ever get high enough for that. But man, it would help a lot. Um, okay, now once I get off the mountain, I don't think it's nearly as cold down here. I think I'll probably be able to make it. As long as I don't jump in the water. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, all right, so tutorial quest complete. Pretty much. I still need to go turn it in. Are you kidding me? Whatever. Give me some extra destruction skill skill points here. Just don't give me, like, rock joint or some crap. I really don't need that right now. Where... Where are you? Come back! I don't have the perk that's supposed to make you run away yet. You can fight other players if you win. You can prank on them like stealing items or changing their hairstyle. I love the idea of changing someone's hairstyle being on par with, like, stealing their items. It's just, like, just ridicule. I love it. Oh, Anissa's a vampire that attacks you, right? This could be a good, like, home base for us, though. So let's, um... It's so nice to have a visitor. Should I just kill her now? Because if you go down to her cellar, she then kills you, right? Like, that's the... Thing that happens because you see that she's been like eating people or whatever okay so let's make a quick decision in my opinion i'm, I'm making this decision i've already made this decision but I'm, I'm laying it out here in my opinion a skill book like song of the alchemist here is fair game because i'm not adding an item to my inventory i'm not using an item out of my inventory i'm just reading a book that's that's sitting out yes that you could consider that is using an item because it is an item on the table that i'm using but i don't have to put it in my inventory to use it which is like every other item you have to like if i wanted to eat stinking like if i wanted to to eat this rabbit meat or this frost miriam or whatever i would have to add it to my inventory and then consume it like i can't just go like eat this bread i can wave it around but i can't just eat it i can just read the book though and i'm calling that good it's not like it actually does me any favors much anyway it just gets me closer to a perk early on which i'm gonna do so my alchemy is now 16. I cannot use alchemy. Um, oh, I can't unlock her cellar. So I just have to be a butthole. I think you need to lockpick to get to her basement. Yeah, I just, I know my character is just being a butthole right now though. But you know what? I'm a starving butthole, so. Yes, let's both just light each other on fire and see who holds out longest. Uh, you have weakness to fire and I got the drop on you. So I will take that bet. Um, okay, so we can sleep in a bed now which means I can level up. So let's do that. Big stinking deal. So here's the thing. There is there is an argument to be had for increasing my health. I'm ignoring that argument and going Magicka every single time, but just know that there's an argument to be had there. <laughs> we are going all offense. This is a glass cannon situation and, and I don't see there being a scenario where, what did my, what happened to my textures, huh? We're just swimming in a weird amorphous abyss right now. But what? whatever. It's fine. It's just Skyrim things. Is the whole ground like this? Oh, there it goes. It loaded in. The ground that was already loaded in, loaded back in. So the big issue is that um, I can't use torches. And if I could get the flame cloak spell, that'd be great. But you can't <laughs> because I can't read a spell tome. So that's where... Um, no restoration? No, I, right now, I think it's more important to be able to deal damage without... It's mostly a patience issue, I'm going to be honest with you. If I can kill things faster, then yeah. Um, but restoration will be what I go for next. <laughs> uh, I think it's worth me just treading across this river, right? It'll be cold, but like I'll, I'll survive, right? I'm sure I'll be fine. Yeah, it didn't even pop up and give me, like, a you're dying message. So here, you know, I said that there was a little bit of a cheesy exploit that I knew about. I don't know if it actually works or not, but let's see if it does. Uh, just in case, I'm going to I'm gonna quick save because I, I might be about to kill myself. So you light yourself on fire in here, which then allows you to heal yourself with magic. But weirdly, taking burning damage... counts to an extent as you dealing burning damage if i recall so like if you look at my destruction it's at like right after the t so 
Like, I'm just trying to light myself on fire a bit and just burn some. And we'll see if I remember this correctly. It might also be just in the other version of the game that I played in and not this one. But one time I wanted to try and power level my restoration, which um, doesn't work with healing at all because restoration only really levels off of turning undead, which I can't even do. So I will not level up my restoration very much at all. Um, but if I recall, so we said it was, it was right there at the T on destruction, right? And now it's a little bit farther. If you do this long enough, which I don't have enough magic to get away for doing it long enough, but if you do it long enough, technically it slowly levels up your restoration and destruction. We can go ahead and get restoration to 24 here and then we'll move on. I'm not going to do that kind of thing because it would for long just because this is a live stream. <laughs> there we go. Restoration 24. Awesome. And that got me a level up. So whenever I find a bed, I can sleep in it. Actually, if you're allied with somebody, can you just sleep in their bed? I don't know. An owned bed you can never sleep in, right? Um, I guess we'll talk, though. Uh, why do I have to say this? Okay, yeah, I don't want anything. Yep, yep, yep. I don't actually have to talk to him for this, but I'm just... So this, he's now a friend, so I can, like, take stuff, right? Oh, man. That was a weird stomach growl sound. I can sleep in this bed. That's a big deal. Now we're gonna go grab restoration. Um... And that's a, a good baseline for us. Fantastic. I wake and feeling refreshed. I am hungry. So we have no way of restoring food at all right now. So we, we need to go ahead and... Um, he's like that. Uh, can I... Can I drop this? Cannot drop quest items from your inventory. Once they've been used, I'd rather them not be in there just because it's kind of fun to not have anything. But you can't, you can you just drop, you can't just drop gold on the ground, can you? And I like my gold being at zero. I would really like it if it would stay at zero. And you can't drop it without having to buy something, and I don't want to buy anything. So I guess I'll hold on to the gold. I'd rather hold on to the golden claw than the gold that they would pay me for giving them the golden claw. So I'm not going to ever talk to him. <laughs> That's the plan. I'll have the golden claw at the end of the game, I guess. Whatever. Um, if I can keep myself at zero money the entire game, that would be pretty cool. I'm sure one of these quests, they'll force some money on me at some point, but if not, that'd be great. I guess I could just put it in a container though, right? Yeah, I could just put the money in a container. You can, you can do that. So maybe I will go drop off the Golden Claw at some point, and then I'll just put the money in a chest somewhere and just forget about it. I could do that. If anybody ever gives me money. Well, right now, we'll, we'll stay at zero until somebody does. And then maybe we'll go ditch the Golden Claw at that point. If I feel like running over there, because I can't get anywhere. Ever. I'm going to have to steal horses, by the way. I'm, I'm just going to do that. Horses are not an item. They're creatures. I'd say it's fair game. Um, companions aren't allowed. I don't know if I said that or not. I'm not using companions. They're not items. I just don't want to use them, because it would cheapen the, the whole point, in my opinion. Um, so I'm not using companions. But a horse, like if I'm not using it in combat, if I'm just using it to get around. Ooh, let's go impress our new friends for like the, one of the my less favorite factions this is some free free destruction xp right here are they gonna lose don't accidentally shoot me freaking whatever your name is i forgot why did i forget what her name is ayla Ooh, i haven't played skyrim in a hot minute for a decent shield brother Sure, I can't hold a shield, but yeah, awesome. I'll be a good shield brother. Companions, an order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor, and we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Why don't they just call themselves mercenaries? All they care about is how much money they're getting paid. But I mean, yeah, can I join you? Oh yeah, I'll I'll have to get gold from their quest, huh? But there's another reason we're actually going to join the Companions into their quest, though, and that's because the first word of f uh, Flame Breath, I believe, is there, which is just an extra source of damage for us because um, it scales off of Destruction, if I remember correctly, which is going to be our main skill. So why the heck not? Every time I got there as a kid, the giant was already killed, and I got yelled at for not helping by her. Yes! Yes! That, that's why I sprinted straight towards it, because I just don't like being ridiculed by them for killing something before I can get to it. Um, I was very 
aware of that because that also happens to me nine times out of ten. This is where I can get a little bit of speech XP because this is like not a failable check. <laughs> how much? Uh, how much? How much speech did we get for that? Uh, none. It didn't give it to me. There it is. No, we got a speech level off of that. <laughs> I don't know that we'll ever get another one because I don't think we'll succeed on any other speech checks because speech checks in Skyrim just work weird. It's like such a poorly developed skill in this game, in my opinion. Oh, I can warm up off of his torch. I just stand on this to warm up. I am now warm. Awesome. And now I'm not warm, I'm pretty sure. But whatever. Um... So, is there a bed in Whiterun that I can sleep in? That's that's the real question. Like, obviously, there's the inns, but I can't use those. So, I wonder if there's a bed here that I can use. And just to check, in survival mode, I can't use this, right? 100 gold, right. Yeah. No shrines. Man, survival mode makes religion expensive. <laughs> All right. Dragon's Reach. Here we are. Oh, wait. Are we about to hear the best line of dialogue in any game ever? I think we are. It's in the most immediate danger. Hush. 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 Try to force them through this dialogue, through this dialogue a little bit quicker. Irrelevant. Send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duty. Shut up. That would be best. Uh huh. Uh huh. Take Steel it. armor. Yes. What are you giving me that for? Come. Let's go fight. Embarrassed? Yeah, I'm embarrassed that this is the gift you gave me. <clears throat> oh, I don't know if you can... I guess you can't, like... I don't know what the key would be for throwing things <laughs> in Skyrim. I don't think you can talk to him until the Jarl gets in here. It won't, like, work. Can I sleep in his bed? Probably not, right? Nope. Is there one in here? Nope. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you. Yes. Oh, I can't well, stand this guy. When I say fetch, um, I really mean just this. I think this gets him through the conversation quicker. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow. You mean this one? Ah, the Dragonstone of Bleak. Oh, also, since this is special edition, and I always used to play on the standard edition, I don't have any achievements. So I'll be getting achievements as we go. I think I have two achievements from when I started up one file and made it like five minutes in. Um, that is. So, you'll notice that I get, you hear bloops when I get Steam achievements every so often. Oh, oh, oh. This, this is the best cutscene ever. Take in the majesty, everyone. Oh, not of my butt cheeks over there. Come on, where's he at? He's not talking already, is he? They're not here yet, okay. Come on. Come on, we're about to see the best voice acting I've ever heard in my life. It's that guard, I think. That one right there. Listen to how beautiful he is. Get up the stairs, people. Get up the stairs. We don't want to miss it. Are you guys broken or what? Go. What the? There you go. I fixed him. <laughs> so, your left tells me you came from the Western Watchtower. Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me. Tell him. About Tell him about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything. It I've was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast. I never ran so fast. <laughs> I love it so much. It's my favorite. It's so fast. <laughs> Is the fastest man in White Run. 
already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Shut up. Hey, watch it. There's no uh -huh. I want you uh -huh. to go with Irrelevant. I like being fall at your left when she talks to the soldiers and they actually march all the way to Riverwood. So fast! <laughs> yeah, I do too. I think that's cool. I have to ask and please. I like that th there's there's some parts of this game that are done significantly better than you would expect. Gauntlets, ew, stinky. <laughs> Doink. Okay, so now let's run around here because they're like the guard barracks and stuff are here, right? There's bound to be some bed that's just like unclaimed, right? Somewhere around here. Oh, this is where uh, Talky Door is, right? Maybe maybe one of the servant beds isn't being used. Jarl's quarters. My favorite part of any Skyrim playthrough. It's the best. Oh, well, yeah, it's Ebony Blade thing. Uh, I wouldn't think if the Jarl's quarters would be. I don't know, maybe, because this is like how the, the servants and people access it, right? Let's let's poke around a bit. I'd like to see if there's some bed in Skyrim. In Skyrim. Yeah, if there's any bed in Skyrim. If there's any beds in. Or I guess we don't need any in Dragon's Reach because we just go join the companions and they give you one, right? So we'll just we'll just run and join the companions real quick. Actually, that makes way more sense than what my brain is doing. We don't have to like have a home. We can just sleep in there with the rest of the whelps or whatever they call us. Woo! And then we can go kill a dragon, get unrelenting force, which is actually going to be a big deal. Um, and then we start some of the tedious part of this run, as if the first hour and a half of me doing the tutorial quest wasn't tedious enough. Um. We, we've got some tedium to do. I don't know if I want to... Because the dragon fight's going to take so stinking long if I just wait. Oh, wait. I ran right past your basket, didn't I? Can you tell it's been a minute since I played Skyrim? Because <laughs> it's been a minute since I played Skyrim. But yeah, let's go join the companions real quick. And then... We'll, uh... Yeah, they're doing whatever. We don't, we don't care. We always... We know who wins. Um... I don't remember either of their names, but the Dark Elf dude loses every single time. I don't know if it's hard coded that way or if they just if he's just that much weaker. I'm watching. Yeah, you watch me, dude. <laughs> Kinda Why, you into me? <laughs> Think I'm cute? It is our burden to bear. Alright. Could you stop talking now? <laughs> Excuse me, Codlack. If you could stop talking, I would like to have some words with you. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not pickpocket him. Yes, can I join you? Certain strength of spirit. That's what you're getting off me, huh? A certain strength of spirit. Let's not waste too much time talking when there is glory to be had. Master, you're not truly considering accepting him. I am nobody's master. You butthole. Burn him! <laughs> Come on. Let's go, guys. Sometimes the famous come to us. You can't like run into them to make them skip through their dialogue faster when they're seated. What matters is their heart and their arms. Of course. How are you in battle? You dare question my skill? Calm down there, well. Don't feel like you need to show off. I've never actually said that option before. Will be the one testing your method. Vilkus, take him out to the yard and see what he can do. Do they get mad at you for magicking him? Or does it genuinely just not, like, end the thing? You might do well to learn a smaller weapon. Your style a smaller weapon? Tiny blades don't oh, he's talking to him. I was like... Sword needs weight. Is he naked in there? All I need is one to cut you in half. Well, that way. He's talking to Farkas. <laughs> just chilling in there. Okay, let's go bop Vilkas a few times. I think the first, the like, you have to do one random, like, radiant quest before it starts, and that can be in any hold. So, we might, like, save scum it a few times to get one in White Run. <laughs> I'd love to get a, uh, a brawl in White Run. That would be by far the, the best option. Is anything else that's gonna be really annoying? The old man said to have a look at you. So, do they get mad if I? I'm gonna. Just have a do they get mad if I burn him? So I can see your form. Don't worry, I can take it. 
Oh, this does break it, huh? I never knew that. What do you think this is? What do you think this Oh, he just gets mad at you over and over, huh? Well, it's a good thing I'm allowed to use fists. What do you think? What? What? What do you What do you, What do you think this is? Oh, he's just in a broken loop, think, huh? What do you think this is? Not bad. Not bad. No, not bad. Next time won't be so easy. Not bad. You might. Here's my sword. Go. What the crap just happened? I see what you mean about the expo. I've never actually done that before. Um, it's tempting, but like I said, I, I don't want to rely on exploits more than like a little poke around here and there. Like, sure, look, we got a level in smithing. Woohoo! You know, that guy, yeah, sure, we'll do some weird little, you know, little silly stuff, but I'm not gonna like just power level. We might consider it depending on the, how the run goes later and doing, doing it some other way. But, um, oh, don't worry. well, don't we'll see. Just do what you're told. Nobody rules anybody in the company. Well, Kadlak is the harbinger. Uh -huh. He's the sort of not uh -huh. My name is uh -huh. Jorlin Grey. I have a favor to yep. ask. I've been working. My wife is in mourning and I need to get back to her. That's a good man. That's a good man. Okay, so we piddle around here for a little bit. Um, because, yeah. Wait, where is she at? Don't worry, it's just a suggestion. I mean, it's the thing is, it's objectively a smart decision. Um, and that's kind of why I'm not doing it. <laughs> that That's my fundamental. Pr if I was making smart decisions, I wouldn't be doing this run to begin with. Um, it's a good idea. If you wish to hunt with <laughs> Put on some clothes! And your eyes quicker. Ah, good. How do you even I use a bow? What do you even use the shield for? Made it up here. You know this one? I saw him. Oh, oh yes, yes, I gave him quite a thrashing. He freaked the crap out. You think you could handle Biltus in a real fight? I don't care for boasting. In other words, no. <laughs> what? What? Here he is, man of the hour. Why do I still have battle? Did it? Am I gonna have battle music for the rest of the game because of that? I hope freaking not. New blood. Oh, I remember you. Come on. This could be a bad. All these young ones scampering around. Worried one of them is going to take your place. Will you move faster if I go in front of you? But they're good people. They challenge us to be our best. They might put themselves nice Oh, he does move faster. <laughs> 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 I love that. All right, so here you are. Looks like the others are eager to meet you. Which one of these Come can I sleep in? You're looking for work. Once you've made a bit of a name I, for yourself, Skjorn Vilkas. Don't normally for you mess with too. the companions. Good luck. Why? Welcome to the companions. I haven't seen you before. By the way, take up arms. I don't know what the He said right here in White Run? Heck yes. More than that. I don't want to try not to the corners are up. I didn't save first. I'm glad that worked. Sweet. Okay. We're good. We're moving. Let's go beat a man up. Then sooner or later we're going to go kill a dragon. Um, And then learn how to scream at people. But not yet. Um, Is it outside the city? Alam. Who the heck is that? Why do I not know that name? Should I know that name? The air's comfortable here. Well, that makes one place in the entire map. <laughs> Farkas and Vilkas are my favorite companions. Carjo? Which one's Carjo? Is that the, the drunk guy? Which one is Carjo? And why do I not know who that... You're the one I get to beat up? Good, you're always annoying. I mean, Nazim's also... It's I, It's got to be hard to be married to Nazim, actually. You've been seen in the company of the companions. She's punched that guard! Arrest her! Oh, this is bad. Will she get mad if I use restoration magic to heal myself? Because that might be necessary. 
Get out of here, Car whatever your name is. Cor Corvette, what the heck's her name? <laughs> I'm thinking Carlotta, but that's not right. That's the one in Riverwood. What the heck is her name? She also asked me to beat up a guy. There's a lot of people you can beat up in this town. There's the uh, mercenary chick, which I, I couldn't beat her up right now, but you can choose to do that. Carjo's the Khajiit companion from the caravan. Oh, I forget that's even a thing. I say, it was not a name that I was thinking of in Yorvasker. I forget he's a companion. Uh, I, I do. I like all of the, the Khajiit cards are cool. I wish there were more Khajiits in the game. Like, you don't really get to see or interact with them much. I hope Elder Scrolls 6 leans into Khajiits a bit more. Also, I love that the game didn't actually give them a, a thing that they do. Yeah, you know what you have to do. We don't. Um, we didn't actually write anything for that. Uh, we don't know why you've been asked to go beat this woman up for money. Uh, we just know that you have been asked to go beat this woman up for money, so go do that. <laughs> and, you know, she knows what she did. She she knows what she did. Oh, you mean companion in the sense of followers. Oh, okay. Favorite companions, like, it's confusing to talk about. I was going to say, I knew, like, he was a mercenary guy, but I didn't think he was a companion. That makes more sense. What the crap is wrong with Farkas? <laughs> Skewer says that I have the strength. Um, you got no clothes. You should get some. I love Farkas so much. You got no clothes. Kind of fun to push people around sometimes, isn't it? Little rude. Hundred gold. I can't have Skewer that. was looking for you. Don't know. I don't like making a man. Skewer's looking for me. But cool. Some work for you if you. Uh, there we go. Donated it right on back to the companions. Watch what you're doing. Go talk to Skijor. Um, are you not like a Jazargo fan like everybody? Everybody freaking loves Jazargo. He kind of drives me nuts. Oh, it didn't. He's in here. It didn't equip it. Um, also, a soft, soft spot for Mule. I do too. Going to a dwarven room to recruit her isn't fun. That's fair. But I do have a soft spot for her too. I, I, I agree with that. Um, heard you may actually there be you are. Than you look. I also like, um, I, I mean, obviously, like, what's her name? Serana's great. Um, she's one of the only, that's the thing. I wish the companions in this game had more personality like the ones in Fallout 4. There's just, they went with quantity over quality, and a lot of them are just kind of cardboard cutouts. Um, so, I don't know. I it's hard to get as attached to companions here. It's more of nostalgia driven over anything. But I always did like Mule. She's cool. But I always felt bad, though, because I'm a big fan of the Thieves Guild, and she's like, the Thieves Guild ruining the city, and I'm like, yeah, they suck. And then I, like, go pick somebody's pocket and come back over, like, man, those Thieves Guild guys, they struck again. So I always feel a little guilty. <laughs> Okay, so that quest is really annoying. I know that because the silver hand don't like scale properly. Um, so some of them will just be able to kill me in one hit. But then there's also, the other option is a dragon right now. But at least the dragon, like there's a whole group of people fighting the dragon. So let's go, I mean, I think unrelenting force is probably gonna be needed for that quest. Can't stand these freaking guys, they drive me nuts. I try and never talk to them. <laughs> I make it my mission. So let's go do the dragon fight, I guess. Uh, and then do we do the companion stuff or... I don't know. We got a few options after that. There's there's something we need to do sooner than later. Companions are cool facts, but despite having werewolves as part of the quest chain, it manages... Exactly. How do they screw that up so bad? I don't know. It's the same thing with like... The College of Winterhold. It's like there's this whole, this ancient civilization and these, these like mystic dudes that teleport in out of nowhere in this big orb. And it's the most boring, stupid crap ever. Like, what is that quest even supposed to be? I'm starving and I have become weakened from hunger. And now the whole world is red. Okay, let's prioritize uh, becoming a werewolf as soon as possible. Because this is annoying as heck. I know it looks bad. 
Um, this get used to it though. This is what we're looking at for a little while. Sorry. Um, yeah, in my opinion, Thieves Guild and Dark Brotherhood are by far and away so much better factions than the other two major factions. Um, and the war is fun. Like the quests for the war are fun, but neither of the factions obviously have like any presence at all. There's two two people, two NPCs, and that's it um, for either side of the war. Which you'd think with a whole, I guess three if you count whoever you choose in the intro, like in the tutorial. Um, you'd think for a whole army that there would there would be a little bit more there. Oh, can I sleep here? Ooh, keep rested. Um. Personally, I like the Dark Brotherhood a lot, but I really wish there was some way that you could play through the quest line that did not result in like all of them freaking dying. Um, spoilers, sorry. If you haven't played Skyrim at this point, why the heck are you watching this? Uh, <laughs> but has it been 24 hours yet? Do I have Highborn back? As long as he doesn't shoot me. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I wish the Dark Brotherhood, like, I wish you could learn more about the characters that all, like, just freaking die, like, Gabriella and, what's the Argonian's name? He seems really stinky cool. He's a shadow scale or whatever. Seems so awesome. And you don't get to, like, engage with them a whole lot, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, and they're dead. And it's just like, that's kind of mega lame. Um, I think the Thieves Guild is by far the best, best quest side. Killed the whole Dark Brotherhood the second they kidnapped me, not gonna lie. <laughs> That's fair. I just think their, their quest line's pretty fun. Um, I actually have, these days, have quite the soft spot for Cicero, which is really weird to say, but I kinda like him. I, he's always, he used to always drive me nuts, and then, I don't know, he started growing on me. Um, so I like Cicero. <laughs> I like most of them. Um, I just wish he kinda got to explore that more before ending up with just like dark brotherhood assassin four as like all of the people you can like it, it is cool to like destroy the dark brotherhood i think it'd be cool if there was a similar quest in like riften where you could like fix up the city and get rid of the thieves guild i'd never freaking do it because the thieves guild is so stinking cool with the nocturnal and all that kind of stuff but i do think it would be cool to have that as an option where you can like choose to I don't know, freaking bring Riverwood back to its former glory or whatever. I just, I, I'm at the point where I'm not doing anything to this. Oh, wait, I was going to see if Highborn had come back online. Let's see. Oh, it's still the same day? Are you serious? That's been so long. I've been playing this game for two hours. I mean, yeah, most of that was resetting from dying over and over, but I thought it'd still have been at least an in-game day. Punching this dragon to death. Don't turn on me. I'm not your enemy. We're the same, me and you. I am also dragon. Oh, gosh. Running. Running away. <laughs> yeah. No. No, thank you, sir. <laughs> uh... By the way, a question from earlier is what the first dragon you fight is. His name is uh, Mirmolnir, apparently. I wouldn't have known that. Take that, Mirmolnir! Please no. Please freaking no. How long has it been fighting this dragon? Not that long. Not that long at all. I have yet to die to this dragon. Ah, it's about to change. Oh gosh, why is he locked onto me? I mean... Makes sense. I am the playable character in the Dragonborn, but he doesn't know that yet. What are you doing? That's not helping. <laughs> That's not doing us any favors, man. <laughs> Shoot him for something. <laughs> Crap. We're fine. Come on. Just need to get a little bit more magic back. Oh, he's not, he's not blasting me. Uh, nope, he's right back on me. Oh, shoot. Ah! Well, at least I'm not cold anymore. Not any less hungry, but I'm not cold anymore. We're, we're getting there. 
Yeah, fight whoever that is. Oh my goodness, we're close. We go in with the fists. No, we don't. <laughs> the team Hornblower is helping us where? Ah, oh, somebody else got the kill. I'm not a significant character here. Don't, nobody look at me. Nothing significant is happening right now. Just a, just a naked elf in a corner who's somehow the hero of the Nords. <laughs> I don't know. It, does, it never really made any sense to me how you get to be the Dragonborn no matter what race you choose. Isn't it supposed to be a Nord thing? Okay, so Dragon Souls, we're not calling items because they're not a tangible thing. And also shouts are fun. So like that, if you think this game, if you think this run needs to be harder, then that's, that's your personal uh, problem. <laughs> uh, it's favorite and equip and boost. Okay, cool. We've done it. Back to White Run to trigger. Oh my gosh, the stamina! <laughs> oh shoot! Oh wait, this is a uh, this is free destruction XP right here. Kill the moose, elk. Sorry, sorry. I know the difference. I'm so I don't have any. I'm so slow. Yeah, destruction twenty six. Let's go. <laughs> This red is going to drive me nuts. We can't eat until we become a werewolf. <laughs> oh, my king! So the question is, do we... So we got we got three different objectives right now that, that we can... This is the only time in the entire game that we're going to have branching paths for a moment. Because once we get everything done, we need to. It's just main quest until the end of the game. So... Here are our three things we can be doing. Number one, we can progress in the companion storyline long enough to get the fire breath shout and become a werewolf. There's that. Imagine being the guard to do the finish on the dragon. <laughs> Imagine the dragonborn. For someone in white run. I uh, don't care that you're looking for someone in white run. Can I not go away? We will find her eventually. I'm sure you will. I don't care. <laughs> um, but so anyway, we can, we can follow... Um, companion's quest line to get fire breath and werewolf so that we can eat food and get rid of this really annoying red filter. If that even counts. I don't know. I haven't tested it. I didn't I didn't prep for this. Uh, I am naked. Good, good observations, child. Um, so that's, that's a potential option is we try to become a werewolf and eat. Uh, option number two is we continue and try to get to the top of High Hrothgar without freezing to death um, in order to do the graybeard stuff, learn a couple more shouts and, and try and just go ahead and get through unrelenting force, like all the way. Cause it'll be very helpful. Um, I knew I could count on Dragonborn. That's just what they call me. Not just the men. Masters of the, the dragon. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You heard the summons. Um there's a third option though. So we can't learn spells because we cannot use spell tones. However, there are two spells we can learn in the base game, and I think maybe a couple in DLC. But bear with me. Technically three, because we could become a vampire and learn the life drain, which might be a very genuine way to go. But before going down that route, we're going to try the werewolf thing first. Um, the other spells we can learn, though, is in order to gain entrance into the College of Winterhold, you have to demonstrate casting a spell. If you don't know that spell, you have to pay for that, don't you? And money I've been classifying as an item, you have to pay for that. Oh, shoot. I've been banking on using Firebolt because one of the options you can get is Firebolt because you don't have to use an item, you just use a spell tome. So how do we feel about allowing money? That is the main question. I have it in the thumbnail. I'd have changed the thumbnail. But Burrow Path, Disease Proof, and Hunger Healing is my vote. Yeah, that's probably the direction I'm going. That's what I'm starting with at least. And I'll save before I commit to it, I guess. Uh, I know it's not a vote. No, that's fine. That's You're, you're, you're valid. Um, I was planning on trying to get Firebolt from the... College of Winter Hold. I mean, I don't know. Is spending money using an item? I don't know. I don't know how that counts. It would also be really nice to be able to use the stupid cart. 
just for the sake of this run not taking eight years. So I might I might actually amend the rules to allow money because I was I was planning on going to get fireball because you don't have to use a, a spell tome for that. Same thing, you get you get less reward from your first lesson with Tolfdir. That's the only other spells I can get. Unless I can't spend money, then I can't get those spells. Because technically you can't enter the College of Winterhold without money, which is kind of stupid. Money would be okay if you spend it instantly, in my opinion. What do you mean by that? Because I have to get up there. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia. I don't want Lydia. No companions allowed. Wait, did my thumb... Hold on a second. Uh, one one moment here. I'm pulling up the thumbnail for this stream. I didn't have no companions on the thumbnail, but I'm not allowing companions either. So maybe I'll just change no money to no companions for the for the future. And I think that is fine. That's still enough rules, I think, because I had a rule that wasn't even on there. You can get into the college if you shout for it, but then you don't get to learn the spell. If you only have as much as you need to spend. Oh, I guess that's fair. So the whole idea is that she has you demonstrate casting a spell to get into the college. That spell can be one of five chosen at random. If you get destruction on that list, which I would reload until I did, the spell she teaches you is Firebolt, which would by far be the best damage dealing option we have for this entire run. Um, and honestly, I think kind of essential to making the run functional. Um, which we already have gained 100 gold as a quest reward. I just put it in this barrel, but I can go grab it right back. Like, it's whatever. And that would give me enough just to take the thing up to Whiterun and get the spell. I think, or Winterhold, I mean. I think that's the play. It's still in here, right? Yeah, it is. This is the gold that I was awarded as a quest reward. You can get speech, persuade skill for like 50 speech, Winterhold. Yeah, again, I, I know that there's ways past it. My point is that the objective was to learn the spell. Because that's the only spell, because... She teaches it to you. She doesn't give you a spell tone. You don't buy a spell tone. She just directly teaches it to you. It's the one of two spells you can learn that way in the entire game. The other one is the lesser word that Tolfdir teaches you. We don't need to join the College of Winterhold. The whole objective for joining the College would be to learn Firebolt. Um, and since we can't use spell tomes, I think I'm going to have to allow money. And also, if we're being honest, not using the, the cart is just going to artificially make this run take like 10 extra hours for no reason. So I think I'm fine to allow money. I originally had no intention to not allow money. I just was like, well, what are we going to use money for? And so I just threw that on there because I was like, why? There's no reason to use it. But I forget. I think you have to pay 40 gold for that and then just gold for the cart. I still can't pick up any other items. I just, I don't know if I'm going to count money as an item since like if you like, if I go to my inventory, like it's, it's not, it's not an item in the inventory. It's it's down here. I don't know. I think that's fine. Oh, wait. When the crap did I get this? Get out of here. Um, he just gave me that, I think. I think a lot of money will make it more entertaining. Yeah, I, I honestly think it would just be boring and, and awful to watch without it is the other thing. And, like, the objective of this is entertainment value more so than it is self-torture, although it can seem that way. Um, so I think I am going to go that avenue with it. Um, so with that... Winter hold, please. It's gonna take half of it right now, right? Winter hold, fifty gold. Just get dual cast for construction. That's the plan. That's the reason we want firebolt. It's so that that we can get dual cast and we can get impact because impact is one of the most busted perks in the entire game, and it's the only way that I think that this might be possible um, is with dual casting impact. That is that is the singular objective here. Oh, I'm gonna freeze to death so freaking fast. Oh my gosh. Um, let's quick save real quick. Please give me Firebolt first try. I'm so going to die so fast. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, may I enter? Uh, a power of ice and fire. Small test. What is it? Fear spell, no thank you. Try again. We have to get the right spell here. The other, only other spell, by by the way, that so the options that you could get are Fear, Mage Light, um, Conjure Flame Atronach, which there would be some merit to considering, but I'm not using Companion, so why the crap would I use an Atronach? Um, 
Mage, I, I don't know if I said, uh, Firebolt, Mage Light, which may, and Healing Hands. Healing Hands is completely useless to us. Mage Light's, I mean, it's useful, I guess, but no. Um, fear is not going to last for long being helpful at all. So Firebolt and Conjure Flame Atronach are the two options to consider, and I personally am not considering Flame Atronach at all. Um, so that, our objective is just to get her to say Firebolt. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. May I enter? But what is it you expect? Fire and ice, please. It would seem that not just a small test. Yes. What is it? The flame atronach. Flame atronach. Darn it! You actually, I've heard survival mode is way more brutal in Skyrim than in Fallout New Vegas. Um, yeah, it's pretty rough. I like. I mean, the non-restricting. Of course, I was just playing it in Fallout Four, um, so the not restricting saves feels a lot nicer. But otherwise, yeah, it's it's rough. Um, you shall not gain. Oh. So, this is apparently, if your destruction is high enough level, you can actually get the fire ball spell, which is yes. tempting to consider, like, waiting until later to do this. Um, I just want to see what it looks like. Um, however, since it costs so much more magicka, I don't actually think it would be a viable option long run since I can't wear any enchanted armor. Flame Atronach again? Are you kidding me? Come on! 20% chance. It's bound, bound to happen. I know I could probably quick save closer to save this little walk every time, but I don't know at what point it determines. I, probably not until you engage conversation, which one she's going to ask, but I don't want to risk being in a loop. What is this place? Can I come in? I want to know what it looks like in there. A small test, if What's your test? The flame atronach is a okay, that's been... F uh, that's not good. Why has that been flame atronach three times in a row? But the thing is, she started with fear. So, like... Presumably, we're not stuck in a loop because I've seen something different once. So, why have I gotten... This? Is it just weird luck that I've gotten the same one three times in a row? It would seem that... Not just... A small test. X. Those invested in oh, no, it's just been weird luck. Be You've got to be kidding me, though. We failed a 20% chance. Um, five times in a row now. Not high probabilities of that happening. Um, how many more times do we think we can fail this? Come on. This is the College of Winterhold. May I enter? Perhaps. They really, they do. They really don't like my rule set. It would seem not just a small test, if you What's the test? The fear spell, fear spell again! We also haven't seen Mage Light, which is weird, because it's by far the least useful. How's the challenge going? Had to hop out for a little bit. Well, right now I'm trying to brute for... Well, first of all, I have to allow money, so I have to fix this thumbnail later. Um, because I forgot you have to pay her money to learn this spell here. This, the entire run hinges on learning this spell here. So I, uh, I have to allow money. So I took the carriage up here because I don't hate myself. Um, and so we are now trying to brute force this to get her to teach me the right spell. Ah, now we've gotten every spell other than the one I want. It is only a matter of time. So... Now we're up to, what, seven failed attempts on a 20% chance? Or is it? Is there six the options? I think there's only five the options, right? The gate will not open. Oh. So yeah, it's going Most stupid. I have to play Skyrim. Uh, I play Skyrim 2. And this is a Firebolt. It's powerful. It uses less magic instruction. Oh, yeah. No. Firebolt is so good. That's, again, I, with without dual cast impact Firebolt, I don't think this run is... It would seem that the nearly as doable. I'm sure it is. You can kind of brute force anything in this game, but test, if you will. it is the the whole idea for this. Fear spell again! Come on! I know she could teach you Firebolt. I know that's a thing. I did the. This is the one part I researched for this run was how to learn any other spells, and Firebolt is the one option. But yeah, Firebolt is such a good spell. I can't cast it like at all hardly right now, but at least it gives me something at a better range if I ever need it. Can I please go inside? I don't care why. I just would like to go. Firebolt? Mage Light again! What the heck? Do you have to be like level 30 destruction to get it or something? I mean, what is my destruction? I didn't, I didn't see any prerequisites online. I have enough for the apprentice destruction. Like you would think 
What the heck? Come on. The Wish I could stick around a lot longer, but I got to head to bed. Unfortunately, I work tomorrow. Not gain entry. Well, I'm sorry. I have work tomorrow. That stinks on a Saturday. I wish you could improve punching without an enchantment. I do too. Or without just like the heavy armor thing or whatever. Most and that was why, like, there was a part where I was like, I could do Khajiit unarmed, but like, that's not going to last long as an option. Yes. Let's do that one. Not We've, that's the only option we haven't clicked on here. Maybe maybe that's that has to do with it. Those in oh my goodness. How many are we up to now? Over 10 fails in a row, at least. Right? This is some dumb. This is some booty dumb. <laughs> no other words for it besides booty dumb. Why are you here? And if it, the more important question is, oh, most... This is the College of Winterhold. Why did those? Why were those in a different order this time? You expect to find with um, yeah. Can I just go in, please? But I said it would seem that the not just please, if you wish. please. Excellent. The mage light. Mage light again. Am I missing something? Don't just walk away from Do you have to have a minimum level before Firebolt is a valid option? From everything I saw online, it's just in the lineup like the rest of these spells. Because all these spells are higher level than me. All of them are. So why? I am just getting unlucky, right? <laughs> That's what's happening. Perhaps. But what is it you It would seem I would like to use the fire to do the thing. The mage light. Mage light again. Don't just walk away from me. I'm going to go insane. And the problem is like I don't have any way to verify this besides just brute forcing it. I don't know. If, if there's something that I'm missing, because there's very little info online. I think that's what it, they just, it knows. It knows that this run only works if I get Firebolt. Come on, lady. Cut me some slack. Yes! Yes! Um, I don't know that spell. Mere 30 gold. Oh, I thought it was 40. Please. See, look, she does that. And it's, it does not say, it says Firebolt added, not Firebolt like spell or whatever. So now if I go to Destruction, I just know Firebolt. And I didn't have to use an item. I just talked to her. And I guess I did pay her money, but whatever. Um, so now I can do this. Boink. Yo, we can speak, we can Firebolt. Let's um not let that go away. Um, we got it, y'all. We got it. We're good. Um, and so now let me... Uh, favorite that. Um, we favorited unrelenting force as well, right? So let's let's set these um, to. We'll set unrelenting force to seven, highborn to nine. Can you not do nine? You can only do eight. That's dumb. Firebolt to four. Okay. Okay. While we're here, we might as well. We're not actually doing the college quest. Just in case anyone was wondering, the college quest is annoying and awful. We're not doing that. Uh, we can no longer sprint at all. <laughs> so we're not going to be doing the College of Winterhold quest line. We are just here to learn the spell, that spell. But while we're here, we might as well go report to Tolfdir so that we can um, also get... Uh, he gives you less reward. So why not? Can we finish talking to her before we die? I've made myself rather clear. Welcomed another... Well... I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your... Wonderful. Um, sorry, ma'am. No, thank you. Don't <laughs> we don't want any of that nonsense. Of I'm warming up. From what? Is this a... Is this a source of heat? It's our primary location. This is heat. This is warmth. That's some magic crap right there. I wish your hands being literally on fire would, like, um, you know, be any amount of warmth. But, you know. Yes, show me the living quarters. Move. Move, please. Goodness. So after this, we're going to go do the werewolf nonsense. Because this red tent is driving me nuts. I want to have a way to eat food. Now, if eating as a werewolf does not actually reduce your hunger, I have not tested that. If it doesn't, then this is what we're looking at for the rest of the run. So we're going to really hope that it does. 
Because the only other way you can eat without using an item would be to eat a corpse, but that requires you to have the Ring of the Mirror, which is an item. So we can't do that. How much, uh, that uses quite a bit of magic. We need to get that perk pronto. Um, as far as perks are concerned, though, what restoration do we have to get to to, uh, it's dual casting. Oh, we can already get regeneration. That is also tempting. I'm going to give Firebolt usage first. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, the good thing is we're not at a, a lack of helpful perks. Which is good. The magical regeneration being... Like, restoration... The the restoration skill tree for something that's, like, impossible to stink and level up. Man, it's got some... Respite is good. Um, obviously, that is just that tree. But dual casting is great. Recovery is great. Avoid death is niche but cool. Ward absorb... I mean, wards are garbage. Let's be real. But, um... Necromage is obviously one of the most broken perks in the game, but that's because of vampires, but still. It's just like, that is such a good skill tree, and it's impossible to level up by actually healing yourself, which is all I can do. Is this warmth? This is not warmth, is it? Goodness, why does this take so long? The college is so boring. <laughs> I love magic, but... Crap, this is annoying. Now I'll show you to your class. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices. Great. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Yes, uh, if I sleep in it, will you move? How close am I to leveling up? Not very. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements. Let me, um, since I'm starving to death at this point, like, I, I can't get more hungry, so we might as well actually try and, like, stay rested at this point. Though, the reason I wasn't sleeping and, like, and waiting a bunch earlier was because I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to run out of hunger. But since I'm already out, there's no drawback to just sleeping a lot now. So might as well, right? Keep things moving along. Initially, you'll be learning from Tolfdir. Yes, I would love to meet Tolfdir. Once I meet him, I can be done with this, because you all do not actually... Weirdly, the college quest line, after your first lesson, never teaches you another spell. Treacherously cold. I wonder freaking why. Also, are these robes they're wearing enough to keep anybody warm up here? Like, if you wear the robes the college gives you... I am naked! <laughs> if you actually wear the robes that the college gives you while at the college. Is it enough to remotely like keep you from dying? I feel like it probably isn't. I won't find out this run, but online says being a werewolf doesn't help with survival needs. It's kind of vague. Well, we'll find out. If I waste my time, I waste my time. Um, I will save before I do it. If it doesn't help at all, then we may consider the vampire route because I would assume that the cold resistance would probably help with like navigating these climates and the spell you get from it is good. <laughs> oh wait, and you can feed on people as a vampire, right? Would that not also count? If, if werewolf doesn't do that, we're immediately trying vampire. <laughs> oh, I can't even sprint into people to make them shut up because I, I can't sprint. That's awful. Being a werewolf doesn't help us. You would think that, like, the fur would at least keep you warmer or something. I wonder if it's just, like, a completely separate state that doesn't affect you at all. I don't know. Maybe vampire's the right call. We'll see. If one of them can help reduce my hunger and the other one can't, that's the one I'm going with. Vampire quest force you to have that one companion. Oh, I wouldn't be doing the quest. I, would, I wouldn't be becoming a master vampire. I would just be becoming a normie vampire. I wouldn't be doing Dawn Guard. <laughs> I wouldn't even go over there. I would just, like, go find a vampire to fight until I could contract a sanguine vampiris and then, like, go sleep until I'm a vampire. That would be the idea. What do you think we should do? Yeah, no, I wouldn't do the actual quest for it. Because you're right, that, that would... Now, I mean, the thing is, I'm about to do a companion's quest that technically forces Farkas on you. He's not a companion in the sense of he's not, like carrying your stuff you know he's not at that thing but you do have to walk through with him in my opinion if the game is forcing that on you it's fine but you're right with serana though she actually travels around as a companion for a while so i think that would very much go into a, a different territory because 
it's not just like, oh, you go through this one dungeon and they force you through this dungeon with this character. It's like, she follows you everywhere for a, a while. Um, Is that so? So, it's, that's a, very much a blurred area, but if you couldn't do any quest that the All game right. makes you that's follow that's somebody that. around for, then, like, the heck are you supposed to do? And it's not like Farkas is the most and helpful in that quest anyway, because he drops his good sword and pulls out a crappy one for some reason. Yes, please teach me a ward. I'll teach you all a ward. Sounds good. See if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? I don't know any ward spells. Now, if you just stand Lesser ward added. I don't know that I'll ever use this spell. It's possible to become a regular vampire without becoming a vampire lord. It's a tough part. Um, agree 100%. Well, that's appreciated. Um, yeah, we're not going to be doing Vampire Lord. Uh, because Vampire Lord, if we're being honest, if I became a Vampire Lord, it's so good compared to what I'm going to be doing. This would become a Vampire Lord only playthrough, which does sound absurdly fun, but it's not what I'm here to do. <laughs> and I'm sure 80,000 people have done that. So also what we're going to do is now that we've learned our word, we're going to leave poor Tolfdir standing here waiting to do a lesson with a student who just straight up learned his spell and walked out. And the college is going to wonder where I went, and he's just going to kind of stand there waiting for that to happen forever, I guess. Because we out of here. Now, we do have one minor issue, actually. Does it cost 20 or 25 gold to go to a hold that has stables? <laughs> oh, no. If, if you're going to another hold via the carriage that has oh well no you never mind there's not even a carriage here right there's not a carriage here you can it's a one-way trip isn't it or is there does do you have to have a stable for the carriage to actually be sitting there you do don't you i didn't think about this i'm freaking stuck here i can't sprint oh no <laughs> i made a horrible mistake i think i've made a terrible terrible mistake can i get warm off of this dude's torch does that work like that doesn't look like it become weakened from hunger what the heck does that mean i thought i was already as hungry as i was gonna get what is weakened 30 percent less effective with melee weapons and blocking damage with your shield okay that's fine <laughs> we keep moving so yeah there's no cart here um, and even if there was, I don't think we can afford, afford it. So we need to get back to Winterhold. To Windhelm, right. The thing is, I, I'm going to have to, I'm going to Google it because I'm not about to waste the amount of time that it's going to take. Do you have any blessings? No. <laughs> I got nothing. Um, I want to check real quick. The carriage. Um, I know it costs 50 gold to come to a city that doesn't have stables. Okay, it does cost <laughs> it costs exactly 20 to go to Whiterun, though. And I have 20 gold. So if we can make it to Windhelm alive, <laughs> then we can get back with back and we'll be back to zero dollars. And who knows? Maybe we won't spend any more money for the rest of the run anyway. This is it. This is the mark of whether or not I can succeed on the run is can I get to Windhelm before I freeze to death completely naked in the mountains of Skyrim? <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, blessings. Uh, standing stone. Blessings. Yeah, I've got the mage stone right now because it was the only one that was convenient and I needed I need to get destruction high enough for Firebolt to be very usable as quick as possible. Are you an ice wolf? Oh, no, you're a regular wolf. I'll kill you then. Stop! Don't give me a cutscene! I'm just freezing! <laughs> Thank you! I don't know that I have as much confidence as you do, but I appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. The not sprinting is so annoying. Um, is this... This spell... If we see, like, a really low-level thing... These guys are here, too?! Just harassing some poor red guard woman for the sake of her being a red guard. Does this work? Um, ouch. 
Ouch again. Ouch more. I am freezing. I was trying to see if Fury would work so that I could just get some, some points in Illusion to try and get another level up. I was being greedy, in other words. This is really bad. There's a mine here. What's that? There's bound to be a, a, a some sort of like a torch or something in there, right? Like a, a forge or something. There always is in, in these random mines. I think it's worth dipping into. Whistling mine. There's bound to be something. Something to just get the warmth back up before we head back out. Yes, a campfire. Are you a bandit? You're not a bandit, right? No, it's Thorgar. Everybody knows Thorgar. <laughs> this is exactly what I needed. Do I need to stand in it? I'll stand in it. Ah, resting my weary bones. Warmer, but still very cold. Fair enough. This is good. This is very good. How much progress have we made towards... Uh, which one... I mean, that's almost half. I'd say we could probably make the trek straight from here to, to Windhelm. That is a big deal that this is here. Because there was no way we were making it. Feel warmer, but still chilly. We need to go all the way until we have the warm buff. Fury's actually useful on bandits. Really? Thorgar's your favorite Skyrim character? Are you being serious? I have no idea who this is. Oh, he doesn't... You're full of crap. He doesn't even say anything. <laughs> I believed that for a second. There's no, <laughs> no shot. So, um, I did a playthrough once where it was like all illusion, you know, and it was like using pacifist, pacifism and fear and fury and all that kind of stuff. And it was a lot of fun. Um, it very much needs dual casting and like a very specific build, but it's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know that just... Like, are you seriously kidding me with the wolves? Oh, right, come on. No diseases. No diseases. We're good. We're good. I have this thing when I'm playing games and streaming that I have a tendency to just say things twice every time. Like, I'm trying to convince myself. He does the best jokes in the game. This has to be a joke, right? He, would, <laughs> he wouldn't say anything. That's a stillborn cave? Ew, I hate that. I hate that so much. I don't like the... the imagery there. Oh, gosh. How did I end up here? I swear I was... There was a mine. I was on, like, a path. It's not... No, it is snowing still. I was gonna say, I thought it wasn't snowing for a second. But it is. Is that it? Are we actually that close? Are you freaking kidding me? Whatever, it's free destruction XP. No, I really love Thorgar. I'm happy for you. What's this mine? What's this? Hello there, fellow traveler. One night. Why? To perform for my common man, of course. Why should only the courts and inns of wealthy towns... Why are you just... But why are you mining? Whatever, dude. You live your life, man. I'm proud of you. <laughs> I'm glad you love Thorgar. It is a character that I did not know existed until today, so... I mean, I'm sure I've encountered him before, but... Never enough to, like, actually... Remember that name. I don't even think we're going to go into Windhelm because I don't have any reason to be there. Again, there's there's literally no benefit to doing quests at all. We're just trying to get to the end of this. The wolves are crazy. I guess my level is so low, there's no enemies that can spawn in this area other than just basic wolves. Because they're like, why are you here as level one? I got an emergency iron deficiency? Fair point. That's that's definitely what it is. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I'm I'm starting to go so slow. Come on. We could can we kill a horker, you think? 
Let's try it. They're pretty slow, right? We can probably outrun them even at this speed. Oh, we definitely cannot kill a worker. Let me, uh, just for the sake of it here. Can I fury a horker? Yeah, fight each other, horkers. They're not doing it. They're not fighting each other. I was gonna try- Oh, they are! Yeah! I was just trying to see if I could get a point in illusion just for the, the sake of leveling up. No. Oh, don't come after me. Y'all were fighting each other. I was just trying to make you more mad. There you go. Yeah! I am numb. I've become frostbitten. Oh, shoot. What does that do? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> we're fine. I mean, we'll still move along. Now that those two workers are just over there fighting each other. Oh my gosh. What am I stuck on? What is happening? I can't jump. Oh my goodness. Please. Oh my goodness, and that's locked. I can't move. Wait, this is warmth, right? Does this count as warmth? It does. I'm warming up. We're warming up. <laughs> We're doing it. We are fine. Not even close. Nothing to be concerned about. Definitely was not a terrible decision to stop and provoke a couple of horkers. We're doing it. Everything's going great. All right, I think that's probably warm enough to get to the carriage, right? I don't want to stand here any longer. I don't even know if you can get warmer when you're out here in the cold. Is there no way over there that doesn't require me to swim? This is solid, right? Are you screwing with me? That would kill me immediately. Right? Like, that's bound to be instant death if I jump in there. Tolgar, my second favorite character. I didn't even notice that. This is either a wonderful coincidence or this is just a really entertaining bit, but I'm happy to just assume it's the first so that I don't have to have my hopes and dreams ruined. How quickly does this kill me? Okay. Okay, come on. I don't know how I missed that message about Tolgar, by the way. Got to go through the city? No. I don't even know how we could have gotten up to the city from there. <laughs> Didn't see a staircase. I'm sure there was one. We're fine. Who cares about a little frostbite? Please. It won't just, like, kill me to take this carriage, right? Like, I won't freeze to death en route. I'd like to hire your carriage. I would like to go to Whiterun again. Climbing back. My last 20 gold. We made that 100 gold go a long way. <laughs> yeah, we can make open meals at campsites, except for some reason they decided to make campsites an item that you have to use. All right, let's warm up here. I can't even, like, jump hardly. It won't even hardly let me jump. All right. We're doing it. We're roasting the bits. It's it's going well. Okay, so we got our other we got our other spell. That's a big deal. Um, so now I think the plan is to try the werewolf thing, and if that doesn't work, then we just need to find a vampire. That's the play at this point. Uh, that is where we are at. Any minute now, I'll be done cooking the boys, and we can get back on the road. It's a strange thing. It's been insane to get every torch in Skyrim. Exactly. We're just, we're just establishing additional world lore. We will be a myth in a couple of years. We will be a, a folk tale. That's the objective of this run, is to become a folk tale. You're now comfortable. Let's wait until we're warm. Let's get all the way. Man, the tunnel vision is rough. Like, look at this dude on the side here. My goodness, that is bad. It's all right, though. 
Um, I didn't see it pop up and say we're warm, but I'm going to assume we're warm enough. So, um, I guess we're going to leave Way of the Voice off for right now. First lessons we're done with. Um, You'll be on the next game for sure. Yep. Purvis Powell, well, you can probably one-shot those wolves once you got it. Oh, yeah, those wolves. They really won't know what's coming then. Um, so, yeah, let's go try our best to retrieve the fragment of Uthrat. Now, here's the thing. This quest kind of freaking sucks. So, oh, at least we can move normal speed again. We can't sprint, but we can move at normal speed. That's nice. If I recall, this quest is really annoying. Um... If you're, you know, not appropriately, like, leveled at all. Which I'm 1,000% not. Because I think most of the Silver Hand in this dungeon are static levels. So if you come to this quest, like, way later in the game, it's super stupidly easy. But if you do it at the beginning, they're, like, way beyond anything you should be equipped to fight. Um, so there's a chance that I can't even complete this right now. And I need to wait until I can get the apprentice caster spell to have a shot. We're going to hope that's not the case. And if nothing else that like, I mean, cause the thing is like Farkas is there. You can't get rid of him. So like in theory, he would eventually kill them since he's an essential NPC. But in practice, I don't know that I've ever really seen that happen much. So also did I die at any point in there? I just had to reload a bunch of times for the spell, but I never actually died. Did I? I haven't adjusted the death counter in a while. And that feels wrong. It feels like I should have died a bunch, but I don't think I have lately. Fury! Fight me, dear! What is happening right now? Are we making out? What's going on? I did not like that. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. We're, we're fine. haven't died okay cool does what count as having a companion are we talking about like farkas we're going with no because it's like having a companion is like a uh unless you're talking about the deer in which case probably i need to reset um the, the thought process fight me rabbit man illusion takes a bit to level up huh um <laughs> The, the school of thought is that a companion is, like, someone who will follow you wherever. He will only follow you in this dungeon. Like, he's not actually, like, assigned to me. If I could dismiss him here, I would. But, I mean, I don't know. I think it's fine, considering I'm not, like, recruiting. Wait, if I just never talk to him, will he just stay out there? Because if so, I'll, I'll do that. I will, I will do this without him if it will let me try. But I don't think it will. I think it, yeah, you can't complete this quest without him being forced on you. I... It was the same thing when I like when I did the the Fallout 4 Nuzlocke. Like whenever you take on Arcjet with Dance, you can't not have Dance. So I just allowed it because otherwise it was just going to be a, a headache to get into the semantics of. And I think having a way to get rid of this red glow will likely be very uh, beneficial. Ouchies. We're gonna try something a little silly, and that is just to ignore everything until I get locked in here. Because why not? They'll show up eventually, right? <laughs> right? I didn't think this through very well, did I? Because if he's stuck back there... <laughs> when he follows you and you don't talk to me, I just just walk by and he's just like, Hey, hey, wait! Hey! Are we supposed to be doing this together? Next thing you know, I'm stuck in here. A dro is that a Draugr that just showed up over there? Is it true? Oh no, please tell me this doesn't break the sequence. <laughs> oh no! This is, um, interesting. Well, it's this quest, and then you still have to do one more after this before you get to be a werewolf, right? Looks like guy isn't a werewolf or anything. Yeah, it'd be really bummed. If, it'd be a really bad idea to take off a werewolf. I hope I didn't scare you. Nah, you're good. 
Dude, we just have to grab the fragments, right? So huh? I'm gonna go grab the fragments now. Bob and weave, bob and weave. Wait, oh gee, what? Not a werewolf. I was not prepared to fight one of those. Oh shoot, oh shoot. We're just gonna like, maybe if we wake up the entire place, they'll all just fight each other instead of me. Because the Draugr and the Silverhand aren't aligned, right? So we should just be able to kind of keep on moving. And I'm hoping they'll all get distracted fighting each other in Farkas. So far, I have not relied on Farkas whatsoever. This quest shows how powerful werewolves are. Yeah, except for the fact that if you ever try and transform in front of people like that, instead of them waiting around for you to do it, they just kill you mid-transformation. Have you ever tried to, like, transform in the middle of a battle? It doesn't freaking work. At all. This way. Not step on that. Are they all gonna immediately kill me the second I load into this next room? I'm assuming they will, right? Yeah. Uh! <laughs> We're doing it! This is incredible. Why have I never done this quest this way before? This is fantastic. I am, I am so strong. I am so good at Skyrim. <laughs> Just ignore all of it. I know it makes you fight stuff at the very end, but like if I can skip the rest of it between now and then, I happily will. That? Oh, that's a storeroom. That's not a... Because they're all fighting these guys here initially. Normally I wait for them to kill all of them and then come in and clean up, but... Oh, it requires a key. Is the key on somebody? Just light everybody on fire. That one's the strong one, I remember. Um, Highborn active. We'll use fire bolts to finish this chick off. Except that I can't. That's fury, not fire bolt. Darn it. Just miss, just miss me over and over. Which one of them has the darn key? The key is a quest item. I'm allowed to pick up quest items. Which one has the key? Or is it like a... I don't... Oh, shoot. What did I just pick up? I don't want it. Take that back. Or no, it was the gold I picked up. This I did not have any gold. That is not allowed. I guess maybe it is. I don't know. Not even in game. They are real. Oh, no. There's a. Is there a switch over here? Or is it just in here? Is the key just chilling in here? Yeah, the key's just chilling in here. I totally forgot. Steel Soldier Gauntlets. You can tell I've never played this version of the game before. We out of there. I'll fight the Skeevers. I'll take on that fight. I feel confident I can win that one. Ah, semi-confident. Man, I can't see anything, though. Why is this Skeever not freaking dying? Okay, I'm actually getting scared of this freaking Skeever. Die! Oh, wooden door is locked. Where am I trying to go here? This one's open. We'll just go through the only open door. Uh, Yes, this way. See, I don't... Does this feel like I'm traveling with a companion to anyone else? Because it doesn't to me. I'd say it's fine. Um, What's the proper way through here? Yo! Parkour is the way to win. More skeevers, huh? And more Draugr. Yeah, we're not messing with you. I don't care. Oh, that hurt. I forgot. I'm not... I don't heal. I have to heal myself. I keep forgetting that. Will Farkas end up in here with me? You know what? Screw it. We'll, t we'll, we'll find out one way or the other. We're quick saving. We're locking it in. We're learning fire breath. It's the main thing we were here for. Grabbing the fragment. We're locked in. Farkas is locked out. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, we can... I don't care what the exhaustion does to us. This is worth it. This is 100% worth it. We ain't getting out of here without Highborn. We're not. We might not get out of here with Highborn. The problem that this is about to autosave, so we're locked in, A. B, um, we'll have a lot less magic because we'll be tired. But... We'll have Highborn. <laughs> 
How tired are we going to be? And does Farkas teleport in if we do this? Farkas does teleport in if we do that. Oh, well. I'm at, I'm at half magic, so I think it's a trade-off. The, the Skeever also warped in. Just hang out in the tomb for a day. Yeah, just waiting. Gosh, my vision is so bad. This is a terrible gaming experience, for the record. Uh, I'm sure it's a terrible viewing experience, too, and I am genuinely sorry about that. Really? You wouldn't expect Draugr to be cowards. Is my ma Hold on, is my magic of regeneration affected by this, too? 75% slower? <laughs> That's so stupid! I did it to myself. It's fine. I don't know if Highborn will actually... Should get the Bloodlust ring because it increases damage for real wolves. I should. I should. That would be a really good item to use. If only I were allowed to use items. Oh, it's not armor. It's, it's items. I can't drink a potion. I can't wear a ring. It counts. <laughs> it is equipped. Yeah, I mean, it's... Effectively, if it's something in my inventory I have to use, we're going with no. I wish, but the thing is, also at the same time, um, my objective isn't to, to make this a werewolf, you know, playthrough either, because those are actually fun. That's, my objective wasn't fun. My objective was pain. Look at them all. Okay, let's speed this up. Man, that still is not increasing very fast at all, huh? What are these guys doing over here? Did we do it? Can we leave? Are you actually locked in here, or can you? could you have left the whole freaking time? Or no, you have to wait for one of these to open that has the gate, like the door behind it, right? Oh my gosh, there's another wave and I used Highborn. That was a mistake. Destruction increase. That's a big deal. That's going to make the difference. I just know it. All right, get that magic back. Kill this guy, maybe. Now, maybe we just get more magic back. Or if folks are, perks are there, so you'll be fine. I mean, this place. Uh, fun to watch the other ones. Yeah, you know. That's the thing. I feel like any streamer or like content creator or whatever's misery is is enjoyment for the audience. That's kind of the whole idea. Uh, okay, well, my highborn is worn off. We should get the bound weapons. I haven't to get the spellbook. Agreed. This would be a... There's a part of this... I considered allowing spellbooks, like if I could find them instead of having to buy them, just because there are, are some elements of that that I think would make the game more fun. And I might do a playthrough like that at some point for fun more, but as far as like, is it possible to do this kind of challenge? It was fine to not allow it. But I, I agree, like having bound weapons would definitely make it interesting. But also, you know, a weapon or, or a, a full playthrough using bound weapons is something I could easily do, you know what I mean? And then that would just be a, to highlight I think the more you niche down and the less you allow yourself, the more future fun you can have by exploring different niches. I'm going to be doing things very differently in this run than I would be doing... Um... Which of these buttons did I assign? That's where I assigned Foos. Just keep them off of me and do the world's most minuscule amount of damage that you've ever seen in a video game. Goodness, there's so many. I'm helping, Farkas. I'm help. Oh, crap. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. Light them all up. Let them burn a little. Yes, all of you should wave your arms at me. What? What? Where did you come from? I got stuck on a rock. 
if you could get bound weapons, would they count as an item? That's a really good question. Thankfully, it's not a hypothetical I have to answer because I don't have any means of getting them, but it is a really good question. I have no idea. Oh no, I didn't get to do the weight thing. This is before that, so I don't have Highborn right now. And I also don't have Farkas. Uh, whatever, it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. That's the wrong spell. No, there's, I can't, I can't take these on single-handedly, right? Like, is there any point in trying? And, and undead are Im immune to illusion spells until you have like the really high level, until you have necromage, right? Or not, not necromage, whatever the, whatever it's called. There's a perk for that. Maybe we take out the first wave and then maybe we can try and wait before the second wave spawns. Maybe that's a thing. Or maybe their stagger spawned and we're screwed. But we'll, we'll find out. There's one. Two. Where are you at? There you are. Three. Heck yeah. Do we get Highborn back? Or maybe we just wait an hour to get our Magicka back. Hold up. Oh, frick you. Right. Well, whatever. Yeah, if we can wait an hour between each spawn, we can instantly refill our Magicka. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Um, that hurt. Yeah, well, you know. It, it, it happens. Oh, I haven't been... I, I've died... Is it just been those two times I've died? There's just two deaths? So we're at, at seven? I'm gonna forget this so many times. I'm gonna go watch the VODs when this is all done and realize that I'm off by like 12 deaths. I'm sure of it. But for now, I think it's accurate. I don't know. We never actually ended up freezing to death. Oh, I didn't wait for an hour this time because it did that. I, why does it do that? Why does it save before you do the thing? Like that's counter from what every other game ever does. Oh, where'd you come? What did I take damage from just then? I didn't get like staggered at all. Those guys got stuck over there and I'm not trying to unstick them. Who are you? You know I'm not the Draugr that's hitting you, right, Farkas? It's insane, Farkas. Instant transition when you wait for one hour. It's surprising he knows what you're doing. It's more surprising I got through the locked door. All right, that's enough health back. Let's help him deal with these guys a little bit. Because the, the, the burn tick damage... Isn't, yeah, it's not bad. Can I wait for me? Oh, okay. We could, does it recognize that they're there? Look, I am the strong one here, not Farkas. Don't forget it. The Skeever's caught up! Farkas, these Skeevers are not your brother. They're just Skeevers. You know what a brother is, right? <laughs> Stop calling everything in the dungeon your brother. So yeah, Farkas rounds them all up for you real good and then you can like mass burn. Doesn't matter that you get Farkas in there. He already thinks that I'm the one hitting him with the Draugr are anyway. He's as blind as I am right now, apparently. This is incredible. Are you planning on making this video? Yes, I very much am. I would definitely not be doing this otherwise. <laughs> That's actually objectively false. I do stuff like this all the time. Uh, cannot wait. Oh, because there's a dude hanging out under here. This is actually going really well. He's raised in this dungeon. They are all his brothers. Farkas was in a, was, used to be a Draugr. He was one of the ancient Nords. <laughs> Farkas has always been... You know, this is a really dumb way that I'm going about this, but it's actually, I mean, it's working really well. <laughs> Until the restless one spawns, so that's gonna be a headache. But yeah, yeah, there he is. It's fine. Watch it there, brother.
All right, so this is the restless one. So let's go take out these guys while he does that. The door opened for a second. Why? Wait, I hear another one. Is there another one? Yep, there is. No, thank you. Is that the restless one that's that's on a knee? Heck yes. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. I was going to switch to healing, but I'm not. I'm, I'm committing. Stop. Stop doing the kill cam. He's not dead. Oh, my goodness. We did it. Right? It's open now, isn't it? It is. Heck yeah. We breezed through that quest, mostly because we left literally everyone alive <laughs> other than the Draugrs at the end. But hey, that's what this run is gonna be. Uh, let's, let's fix our terrible, terrible health. Honestly, leveling up Restoration might be a bit easier in this playthrough than other ones because my health is gonna perpetually be so low all the time that I'm gonna use it a lot more. It's a bummer we can't get fast healing. That That is the main like thing I'm kind of bummed about. Because <laughs> fast healing is really nice. Huh. All right. Now at this point, I do think Farkas like glues himself to you until you go back and turn this in. So I need to like not engage in anything else until after that. Fury! Fight me, dear. Farkas! I'm doing something here, can't you tell? Destruction 29, heck yeah. This is like, as a playthrough, working right now. And I'm very pleased with it. Come on, give me that destruction level. Give it to me. Hats off to Farkas for waiting outside for so long. <laughs> Yeah, for real. He was at we we took a carriage all the way to Winterhold and back and he was just still chilling there. He is a committed member of the companions. He is he is as loyal as they come. He's like, "No, no, no. He's coming back. I believe in him. I know he's brand stinking new, but he's he'll be back. I know he will be." All right. I don't want to fight anything else um with Farkas with me because this this is a fact I have a companion right now I don't literal a literal companion I don't want to so I'm just going to beeline it out uh, did I die I died another time that I didn't save that I didn't death counter man I'm gonna be bad at remembering that please if you see me doing that call me on it because geez I don't know what's wrong with me but overall, hitting about the three-hour mark, why did I just become weakened from hunger again? Wasn't I already weakened from hunger? Oh, now I'm starving. 90% less effective with shields. Oh, and sneaking. That's a bummer. Sneaking's one of the few skills I can level up. <laughs> I have no reason to use it, but I can level it up. Get some extra perks. So I think here... Getting the fire bolt, like the, the apprentice caster for destruction, I think is the call. Extra healing would be good. Um, dual casting would be really good. But I think going ahead and like getting fire bolt is a viable option before I have too many things that I have to fight at range is probably the smartest idea. Because like, this is a fire bolt right now. Like that, that is... I mean, what, like a fifth of my magic for a firebolt? It, it being... Being able to get ten firebolts out instead of five would, in my opinion, be very, very worth it. We also need to find and kill a dragon real bad because we can get fire breath, which will do a lot better than unrelenting force for right now. So we Next do need to... <laughs> yeah, that's right, Emran. I, I do want to get dressed next time before leaving the house. Except I can't! <laughs> I can't do that! Alright. Well. 
Oh yeah, they're outside. We can go officially join the companions, and they're like, "It'll be a long. You will You won't be getting a werewolf anytime. You have to join the circle. And that's not going to happen anytime soon." And then we go and do that. <laughs> same day. Well, not the same day because I'm going to sleep for 24 hours to get Highborn back. But you know. It looks like I'm already in werewolf transformation with this color tint. Why? What is? What is the point of that creative decision to make it where everything is just blood red while you're hungry? I am warm. I'm sure that'll offset the starving to death. Then the judgment of this circle is I really hope I'm not wasting my time with this. I really hope the werewolf eating thing is actually a solution. Because if I do all of this and it's not, I'm going to be so ticked off. I'm going to be so ticked off. Oh my goodness. Well, boy, you're one of us. Yes, I am. No. Alright, so I gotta do an odd job and then the, the other job. Let's, uh. Mm -hmm. I should be able to sneak past Farkas the care without him noticing you and follow you, but he's scripted to follow you. So I just have a feeling I should go in at this point. I'm gonna quick save and then talk to each different person to see what work that they give me. Is that what it is no matter what? I feel like that's what it is no matter what, but I want to check. Oh no. Mm, can we get a brawl? A brawl would by far be the fastest. Oh no, this is always a pretty good one to do. You literally just go into somebody's home and kill a wolf that's in there somehow. I, I think it's a wolf always. Maybe it could be something else, but I've always had to... She said it was in White Run, right? It's in Riverwood. Ugh. Let's let's see what our other options are. <laughs> if you talk to the same person again, well, like, will she give me the same one every time? Or is this going to be a different location now? If she gives me the same quest but a different location each time, that would be fantastic. Not nah, Riverwood again. Okay. That's fine. So we have that as an option. We know that that's an option. What does Farkas give? Farkas, don't you dare go in there! Talk to me! I'm looking for work. Fall Creed. No, thank you. Gonna be a dragon. Hey, I mean, we need one of those, right? Um, I definitely... Oh, my mouse is being weird. Uh, it's just the four of them you can talk to, right? Let's check where these other ones were located. Let me see where these are located. If there's anything closer than Riverwood, we'll do it. Heck no. Can't you just tell me if the grip is bad? Come on. Where's yours? Citizen's been kidnapped. I have a feeling this one would take way too long. But is it close? Oh, Halted Stream Camp. No, we'll do that. We'll totally do that. Um, usually, Halted Stream Camp is on my earliest to do because there is a spell tome there for transmute mineral lore. And I normally use that to power level smithing to the best of my ability. You know, make take iron ore, turn it to gold ore, make jewelry out of it, that whole thing. Um, and I know that it's just an outdoor area that only has a handful of bandits in it. Um, so worth, I think this will take about probably the same amount of time as the Riverwood one. Um, because I don't have to run as far, but the bandits will take a little bit longer to kill. But I'll get some more XP out of it, hopefully. So I, I think this is worth it. Um, speaking of XP, we have a decision to make. Do we want better healing? Do we want better damage? That's a fair point. Fury could be a valid option here. I mean, at some point, should I take... Should I consider taking Novice Illusion? I don't know if I should or not. 
I'm definitely not right now. I just, I don't know if it'll ever be worth considering. So restoration dual casting is definitely, and, and regeneration are definitely worth considering very soon. And they're easy so you don't need to. That's fair. I mean, I get the extra level wouldn't hurt though. Apprentice destruction, I feel like, because dual casting is great, but ideally I'd be dual casting Firebolt. So let's let's do this. Let's get Firebolt to be a valid option. Um, zero out of zero stamina. Yeah, we're killing it. We're doing great. I love that that is an option. The latest recruit, right? Wait, Shut up, Torvar. Right? <laughs> He's so obnoxious. Most of the companions are obnoxious. Like, the circle aren't. Like, the main one. But, like, the... All of the other newbies are really annoying. Other than the one chick who's, like, nice. Like, the, uh, the, the one who was newest before you. I don't remember her name. But she's nice. But the rest of them are all obnoxious. Or just, like kind of douches I don't know I feel like they didn't really go out of their way to make the companions a very likable faction even like Ayla who people like like I think they just like her because of the armor they have her wearing she doesn't really have much of a personality they all just like like being werewolves and hunting crap which like I mean that's yeah, cool in and of itself but I they need to give them more to work with it's bizarre because there's a whole one other quest in this game that I that I'm aware of that has anything they're actually all tied for your third favorite character well, that I have to disagree with that first two I understood these I don't know that I agree as much um, there's I think effectively only one other werewolf related quest in base Skyrim and it is for um, the ring of here scene or the savior's hide the, the danger quest and there's more development for the one werewolf was Sinjin or whatever his name is for the one werewolf guy in that one quest than there is for the entirety of the companions, in my opinion. Like, I feel much more connected to either being a werewolf or not being a werewolf. Oh. We're fine, right? That didn't really do damage, did it? You know, it auto-saved on the way out of, uh... Oh, hold up. My battery fell off of my mouse cord, so it is, uh... Um, okay. Oof. Wrong power. You get out of here, man. Can't you see we're kind of in the middle of something? Why are you ignoring the dragon and coming after me? <laughs> I thought he was going to fly more upwards. Oh, wait, is he fighting giants and stuff? This is a huge opportunity. Yes, fight the giants. Oh, he didn't make it to the giants. He was fighting like a freaking mud crab or something. Oh, I missed those again. We have a genuine shot here. Where'd he go? I hate how it shakes the camera like that. You can't tell what you're freaking pointing at. Oh, not even close. Highborn's still going. Okay, we need to let it regen as much. Oh, it just it just wore off. What's he fighting? Is he doing all that against a single mud crab? You have elder dragons. Yeah, I'll I'll keep fighting this one regular one for now. I think that's fine by me. Yeah, if he can just keep going and waging, like, get, like getting into fights with other things and taking damage off of them, I will happily just clean up the soul when this is over with and get fire breath. Is he just fighting, like, a wolf right now? I wish Highborn lasted a little bit longer. I hit him. I did it. I mean, this is going well. Oh, 
Oh, he's going after that deer. Cool. He's almost to the point where he's grounded, and once he's grounded, we can just kind of get some distance between me and him, and his, his large, like, ice blasts that he throws out there are slow enough that if you're pretty far away, you should be able to avoid him. Then we should have a pretty safe way to finish this. Getting fire breath now would be huge. Oh, I don't like how close you're landing to me. Okay, no, you're not. You're going all the way over there for some reason. Yeah, yeah. Is that the halted stream camp? Heck yes. Let's ground him there. He's grounded. Yes. Yes. Y'all duke it out, please. This is incredible. Look, he just, <laughs> he just flung that dude. Maybe we need to help the bandits a little bit. See, now he's going to start shooting those, but they're dodgeable. He's, like, leading them. This dude's, like, actually in my head. See, like, we can do this all day. And that's how long it's going to take. But that's fine. Like, did that even deal damage? I don't know if that deal dealt any damage or not. I dealt damage. He's he's ticking down. Dragons, am I right? Chumps. Yeah, we need dual casting. Dual casting. Bang his ground his low HP because he can't check your wings now. It makes sense. Also, how did that hit me at all? Oh, I walked into it. That was on me. Thank goodness he didn't... If he went for me right then, I couldn't have avoided it. How long? This is the least intense fireball battle of all time. That's what I strive to create, is a, a scenario of the least intense magic fight with a dragon. Kill him! Boom! Fantastic. Give me that soul. Did he take out the entire halted stream camp for me? Or no, there's still... There is an inside here. It's just not much. That's fine, though. There might be a bed here. I can get Highborn back, you know? Fantastic. Honestly, smooth as can be. Halted stream camp discovered. Let's see it. Give it to me. There we go. Magic. Powers. Or no, not powers. It's not a power. It's a shout. Because um, shouts aren't powerful. Unlock. Favorite. Uh, what numbers have I not used? I haven't used five or six. We'll throw it on five. Fireball should be a learnable spell in Winterhold. Wish that was the case. Yeah, the thing is, I've I've heard online that it is, but I think you have to have like a minimum destruction level before that will be one of the options that they give you. But it just... While it's nice that it has the AoE, it costs so much more magic, I just don't know that it would be the most practical choice anyway. Like, even if... There's not any beds out here, are there? If I wait 24 hours, I can get Highborn, but then I will have very little magic. So I'll have to, like, play it. We'll, we'll do a, a save out here. And actually, I've been quick saving a lot. Every so often, I like to do, like, an actual, like, save save. <laughs> Just because, you know, give ourselves a, a fallback. So let's see now. Air's warm here. That's good. Oh. Can I drop those rocks on somebody? Wait. I cannot rest you. Is Hulda is my who's Hulda and why am Oh nice. What's going on? Rescue Hulda. That explains my confusion. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that doesn't sound like a bandit chief named Hulda. Let's try and go with something a bit more precise here. Let's go with fireballs. 
Oh, Hulda saved herself. Thank the divines. Let's move. So I don't even need to go any farther down. Sure, yeah, let's do it. We have to escort her back? That's stupid. Uh, let's go through this door so she'll teleport out before she steps on that pressure plate and kills herself. Alright, Hulda. Well, I killed the dragon, so it should be safe. Oh, by the way, let's York. Or whatever he says for that one. What's the word for it? It always sounds weird. Oh, does it not? It doesn't say. Why does it not say the the word that it actually is there? I, I want to be able to read them. Oh, gosh. This one has a long cooldown, though, doesn't it? What's the cooldown difference? Oh, twice as long as Unrelenting Force. Stormbreaker, Dragonborn, be broken. Use the Awakened Shout, Sky and Thunder, have Lightning Storm. Just don't let you become Prime Dragonborn Lightning version, just saying. There's a lot. The thing is, that's, and I think that's the reason that this game has become. I, you know, believe it or not, I would have been disappointed if Hulda wasn't your fourth favorite character. I, I'm just going to throw that out there. I, I don't know. I mean. Hulda's my sixth favorite character, personally. I have them all ranked. Um, and she's number six. Narrowly beaten out. Just barely. But but she's up there, for sure. I, I, anyway, what I was saying is, I, I think the reason, like, Skyrim isn't timeless because it's this, like, perfect game. I think it's timeless because it's, it's a deeply flawed game. Take your leave of Hulda. Does that mean killer? I think it's code for killer. How do I... I can't take my leave of her if she keeps running from me. This is dumb. Hold up. Oh, let me fury this rabbit. Fury. Oh, fury. Fury. Burn to death. Garmin's like, we become the prime version of Dragonborn as the story progresses. I mean, yeah. So I, I think the reason that this game is is what it is, um, is just because. I've been looking for you. Oh, here so he is, my fifth favorite. Your the courier. He has a name. It's Jimmy. In case okay. you didn't know. Not, looks like that's it. Got I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to read this. <laughs> it's an item. Ah, stop shooting me with arrows. Can I drop this key now? Cannot drop keys. That's dumb. Um, yeah, Jimmy the Courier is fifth favorite. But I've, I had a point I was going to say. I don't even know. Oh, I just think that the, the fact that you can do a bunch of different wonky builds and play the game in a bunch of different ways significantly elevates it above anything that the game is. I remember him. He's from Fallout New Vegas. Right, right, right. Same guy. Same guy. He just kind of keeps running. He'll run straight into the next game. Speaking of, of other games in this genre, here's here's a fun question. Um, have Are either of you um, fans of Starfield? Starfield has been very, very polarizing. Um, being the newest Bethesda title. And whenever it came out... I posted like a, a YouTube short, TikTok like situation, poking a little fun at it, um, because I just thought it was. Oh my gosh! I personally found it a bit on the underwhelming side, um, for quite a few reasons. Not that I never said it was like bad, just that it was not what I was hoping for. Um, oh, this is Hulda. I knew I recognized the name. But um, I, I made a video lightly teasing it as, as being, in my opinion, not the best, um, not the best gaming experience. Not bad, just something that you could didn't play it, but I do think it looks quite fun. It seems it, to me is a game kind of like Skyrim, where you can put a bunch of hours into it and have a lot of fun with it. Um, but it is very much a quantity over quality game, in my opinion. There's a lot of repeated assets. There's a lot of... I'm going to the wrong building. A lot of repeated assets, a lot of repetition and that kind of stuff. But if you enjoy the actual gameplay loop, that's fine because you just have more of it, you know? But they very much made it a very... It's a very 
the game can feel very empty. And they did that on purpose. They wanted it to feel like the emptiness of space or whatever. But it can feel almost too empty a lot of times. And so I posted something like lightly making fun of it a couple weeks after it was posted, after the game came out. And I got completely just roasted by people online. It got more views than anything I've ever posted. And not quite. It more views than most things I've ever posted. And most of them were just people dogpiling on me and completely hating my opinions for it. Um, it definitely doesn't have the staying power of Skyrim or Fallout. It doesn't have the personality of either game. And I think that's mainly what it was missing because it feels hollow. It feels very empty. A lot of game to play. If all you care about is gameplay, you'll have a good time. If you care about the game having more like personality to it, it's not the right game. Um, but right people here. roasted me for it, right? Got another 100 gold. I guess I'll hold on to that for the, uh, the cart. I'm, I'm not going to be looting people. I guess technically I could be looting gold if we're allowing it, but I'm just going to draw the line there. Um, but anyway, I got completely demolished by people online and then give it like a month later and all the like discourse online is talking about how it's underwhelming and it's the player base has fallen off and all that. But for the first couple of weeks, everybody wanted to pretend that it was Skyrim 2. Um, it very much is not. But yes. it's it is a fun play. A little different. Reason I ask is that I'm just trying to get um, a general idea of I if anyone would care for this type of video in Starfield. I just think I they would take too long to make. Um, I think the main quest is is a lot. I think it's longer and has more like filler I to it. Here with my life, which is more I didn't mean to talk to him about what it would mean to be a companion. Right. And the thing is, take something like The Outer Worlds, which is a much shorter game, right? But it has a, a more personality than I've seen in almost any game ever. A very, very distinct personality. And on top of that, um, they very much went for quality over quantity. It's a short game. It's a very short game. But it, it is very well crafted, in my opinion. Um, the gameplay mechanics are very fun. Um and, and I think it's not as open. It's not as there's not as much of an open world. There's it's more limited space to navigate, but I think it is so worth the the playthrough. Um, and oh, I need to do a manual save here. They're about to turn me into a, a vampire, aren't they? Or, are they, or a vamp I mean, a werewolf, aren't they? Or are they not? They might be. I think they are. Um, but anyway, I think out of the two, it's like if you want. A short, very good experience. I would play The Outer Worlds. I highly recommend it. Um, and if you want something that you can just sink a bunch of hours into kind of mindlessly while w listening to a podcast or something. Um, now I'm saying Outer Worlds, not Outer Wilds. Two different games. I hear The Outer Wilds is good, but I have not played The Outer Wilds. I'm talking about The Outer Worlds. It get very easy to confuse the two of them. <laughs> um... No test, but anyway, I was just curious on that. I'm planning on doing some in Outer Worlds because um, Avowed is coming out soon, and I am I'm hoping Avowed can be a bit more of what everyone was hoping Starfield was going to feel like. I'm really hoping that's the case. Or the name like same thing? I have no freaking clue. I can only assume that they were in development at the same time and it was too late to change it. That's that's all I can think. How the crap would I recognize Ayla in this form? Just like, for real. Sure, whatever. I just want to know if this will allow me to eat food. And by that I mean people. Because if we can't, I gotta go find a vampire. Which is a problem because I already killed a niece, and she's by far the easiest vampire to find. Very well. Because if this if this does not do, then we've got to come on. I love that slice, plop. Like this is not a drinkable fluid. This is a pancake. I'm not calling this using an item, by the way. I know it said use the fountain, but whatever. I, it's not in my inventory. The main discerning factor here is things in your inventory. Also, do they get mad if you like if you like kill people in Whiterun during this? Maybe like a guard, perhaps. 
I mean, I won't get a bounty for it, right? I am warm. Oh, I'm gonna die? That's not cool. Man. Werewolf can't beat one white red card. Don't just stand there. Kill him. Kill him. Yours was not an easy. We even have a self. There's a pack. The silver. We're going to. Yep. Lead yep. on. Skior's already scouting ahead. You have. Just be careful where you do it. Some cowards in this land can't stand the sight. Okay. So. Now is where we find out. Glory. If this has been a waste of time or not. That the giants would be easy once you get the werewolf. I bet they won't. Fountain only run. Also, did you delete your message? Or did a bot delete your message? What just happened to your message? And why did it go away? Did you do that? Or did do I have a, a bot that I have forgotten about that is trying to like moderate for some reason? One moment. <laughs> have I screwed something up? If so, I'm sorry. I'm I'm more of a, a video creator than a streamer. So if something is deleting your messages, I highly apologize. Give me one moment. I'm opening my own stream. So if you heard a close. They're trying to silence them. Like what happened? Are you able to just go back and, and delete your own messages? Or is that I'm assuming you are, right? So it could have been a Oh, you deleted it. Okay. I, I had a I'm the the like uh alert bot that I'm using has like a, a, a thing on it that's like on there by default and I was like, eh, it probably won't matter enough for me to worry about and I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like deleting messages. Some cowards in this land can't stand the sight of glory before them. Okay, so we're gonna werewolf up and see if this if this counts as food. And if not we're gonna go back and reload. So let's let's see. Does this count as food? Are you food? Are you food? It looks like I was eating to me. Let's feed. Oh, it does. Look, I have stamina again. Get out of here. That counted as a lot too. Oh my gosh. Heart consumed. Let's go. We can eat food. We can feast! The food of man! Everything's not red anymore, thank goodness! Woohoo! Did she kill another one? Is there somebody else I can eat? I will eat so many people. Now, do we. The only question is do we consider the transforming. Like, is it cheap? You know what I mean? Is it cheap? It definitely works. We now have proof of concept. Yeah, because the knockback is completely busted as a werewolf. So let me let me do a thing here. We are going to save a new save. And then I'm going to go back and load this other save before I'm a werewolf. Because I would like to see if feeding on someone as a vampire does the same thing or not. Because if not, there's no question. We're being a werewolf, period. Because I'm not, I'm not going to play through this game looking red like this the whole time. So let me go see what is the easiest place to get vampirism. Um... It'll probably tell me Anissa's cabin. Uh, fastest way to become a vampire. Shriekwind Bastion, northeast of Falkreath, is what people are saying. Can't turn. I mean, that's a fair point. But the thing is, the the problem with that is that it then kind of encourages me to go into every battle as a werewolf already. And I don't know if I want this playthrough to be that. So I, I just want to check out, I want to check out the vampire side. I want to, I want to have, give it a fair shot here. So I'm, I'm pulling up the, the map for where, for Shriekwind Bastion. Okay. So we need to take, I, I just got a hundred gold. So we'll take the cart to Falkreath. We will go fight them. Just heal myself until I get vampirism. 
sleep until that takes hold and then see that because again if i'm you can't complete quests as a werewolf i mean that's a fair point um yeah i'm just i'm very worried that it will just become very much a, a werewolf play and the and the whole i've kind of had this idea and i go and they get the firebolt and that kind of stuff like i had ideas for how i wanted this to to play out and i don't want that to end up being Oh yeah, of course you can complete the game like this. You just chew on everybody. <laughs> um, not that it wouldn't be fun. Don't get me wrong. Um, but also, there might be a chance that I want to do a werewolf playthrough at some point where that is like the main thing I do. And I would hate to have already effectively done it. Um, so I want to check out the vampire thing. Because very rarely are you going to do a vampire, non-vampire lord. Like, why would you ever do that? <laughs> Other than like for this. So I think that is less likely to rule out something that I'll want to do later. So let me, I'm going to take a look real quick. Because you can feed on people as a vampire, but you're just drinking their blood. So I don't know if that's going to count or not. If it doesn't, there's no question anymore. I go back to being a werewolf and we're all good from there. But I want to see. Because the, the fire weakness of being a vampire would suck. Like, bad. Like, so I don't know that this is a valid... Um, thanks. So we need to head northeast. So it's it's straight ahead. It's that crypt we're looking at straight ahead. Um, so let's see. No! Do you have the Creation Club quest? I do. I just don't know anything about any of them because I've never done them before. Or, well, I don't know. I have whichever one's come with the Anniversary Edition. I haven't bought any like Creation Club stuff outside of that. But I have the Anniversary Edition, and all of that stuff is installed. I was going to do some research to see if any of it would be helpful to me, but I did not. <laughs> I ended up running out of time. Can I just jump my way up this? Can I Can I do the old Skyrim special? Come on, come on. Let me just brute force it instead of finding whatever path I'm supposed to be on here. Come on. We're doing it. I'm doing it, Mr. Krabs. Come on. <laughs> this is going way better than I would have thought at this point, especially with no, the suit just breathing so heavy. I, I thought it did. Yeah, then yes, I do have all of that on right now. I don't know what it does or doesn't affect. Does jumping make me get tired faster? Because if so, whoops. Oh, whatever. Well, we got up, up enough of this. My pride's in check. We'll we'll take the uh, safer avenue here, I guess. The actual, more, much more of the intended routing. So is this... Wait, what did it just say it was? South Shriek Bastion. Wish I had Anniversary Edition. Yeah, I bought it a while ago, but then didn't actually have time to play it. I don't know why I bought it at that point. Okay, these are Draugr. We don't want to fight them. I got special version. Yeah, this is... Before I had this, I just was on the base, like, Skyrim, the way it released day one. Um, and so, this is the first time I'm even playing, like, the special edition. What? Don't... Don't give me some weird disease, please. So, I'm guessing since that was a bunch of Draugr that that's not what I was looking for. So, I'm assuming maybe it's North Shriekwind Bastion? That has the vampires? I don't know. Maybe you have to just go inside. Probably just have to go inside. But whatever. We'll try North Street when Bastion. There's a standing stone over here. Which one is it? I'll go check it out after I do this. See if it's anything worth considering over just keeping the mage stone for now. I feel like the extra XP is still so good right now. But whatever it is, I can discover it. And then if it's one that's worth getting, I'll, I'll have it marked. All right, do we have vampires? Had the punching gloves, a fists only run would be fun to watch. I, I've done it. I did an unarmed run way, way back in the day at one point on like the Nintendo Switch or something. Uh, so not that far back in the day. Yes, zap me. Please convert me. Could you convert me a little faster? 
Yeah, I mean, from what I can tell, it's a lot of cool stuff. The survival mode alone, I think, is worth it to me. I've gotten it! I, don't, I, I am going to be a vampire! Yeah, I want to explore a lot of it more at some point, too. I have a lot of different runs I'm wanting to do in Skyrim. Um, obviously, I, I started the channel with Fallout 4, and I'm going to, you know, be bouncing back and forth in that, but I've got a lot of, a lot of stuff I'm wanting to do. So let me check out the standing stone and then go find somewhere to sleep. Yeah, no, it, it very much is. The audio is glitchy. Like, it's bad. It was because I was, like, going on a trip and I wanted something to play on the go. Um, but, yeah, it's a Skyrim slideshow. You're, you're very correct in that assumption. Um, but, anyway, I did an unarmed playthrough. Probably because it couldn't render in weapons. Um, <laughs> but uh, it was fun. I didn't, like, finish the game or anything. I was just kind of knocking around for a while. What is this? The Lady Stone. Re regenerate health and stamina more quickly. So that begs the question, do you regenerate health if you take this while in... Survival? Does it, like... Right now, I don't regenerate health at all. So does more quickly... Like, is that kind of like a two times zero is still zero kind of situation? Or does it actually give me some regen? Um, I need to bed to sleep in. Anissa's cabin is not too far over to the east, so we're going to go over there. Because um, we need to just sleep until vampirism progresses to its final stage. Then I need to go murder someone and eat them. Uh, drink their blood, whatever it is you do to them. And we want to see what that does. The only problem is that it... Um, yeah, I'll do it unarmed at, at some point. I'll test the, the stone. The only problem is that right now, even if it does work like that, I don't want it right now. So I have it marked on the map. I'll try it once I get my magic skills a bit higher. Uh, I will I will definitely I will do my best, at least, to remember to come back around. The problem with Vampire here would be kind of balancing it, because ideally I would stay at, like... Yeah, sorry, I, di I didn't notice that until much, much later. Um, the ideal would be that I stay at the, like, fully progressed version of a vampire, because that makes, I believe that makes the, the vampire drain significantly stronger. However, um, every time I, if, if it does let me feed on someone for, like, food, then every time I eat someone, it reverts you back to the standard one. So it's like, do I have stamina or do I have strong power drain things? So that would be an interesting, like, dynamic to be balancing for the rest of the run. So I'm, I'm curious if this works. I think it could be for a very, very interesting playthrough. I don't know. We'll see. We're about to find out one way or the other. And then, then we'll know and we can switch back over to Werewolf if it isn't doing what we want it to. Um, and then also we're going to completely abandon the companions at that point, by the way, because who cares? Okay, we have a bed. How many days does it take to actually become a vampire? It's like two. You have like two days to cure it, right? Something like that. I think this also makes you like immune to diseases, doesn't it? Since technically you already have one that's like to its max potential. Or something like that. I don't know. Goodness, the room I'm in because of my computer being on this whole time and, and me being in a small room has gotten very, very warm. I feel weaker as the sun rises. Yeah, I don't think I'm a vampire yet, though, so... Punk. Either I'm already starving to death, or I would definitely be by the end of this. Come on. Oh, wait, I forgot. You can, like, glitch this, right? So I can, like... Does that work like that? What day is... 541 on the 25th. So, like, if you do this, I want to say you can, like, do that. Yeah. And it progresses an entire day. Yeah, it still says Sanguine Vampires. How freaking long does it take? So, 26. Does it work if I'm in a bed? It does. 
This is a lot quicker way to wait through days. Does it take a week? Aha! Vampiric powers awaken! You feel warmer and are now comfortable. Ooh. Because my vampire blood is boiling. Fun, fun. So we have vampiric drain now. Two points of health per second. That is it, huh? But I think if it progresses farther, it does more. Um, but anyway, we now need to find something to kill and drink the blood of. So... Imshred mine. Perfect. Let's see how this goes. If this doesn't count, when our decision is made for us. If, if this does not count as eating... Comes with a free warm jacket. Yeah, a little too warm. Um, let's try just for the sake of it. Um, using Vampiric Drain in here and see how, how it fares us. I wish Vampiric Drain was stronger. It feels like when enemy vampires use it against you, it is significantly stronger. Because my goodness, it can mess you up in the like Dawn Guard quest. But when you use it, it feels like it's tickling everyone. You become weakened from hunger. Yeah. Yep, we're aware of that. So let's find out. Is there still a body here where I killed the person before? No, that's some thistle. Ah, wouldn't be fresh anyway. <laughs> I know there's two dudes right when you go in here that are low level. So we'll give it a try and see what we find out here. Boo, 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 boo. All right. The air is warm here. That's not doing anything. It's also loud as butt. I think once you get stronger, though, like, I think it, it increases as you go. So let's try this. How do I feed? How do you feed on them? What? It's like a button press that I don't know about. How do you do it? Pickpocket sleeping NPCs. Oh, they can't be dead? They can't be dead? Oh, I thought you could just kill them, but that's only the werewolf, I guess. You have to feed on somebody who's alive. You have to wait until they're sleeping. That would be so annoying. But, unfortunately, that's kind of intriguing to me. Let's see if I can sneak up on these guys. <laughs> Probably not, right? Still, yeah, I mean, a stealth, a stealth vampire kill? Like, that's actually sick as crap. Because you can never do a run that's just that, either. Because you couldn't use that on, like, dragons and crap. Yeah, get some rest. Your shift's coming up. Go sleep. Because I want to try this. Oh, I'm nervous. I want this to work so bad now. Naked Jack the Ripper build. <laughs> I want it so bad. Is the other dude looking over here? I don't even know where he went. Of course, my stealth is seriously impeded by my, like, hunger or whatever, I think. Huh? Why not? Why no pickpocket option? What the heck? Why... Why no option? Am I missing something? I thought, do they, they actually have to be asleep? Oh, that's a bummer. I feel like that's kind of dumb. I feel like you should be able to do this on awake people. <laughs> In some form or fashion. Will this guy actually go to sleep? Hmm. 
Why are you just standing by the stupid lever? Is there any other way? Oh, you can use Vampire Seduction. Check when his bedtime is. So if it progresses enough, you get Vampire Seduction, and then that'll do it. So let me go back over to the start, back up enough to where I can let it stand here for a couple more days, I guess. Waiting all night just for a player to come in. Vampire power grows as you hunger. Cool, let's do it again. Vampire seduction added. Okay, cool. That's an illusion spell, right? It's not. Oh, is it a power? It is. Oh, we've got all these now. A lot of people taking their hands off today. <laughs> Improve night vision. Reanimate a powerful dead body to fight for you. I mean, this could all be very tempting. Creatures people up to level 10 won't fight for 30 seconds. So it's turning him into a thrall, right? I could turn him into a thrall and then eat him. Come on. Please. I just want to know. Feed, yes. You still better, but it does work. I can keep feed. If you make him a thrall, you can keep feeding on him. I am well fed. It. I mean, come on. Now, as soon as I do that, though. Do I lose vampiric sedu seduction? I lose vampire seduction. I keep these two, though. As I do that. Interesting. I mean, of course, this guy now counts as a companion, so I have to kill him. I mean, this is kind of cool, right? Like, it's it's an interesting premise. Is there a bed up here somewhere? Where was he telling him to go nap? If they don't have any beds. Do they have some over here? Because, I mean, now it's going to be a balancing act. Because I have to keep myself rested. But I also have to let time pass to let my vampire powers grow. But if time passes, then I get hungry. Like... I mean, that's that's an interesting. That's like an interesting thing, right? Now I'm rested. And like, I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm well fed. <laughs> I have vampire powers. Like, it's kind of cool. It, werewolf is definitely easier. Like, I get through things faster with werewolf, but the vampire side is kind of neat. Now, I want to I want to test a thing. Since I've still got guys here I can feed on. Let me let me test some things real quick. Um, let me wait a couple of days. I want to let my vampire stuff get to max. I'm leaning towards vampire right now just because I think it would be a very interesting playthrough. So I want to get to the the like as most extreme a vampire can get. Which like it's taking me a while to get to max hunger actually. You are as a blood-starred vampire you are hated and feared. Okay. Now, what all does that do? 
I'm starving. I resist 50% of frost damage, 100% resistant to poison, 50% uh, weakness to fire. Resist disease is always there. 25% hard detect and sneaking is always there. Illusion spell is always there. Okay. Okay, and then the powers. Embrace of shadows. Vampire is invisible and has improved night vision for 180 seconds. That could be interesting. Obviously, it's very apparent seduction or whatever. I did want to check. Does this get stronger? Now it's five points of health per second, which is still less than just the flames spell and costs more magic. So I don't know if there's ever a scenario in which vampiric drain is actually a beneficial spell to have. The powers are all cool, but I don't know if vampiric drain is ever helpful. Fighting dragons and vampires going to suck, right? Unless they're frost dragons, then it's a lot easier. Yeah, like this is not. This is not worth. I mean, I don't know. Well, hold on. Hold on a second. Let me just check real quick the health regen on it. Oh, the health regen is as good as, good as my healing spell almost. <laughs> healing is 10 points. Or no, it's technically half that, but it felt fast. And it's dealing damage. So, I mean, I guess it could be an alternative to healing. So now... We want to kill one of these guys. And then... Oh, we killed them both. Crap. Isn't there a dude, like, over here? Uh-huh. Powers. Vampire seduction. Like, I don't know. It's interesting. Got rid of that horrible red tint. Okay, so just feeding enough just to get to, like, normal. Takes us to where vampire-wise. 20% resistant to frost, 20% weakness to fire, gets rid of vampire seduction. So, I mean, it goes, it goes, as soon as you feed, you go all the way back to, to ground, ground floor as a vampire. So then the question is, what's the balance between you getting hungry as a person and you getting hungry as a vampire? I don't know. It's kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool. He doesn't even mind. It is easier because that's the thing is that like it, it keeps the essence of this being a a vampire or a vampire, a magic centric. Like I'm a high elf, you know what I mean. Like it keeps the idea of this being a, a predominantly like magic focused build, as opposed to just I want to do this challenge where I don't use any items, so I'm just gonna be a werewolf who already can't use items and just like unga bunga the entire playthrough. That would be fun as crap, don't get me wrong, but I can just do that as a werewolf playthrough if I want like a, a quick knock it out video later that's not that hard. This feels, I don't know, I think I'm going this way. Um, I think I'm going with this for now. And if it seems impossible, then we'll, we'll switch over it. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll know we have to redo. Now, let me check, what does the sun do to me? Health, magic, and stamina do not recover. Well, health already doesn't recover, so that didn't really change much. Um, the magic are not recovering, though. That's rough, so we'll have to plan things out pretty well. Um, so, yeah, we're going to abandon that quest. And we are going to... The Way of the Voice, right? We've now gotten all of our spells. We've gotten all of our powers. We've gotten our, our whatever. Whatever. Get that you can't use items. Right. Still can't use items. Um... So, yeah, I think I think this is the way we're going to go. I think we're just going to be a vampire. And that way we don't have to hit the weird, um, you know, gray area of me using the chalice thing. Because this was just, I just took damage. <laughs> That's fair. So there's High Hrothgar. Um, they say you're supposed to start from Iverstead. But what if I just start running up the side of the mountain like an idiot? What about that? Do we think there's any merit to that? whatsoever I think there's merit to that 
I would like to attempt it. Just to see if I can get away with it. Um, it will fail, and it will waste a lot of time. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to try anyway. Oh, right. I can't regenerate magic while it's daytime. So that was, like, the only thing I could fight. <laughs> Ooh, having to be on a bit of a, like internal clock this whole time will be a bit tricky. Oh, but I can sprint again. Well, not for long because it's daytime. What time of day is it? 5 p.m. Oh, okay. So this won't be an issue, but for a few minutes. And I would wait longer, but then food's going to become an issue again and all that kind of stuff. So we're trying to go up there. Oh, man. No, am I that dumb? I might be that dumb. But I don't know if I'm that dumb. So how, with me, have my blood boiling in the sunlight and stuff, how does that intersect with the freezing to death side of things? That is my next concern. Concern is not the right word. You can do the house glitch, fly in the sky. I mean, is this a glitchless playthrough or glitches allowed? I'm not going to say it's a glitchless playthrough because I don't know if there is such a thing when it comes to Skyrim. The game is just sort of a glitchy mess. But I'm, I'm trying not to use it to, like... I'm not trying to sequence break a whole lot. So, yeah, I could... You know, you can, like, horse tilt or whatever. You know, and, and all of that. But I'm I'm choosing not to until a point comes where that no longer makes sense. Um, if there's a point where that's my best option forward and that's all I can really manage, then sure, I'll consider it a bit more. All oh, right, it's during the daytime. I should not have done this. We're fine. Yeah, the day-night cycle is going to be something I have to pay more attention to, but it's it's okay. We'll make it work. Now we just start hopping on up to High Rothgar, I suppose. I think there's a, a path that I'm not too far from, I want to say. I might be completely wrong on that. I don't actually have any reason to believe that that's the case, but don't the, like, 7,000 steps or whatever pretty much circle the entire mountain, like, twice? So I'm bound to hit the path eventually if I keep hopping my way up one side, right? I just hate that you have to go all the way around freaking Iverstead before you can start on the steps proper. And if it's going to make you run around anyway, and this could potentially save me some time, then I should do it. Except that it almost definitely won't save me any time, because doing this in Skyrim never saves time. But we'll see. It almost always wastes time, if we're being honest. Because it's unreliable. Oh, oh, we got a hop. Yeah, no, we're not scaling this wall. Let's be real. I mean, we could probably, but... This one's much better. I went, bleh. That's how you know you're in a good area. The air is frigid here. Okay, well, we can't be here for long. Okay. Come on. Up. Good. What am I what am I on here? Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. You are chilly. Where is the darn path? Can vampires get chilly? I don't feel like vampires can get chilly. I'm just gonna be honest about it. I don't think vampires can get chilly. Okay, we are we are making major progress. Problem is, if we find the steps, since they don't actually ascend super consistently, it's going to be very hard to tell uh, which way to follow them. But we'll worry about that when that happens. If that happens. I don't know. Hmm. So coming up on the four-hour mark, and we are just now getting to the Greybeards, so that's a bit obnoxious. Especially considering the number of times you have to come up here. Oh, gosh. I'm dreading that. That's the thing with Skyrim versus, like, Fallout. Skyrim really feels like it is designed to have fast travel with how this quest plays out. Um, we're going to try and avoid the ice wraiths from over there. If I climb this tower, do you think I can, like, jump off of it and onto something else? Higher up on the mountain? Like, is there a way that I can, like, scale this wall? Right. And then, like, follow it around. Oh, no. You are warming up. Based on what? Oh, that? <laughs> okay, sure. 
Right, this. Can I do this? And like tediously maneuver my way around here. To get over to this side. And then do this. And just keep on going up the mountain. I think I can get away with that. Maybe we keep circling around the mountain this, this direction. Oh, that's always good to see. The mountain isn't real here. So maybe I can't get away with that. What is that? Is that... What is that? Is that Helgen? That's freaking Helgen. I'm so far off base from where I'm supposed to be. It's okay. We're just going to keep with the plan. And it will eventually work. It always does. That's how Skyrim is. Come on. We'll be up there in five minutes. What time is it? Three, three fifty. We'll be up there by four hours and five minutes. I can feel it. We'll be beating down the doors at that point. And they'll be telling us that we are Dova Keen. And all that good stuff. They'll be screaming at us. It'll be great. All that, five minutes. I'm sure of it. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're just gonna... We're gonna take a little bit of a loss to get a lot of gain. I'm sure of it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, this is not how walls work. I just floated my way around there. I'm just gonna keep floating my way around the side until I find something that's an incline that I think... What am I standing on? I'm scared to go into third person. and I'm worried that the, the ground will realize that it's not there and I'll just fall. This is something else. I think this is the intended path, I'm pretty sure. I found the path. This is the stairs. These are the steps. I think I've taken at least 7,000. So we should be almost there, right? Is it 7,000? What is the number of steps? Something stupid like that, right? Has anybody ever actually counted them to see if the game devs put the effort in there to make it be the number of steps they said it would be how did we just circle back around to here what is there two what okay well that i am officially giving up on this that is that is some dumb bullcrap right there nope not doing this so we need to head east around the actual mountain so we need to head that that way all the way out and around that? That's so freaking dumb, though. I hate High Hrothgar. So much. But I'm going to freeze to death. So we're going to go... I guess... No, we can cut... We go through here, right? Yeah, and up that way. There's a path somewhere. But yeah, we, I do have to be careful here, because if I do all of this and then freeze to death halfway up the mountain, then that would be um, really stinking dumb of me. So, and I'm guessing even if you're a vampire, you can still freeze to death, but I really don't know. This is all new experiences for me. So yeah, we're just going to run this way. The air is treacherously cold. Good. Let's quick save after wasting a bunch of time and nearly freezing to death. Uh, we can always double back to Helgen, which should still be on fire. Touch the fire. I don't even know how to pronounce whatever that is. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't see what fire, so I'm going to just keep on trucking. <laughs> Goodness, I'm moving slower because of the cold. This is so... Gosh, please let the next Elder Scrolls game be in not a cold climate. For the sake of everyone's sanity. Because holy crap. You guys have any warmth over here? Are y'all coming from like a location? No? Cool. So we're heading up there. I guess we do need to head around to Iverstead. Because otherwise we'll freeze to death before we can like... Actually do any ascending. Is this... Yeah, can we shortcut our way here rather than having to walk all the way around just to get to Iverstead? I'm not trying to, like, climb the whole mountain. I'm just trying to get to Iverstead. But my jumps are very short because I am freezing, and Frostbite has a tendency to make it harder to jump, apparently. Don't know that I've ever heard that in any textbooks. Not that I read textbooks, but, you know, if I did, I don't think it would say that in them. Come on. Don't make me walk all the way around this. I mean, I'm going to have to because I'm... I mean, I'm not going to walk all the way around it. I will be dead by that point. Wait, is there a path right here? Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. You don't have to walk all the way around it. There's a path through it and I'm a moron. Whatever. We're doing fine. 
I'm sure I'll make it. Ah, there it is. Oh, that's a death. We haven't had one of those in a minute. Um, his guttural scream kind of startled me a bit. Heck yeah. Okay. Intended path it is. We go this way. Now, if I can't make it from the intended path, I have to double back to hell again. That's going to be really stinking annoying. It's all right. <laughs> he looks so pathetic. He's like slowly pulling, like trotting along. That's fantastic. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. We are torturing this man. So we go this way this time. The path that's right beside the mountain I was trying to climb. Goodness. This is invigorating gameplay. Yeah, I'm glad we decided to use the carriages. Because this there would have been a lot more poor naked vampire. Um, slow time would be helpful. That's a very fair point. Slow time, become ethereal. Like, there's a lot of shouts out there that are really nice. The only question is, how many of them are worth actually going for versus just kind of brute forcing it a bit? Because the longer the run is, the longer it's going to take me to get a video out from it. And I, I don't... The Fallout 4 Nuzlocke video I made, I worked on that for six months. <laughs> the video editing process of it took me six months. The challenge itself took me about two weeks. Yeah, I mean, you saw, I was a timer on there. It was about 30 hours. Um, I'm not going to make it to any warmth. There's a cave here. We're going in whatever cave this is and hoping that whatever in it is in it is not uh, deadly. Oh, it's all the way over there. I see a, a, a light. Come on, don't do it. Is this warm? It's just a lantern. I don't think it's warm. Get in there. Get in there. You're kidding me! I was in the cave! Oh my gosh! We can definitely make that though. I'm not doubling back. No, I'm doubling down. There's no shot that that's... Oh my goodness. What's the bear? The bear claws a storm cloak camp, right? That's what those are? Where is it? Is it something I can get to? Heat up along the way? That was heartbreaking. The The word for the load zone had popped up. My dead body fell into the load zone. That's some absolute garbage. Yeah, this should be a camp, right? Why did I not notice that before? Do they not have a fire at this camp in the middle of the freezing wilderness? They do. Wow, I'm dumb. Whatever. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, Can't believe I'm having to take aid from the storm cloaks right now, but whatever. Will this get me all the way to warm? Or will it stop at a certain point since we're still in a blizzard? Toast the buns. Hey, we got a little bit of color to the screen there for a second. Dude, the color filters they put for the cold and for the hunger and stuff are something else. You think we could feed on these guys? Do they have beds here that you can actually sleep in? Or is this not a... You can sleep. It's a hay pile. But you can sleep on it. Let's, uh, let's do an experiment here real quick. I don't know if... I don't know what level Stormcloak soldiers are. Do I have it yet? Nope. I just want to know. I don't care about killing storm cloaks. Vampire seduction added. Okay. Skyrim. Tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. I am starving, aren't I? Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even see that person. Okay, so if you feed right in front of them, they get too much time to kill you. But if I kill two of them first and then feed, then we're in business. I think there's only three of them, right? 
So I grab. How do we feel about vampire seduction making them fight for me? It's kind of like a companion, though, isn't it? Because that's the thing, is I also have Vampire Servant. You can sneak. I don't think that... I tried that. I don't think it works. Yeah, it just lets you pickpocket like normal. Oh, I guess I could just wait until they go to sleep, though, right? 8 p.m. Like, they're bound to sleep on these bedrolls eventually. That's what they're here for, right? Oh, you're just saying, when I feed on the thrall. I get what you're saying. Yeah, well, here's one. any true sons and daughters of Skyrim? Tell them to head but they're to getting up. Ulfric's Why are you guys getting up at 2 a.m.? I bet we have rabbits. I'll fight I'm the entire legion myself if they dare show their faces. The so if I sneak over here and just munch on this guy a little bit. I'm hidden. Feed. Oh, I'm still famished. Hold on. And now I just need to kill them. You're going to sleep. That's good. It's going to take you a while to crawl out of those, right? I don't have seduction because I fed. Interesting. I long to don't go insane. Dead. Yeah, like how how do they not go crazy here? So is there a path to victory here? I'm guessing I can't use fury on one of these guys, right? I can. Okay. So we can feed on them, and we can use fury on them. So what's your story? Interesting. Of course, this is before I waited for a while, so I can just feed and leave. That would be the smarter thing to do, just feed and go, right? Oh, also, yeah, you're unkillable, aren't you? He's an unkillable character right now because it does not they don't know which side I've chosen. So we're not going to mess around with that. What we're going to do instead is just take a horse and run away. <laughs> So long! <laughs> Did I even get, like, a bounty for that at all? Or since we're not anywhere near a city? Um, next bitten eight. Crime. Total lifetime bounty, zero. No repercussions. This is my horse now. So what I'm hearing is that anytime I'm having problems with the game, I just need to go, like, abuse a camp full of Stormcloaks, and then I'm all good to go. Sounds good to me. Now we got a horse to take up the Hrothgar. What's your deal? Eh, I don't care. We should have enough warmth to make it to Iverstead now. Yeah, this is this is the play, I think. I think this is the way to go about it. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Okay, well, let's get some travel music. Because we're going to be trotting for a bit. Oh, I'm, I'm warm for some reason. From what? Oh, let's not kill the horse here. How's Don't Fret Love, Don't Sweat, and their armor all dead? Surprise. That was just a game, but still. I mean, it was what it called... How did it say? Um terrifyingly cold or something like that so i mean i'm i'm sure it's not that hard to not sweat to death <laughs> oh that's not what i wanted to see whatever we're fine what does that load screen always say that the horses of skyrim are hardy and strong or whatever we're uh, banking on that right now 
I'm thinking I can horse float my way up this cliff. Still haven't made it to stinking Iverstead, which is so dumb. Maybe I should have, like, taken the carriage to a better launching point for this whole stinking quest. Oh, no, wait, there's Iverstead. There's Iverstead! Lord Vampire Park. Yeah, I know. I just... Again, I'll probably do a Lord Vampire playthrough at some point. Wait, hidden? Am I alive? <laughs> oh, right, it does, like, power up the... That's true. Uh, my story is annoyed. Okay, I was able to... Oh, no, it was this one I could get hidden and eat on, right? Munch, 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 munch. Oh. They saw that crime against nature, huh? Oh, well. I took the other horse this time, so I know it'll work out better. It was the, the problem was the horse. Not the... No user error. The problem was the horse. This one... This one will be much better. But yeah, this one knows how to fly, so we're fine. Oh, we are very vertical, huh? I was like, you kind of get your, your camera adjusted for the angle at which you're at and forget how steep of an angle it really is <laughs> when you're doing this. Which is an interesting phenomenon. Like, yeah, that is... Oh, no. Oh, no. Horse. Oh, <laughs> We'll go over this way. This will work. Yeah, go, horse, go! Fly! This is what we were missing the whole time. We can do anything as long as we got this horse. Wait, this is the scripted troll. We're on the path. This is the path to High Hrothgar. We just keep following it around. That troll is part of the, the thing. We're doing it. We get to skip Iverstead. As long as we don't freeze to death, we make it. And the horse has got a warm body, right? Is that how horses work? I don't know. I can't imagine leaving from Iverstead would be any... Like that I would have any more warmth at this point than I do. Right? I am freezing. That's fine. Imagine if an NPC says, what can I do for you, Skyrim? But the problem is that you don't get an option to ask them for directions to the city. Like, you could be useful for new players. I mean, that's a fair point. Like, you know, the, the limited capacity of things, it, it just, I don't know. The problem is that like, as a, as a game, developer it's you're limited in how many different things you can work in i'm wondering if one day that'll all be like ai driven though and they'll like actually be able to you'll be able to just ask what you want to ask it kind of scares me to think about but it's also kind of cool to think about sweet we made it to high hrothgar cool that was shockingly easier than i was making it just got to steal a horse from some storm cloaks and jump up a mountain that's all it takes Duh. Yes, hello. I am the Dragonborn. It dismissed the fact that I am also a vampire. I bet that torch is warmer. I will talk to you from up here. <laughs> the Dragonborn up here. We will show us, Dragonborn. Um, I think that's this button. Poof! <laughs> There's a chat GPT integrated into Skyrim. Yeah, I've seen that. Where they'll and it's like they have it also integrated into like VR stuff, right? I have a a quest too that I um, or quest quest two regular quest quest two. I don't know that I've I've uh, I'm hoping to do a Skyrim VR playthrough at some point because I have a there's a mod on there where you can like huck weapons at people and I'd like to do one with like thrown daggers only. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I'd have to, I don't have the setup to like record for VR right now, but that's a plan eventually. We are the, you stand here oh, I'm now comfortable, huh? Standing in a sky. pit of fire. Strive. We are here to guide you. You are not whether you come are on, the, come on, you come on. Ready to learn. But without training, you have already taken the first step towards projecting your voice into a tomb. This whole thing takes way too long. When you shout, speak. 
All shouts are made up of three words of power. Master Ironheart will now teach you row. Row. The second word in unrelenting force. Row means balance. Yeah, uh, you can talk to him for it, and then also if you shout in town, you get a letter from a friend from Delphine that tells you about it. But I can't read that letter, so the only ones I could do would be whatever he gives me. We can ask whenever I get back to see. I, I don't know how worth chasing down a bunch of them is going to be, but we can look into it. The good thing is, just in this quest line, we'll get Whirlwind Sprint, all of Fusro Da, we already have Fire Breath, and we'll get Become Ethereal. So, like, we'll have some good options just off of the main quest. Honestly, this playthrough is going surprisingly well so far. So we'll 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 see how well this can can well, stick with. Thank you. You gonna walk back up here so I can run into you some more? Oh, this is where you have to like blast the same thing like three times. It takes forever. Foos row, foos row. I understand. Be close. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that was nice. Do after the quest. Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll take a look at it for sure. If it's one that's like not too far out of the way, and I could get a dragon soul out of it and stuff for sure, we'll see. Um, it just kind of depends on where it is, and if it's if it's ever in the path of where we're going. I don't know why I wouldn't. Uh, I've probably got another hour in me that we'll do tonight, and then I'll probably be streaming more tomorrow. I'm trying for this one not to take as long as the Fallout 4 Nuzlocke did, so that I have less footage to have to edit through for the, uh, for the video. Yep. Come on. Uh-huh. Follow Master Bori. Okay, let's go, Bori. To the courtyard. This is where I have to be careful not to freeze to death. <laughs> so I had a plan to do, but I didn't do this run. I was gonna try and do a run without pausing, so without ever opening this menu, or this menu at all. Um, but because you can like equip stuff right out of chests, and I thought that would be really interesting. The only problem is this quest that forces you to use like that we just did. There would be no way to do that without being able to open the powers menu. And so rather than making an exception for just that, I figured I could do this and that way I mean, there's quest items, but otherwise you're just not using the inventory. So it'd be a similar kind of playthrough, but with some different caveats. Yes, I understand. Uh-huh. I've done it. Oh, that doesn't make this go faster. Worth a shot, right? Um, oh wait, I froze to death a second time, didn't I? I should be at 10 deaths right now. I have not kept up with this death counter. I might just remove it. Because it's gonna be so inaccurate and trying to keep it right for the video is gonna be a nightmare. I don't know, maybe I should have never done it to begin with. I have no idea. Cool. Uh, shouts. I always find this part really stupid, to be honest with you. Um, specifically, look at what Bori does. Why is there a word of power for open gate? Bex! I opened the gate. I did it. I used the dragon language to open this gate. Uh-huh. Again. You are numb. Your quick mastery of a new thune. You are now retrieved. Retrieve the horn. Okay. This is where not having fast travel starts to get absurdly punishing and annoying. Um... But, we got Foos Row at this point. We got Whirlwind Sprint, if we ever just want to use that for something. Um, 
I could sleep in a bed here, but I don't think it's necessary. I mean, we've made it this far at level four, so we're doing great. What did that say for health? 32 out of 32. Like, that's aggressively terrible. Oh, let's just do this to fully just insta warm up. Yeah, that's how we're going to start doing that from now on. Because we can feed again, so, you know, we, we have a way of eating. So now we need to go to Horn, which if we could just get to a stable, we'll just run to the White Run stables. Yeah, I know fast travel is not available. I just want to put up a, a marker there. We'll just do it to the other side of it, I guess. So if we can get to the White Run stables, then we can. My horse isn't still here, is it? The one that I stole? That's definitely mine. Yeah, I didn't figure. If we could just get to those stables. I think I have somebody, right? I got 50 gold. That's enough to get solitude. Enough to get solitude and then one more fast travel later. Um, or carriage ride, not fast travel. Um, as long as it's to one of the ones that has a stable. But that's fine. So this should save us a little bit of time. Just running off the mountain in my bare feet. Imagine how bad his feet must hurt all the time. Not only is he just... Uh, freaking heck. Not only is he just running barefoot on rocks constantly, but also they're freezing rocks. Dude's a trooper, that's for sure. Remove the marker. Alright, to White Run. We shall run to there. Front, run to White Run. Run, White Run. <laughs> oh, this is a much safer looking pet. What? What? How? You fell like... Two Look at his little foot tapping. You fell like two feet, dude. That one was dumb. That one was really dumb and not deserved. Yeah, the air's treacherous. Whatever. Also, I like starving. So I might not make it another hour. I'm gonna have to go eat something. So I should be good to just like, yes. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. But yeah, that's, that is what we were after. Now I can put this here. Tundra Homestead. What's Tundra Homestead? Is that some creation something? I gotta go look at it real quick. You know, is it tough when views aren't that much, by the way? I subscribe. Thank you for the subscribe. Um, I very much appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I mean, it can be. For sure. I mean, it, it's like... It's it's not ever fun to just, like, be talking to the void, you know? I mean, the fact that y'all have been around today, this is... The, the sad thing is, this is by far the most active stream I've had in a very long time. Since back when... So in college, I... Um, my, my college had an esports team um, where like they, they played a few different things. I was a, an Overwatch player and played support. And then I became coach of the team near the end of undergrad. And I stayed into grad school there and um, coached the team as a, like a graduate assistantship for two years. Um, during that time, I had like, you know, it was like, 12 guys or whatever that were on the team that that I coached and so whenever we'd play I would stream and we'd go over stuff and so every time I would stream even if I was streaming a different game some of the guys from the esports team would come by and chat and whatever and so I got used to that feeling of streaming to an audience even though it was like just my friends you know that I knew in real life it still was you know I was used to having somebody to engage with um, I'm very decently displaced from that at this point to the point that I'm not involved with that program anymore um and so it's not like a, a group that I'm, I'm hanging around anymore. And so these days, um, you know, the only people... Should I run all the way over there to the Tundra Homestead? I really want to know. Let's go check it out real quick. Um, those are... Uh, the only people that come by streams are just people that, that find them. You know, like yourself. Um, and some days, nobody does. <laughs> That's just kind of the nature of it when you're, you're unheard of. And so I think that's the only time that it's tough is when there's like there's nothing to inherently interact with there because you just have to make the entertainment yourself, which is fine. But 
you know, and that's where it's like, I have to remember that I'm, I'm mostly doing this to make a YouTube video out of it. So I, I have that, you know, kind of stuff, but the stuff of like walking point A to point B, I'm mostly just chilling here. <laughs> I, I'll get quieter, that kind of stuff. Tundra Homestead. I'm guessing this is just like a purchasable house. What you doing there, dude? I'd stay away if I were you. I'm on my way to a giant camp. Keep your distance and you shouldn't have anything to worry about. Thanks. You take care of yourself now. If only I had the vampire thing I could eat this guy, but I don't right now. Interesting. Um, I'm guessing that that is a, a house that you can buy. I just don't know how. Um, but yeah, so that that's the only thing with it is that it gets tough whenever it's like, oh, I just died running down that hill twice, didn't I? I'm taking the death counter off. I'm I'm sick of trying to remember it. It's just, we're just taking it off. It's one thing when I was doing like the Nuzlocke stuff because every time I was also updating like a spreadsheet and I had to keep up with like what weapon I lost or whatever and all that kind of stuff. Snipe it? Oh no. Oh, I, I did not get it. That was something else that popped up. Bet one septum he's not going to come back. Yeah, I'd probably bet multiple. I mean, he had it painted correctly. You know, the way they always have everything. Hey, Illusion 26. Let's go. This, de this devil rabbit is here to kill me. Anytime I can pop an illusion spell into something like that, I mean, it doesn't hurt to gain the extra illusion experience. <laughs> Farmer. Oh, yeah, no. He's, he's, uh... He's gonna go... He's gonna go live his best life up in the heavens. Um... But, yeah, so that's the only, I think, drawback to, like, not really having that many views, is is that, like, the video editing and the making that kind of stuff, that, I'd... I, I used to work as a video editor and that kind of stuff. So, like, even if people aren't watching it, it's something I enjoy. It's something that I do for fun. Um, got no problems on that front. It's the streaming whenever it gets to the point that there's nobody there, that it can be a bit tricky. Yes, I would like to go to Solitude. So, let's try and get to the Horn Quest done. I'd like to get all of Fusro Da today. Um... Which means dealing with all of Delphine's nonsense. We're definitely not going up to drop off the horn and get Da until the next time we have to go up there, though. Because there's... Oh, that sound. There is no reason to do that multiple times. Um, It's just like, no. So we are hungry. We're getting sleepy. I need to find a bed. And then once I find that bed, I need to wait till nightfall and eat somebody. <laughs> that's that's what I need to do. East Empire Company. This water shouldn't be too cold, I don't think. Farmer must have lost his mind. What's wrong with him? We have dialogues for farmers, like stopping him going. Yeah, I mean, it, it's. I think it's designed to just be like a bit of world building in the sense of like the giants kind of leave everybody alone and some people think that means they need to like offer them stuff or whatever. Yeah, the little one-off encounters like that, it, if there could be a system where you had more to work with there, it would definitely be interesting. Uh, we got a standing stone over here. Let's see which one this is. Just because I am... I, I don't... I could Google it, but, you know, whenever I'm... Actually, how far away is that? That looks like it's quite far away on the map. It's still not getting any bigger. Or any, like, more... Gray, not grayed out. Uh, I don't want to waste Magicka right now. It's daytime. I was going to do it, but I don't want to waste it. Which one are we? Let's, uh, they tend to have enemies around them. Let's pop a, a save. What we got? Which one, which one we got here? Apprentice Stone. Oh, okay. Recover Magicka faster, but are more susceptible to Magicka damage. That's actually really good, I think. I'm not going to be fighting that many mages overall. I mean, whenever we do the, uh, the embassy, that'll be a problem. But I like the quicker level ups right now, but it's not that much of a boost. Let's take this. And then the real question is, like, does that allow me to regenerate during the day? It does. Holy crap. That's huge. Okay, I'm so glad we came over here. So that means that now during the day, even though I'm a vampire, I can regain Magicka. And if I can regain Magicka, I can also regain health. So that's phenomenal. So 
like it'll be really slow right now because I'm in combat and it's daytime. But I want to see what it's going to be like when it's night. Oh, I just freaking died. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad we took off the death count. Um, so let's go grab this stone again and go kill the spiders again because I want the XP from doing it. Uh, where the heck's the stone at? There it is. Cool. We'll save on the other side of it this time so I don't forget. Darn it. I'm not going to lose to this elk, right? Yeah, being able to regen magic in the day is going to be a big deal. Alright, you ready for the, the death match of the century? This elk versus three frostbite spiders. Um, oh yeah, I was switching back over to powers. Uh, let's do, oh, we got fire breath we should be using, huh? I think fire breath actually does a decent amount of damage if you have some destruction skill. Is that elk doing anything? No. Oh my gosh! That's great. I don't know where our elk went, but whatever. It's fine. We don't need our elk. He'll in 60 seconds he'll go back to being dead. Oh, we're getting hungrier. Need to find me some munchies. The problem is without the vampire seduction, you have to wait until somebody's asleep, which is obnoxious as all get out. We got some kind of enemy over here. What we got? More frostbite spiders. This is just this is just their territory, I guess. Fine by me. Um, overall, I'm very very pleasantly surprised with how this run is going. I actually so before I do any challenge run that I plan to make a video out of or anything like that, I do some research to see if other people have done it, and I looked all I could for this one and could not find anybody having done it. Um, the closest I found was when Mitten Squad did like a no eating, no sleeping, no drinking or whatever in survival, which obviously has similar vibes, but a different thing. Because I could sleep as much as I want to, but I can't use the weapons and stuff he was using. So like there's very, there's differences between the two. And then there's when, there was, I think Juve is his name. He did like one inventory slot that he could use and that was it. Um, and so it was like a lot of back and forth item management, that kind of stuff. But I think that was also prior to survival mode even being an option. So there's been some similar stuff, but I was surprised to see that nobody I could, that I could find had a, a thing of just doing literally nothing. <laughs> the entire, literally just can't pick up anything, can't use anything. Uh, because the game's, I, I would think, obviously beatable like that. Um, okay, so these people are, are these vampires? My people! I know what your weaknesses are here, so... Oh, sneak increased. Heck yeah. I'm super sneaky. Let's get a, let's, if we could get a level up here, that would actually be a really, really big deal. Why are they fighting anyway? Are they just training? Yeah, what, what is that supposed to be? I, the, the urge to like loot bodies still hasn't went away yet. Which is weird and bothersome. Those thralls of yours are slower than Argonians in a blizzard. Feel free to grab a pick and help them out. I prefer not to sully myself with money. Huh? Has my sneak went up any since doing all this? Oh, my destruction's about to level up, so I shouldn't need it anyway. Oh, my sneak, sneak has went up. If I just come over here and hide for a second. There we go. Um, and now let's. Your! Oh, this is going to be a bit of a problem, I think. Let's go ahead and assume Highborn is going to be necessary here. Can I outheal what's happening here? Let's 
frost damage, which I'm highly resistant to, so maybe... Nope. Okay. So we want to get Highborn ready. Oh, I'm not going to get that extra sneak level now. I, did, I hadn't already gotten it, right? No, it's. I'm not going to do all that again. I'm not going to make anybody sit through that. Wait till it says hidden. What? What is killing me that fast? Like genuinely concerned or confused. Oh, is it those arrows? How'd that not kill him? How did that not kill him? I'm so confused. Is the ward negating everything? Is that what's happening? Freaking heck, that was the wrong spell. Get out of here. Oh, it's because of my fire weakness. That's what's happening is the is the darn I was like so confused. I forgot. He should have fire weakness, but it's just not making that big of a difference to him, I guess. Okay, that got him out of there. That's good. let this heal back up a little bit why is the necromancer still just fighting this outlaw that I'm pretty sure they conjured what what oh so picking up fire breath was a good stinking call oh my gosh that is a game changer um, is there a bed over here is what I'm looking for. Doesn't look like it. If we could use Vampire Seduction on somebody in here, it'd be fantastic. We need to find a bed first because I don't need to wait around for that to progress without being able to sleep because my magic will get too low. I didn't have to use Highborn there though, which is nice. A quick save we're going to this next area. Oh man, it did that much like a frost based spell? Crap. Probably next playthrough should allow money and spell tomes that maintains challenge as well. That's a fair point. Oh, it's a restless jogger, that's why. What? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're now to this part in the game. I'm glad we got rid of the death counter. That would have taken far too much to keep up with. Yes, I do. I wasn't even trying to fight you. You brought that on yourself. I was helping you. Back off. Run, 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 run. Uh, Highborn. Go, go. Highborn's active. Let us get our magic back. Re-equip my shout. What? That is some junk. If the stupid, like, thing hadn't kicked in, if the assassination thing hadn't kicked in, I would have gotten that kill. Why did she turn on me in that moment? That makes literally no sense. What do you mean never too late? The plan has been to get dual casting the whole time. I just had to prioritize being able to cast spells before trying to cast more of them at once. Yeah, no, dual casting has been in the cards the entire time. That that has been the uh, the objective. That That is the next 
That has been the next spell for a while. I just haven't had a level up until now, and I now just need to get to a bed. But yeah, that is uh, that is the plan. Oh, is this where that thing tries to like torture you to death? Uh, I'm guessing. Well, let me check and see if there's any beds back here. It'd be nice to get a sneaky little level up off. That would be cool. Anything back here? Doesn't look like it. There's bound to be some sort of sleeping something somewhere in here. There's bound to be. It'd be nice if I could find it sooner than later so that I could feed. Ugh. Except for droggers everywhere. Alright, well, there's one down. Heal up. This is where Highborn's gonna come back in. Come on, get your magic back. Get it back faster. Got it. Talk about the perk. I didn't mention it. Sorry. Oh no, you're. I, I know that. That's what I'm saying. Like I've, I've been. I'm working towards that perk. It just. You also, don't be sorry. You didn't do anything. Um, no, I'm saying, like, the the reason I haven't gotten the perk yet is because up until now, the only perks I've taken are ones that have reduced the Magicka cost of casting. And since dual casting takes, like, extra Magicka, if I had gotten the perk already, I wouldn't be able to even be standing a chance with the, the enemies that I'm fighting right now. That was all I was saying. Is that, like... The, it's unfortunately I while I love that perk and want it as soon as I can get it um in my opinion it had to go behind the uh the magicka reduction perks because otherwise it doesn't really matter if dual casting is stronger if I don't have enough magicka to actually pull it off um that's all otherwise I would have already I would have been the first thing I got <laughs> well I guess you technically have to take the novice one first in order to um heck you have to take the novice one in order to unlock it anyway so and the other thing i took was the uh, restoration which um well i'm unfortunately having to lean on a lot because of the amount of times i'm getting hit um let's figure out a safer way down there than oh my goodness i just quick saved uh i'm dead i'm i'm in a death loop i have to restart the whole thing yep I'm in a death loop now. Why on earth was there a trap right there? 47 hours total. Nice. I don't know what mine is. I'd have to check Steam. But the thing is, like, yeah, I, I have to, I have to reload an earlier save. That's so dumb. Why on earth were there just like fire jets there? Which means I gotta go fight the freaking everything again. Oh, it's annoying. Whatever. It's what happens when you quick save too much. Oh no, I had an autosave right here. Sweet. Cool. Moving on. So now I know that's there. Um, oh, can I even get past it? Period. That's an interesting question. With the vampire weakness. If not, I'm sure I could just jump off or whatever. But like, or is there like a route that goes around it? Can I go this way? Or is this, this dead ends, right? So this is the only way that moves forward. I can't jump it, I don't think. Oh, I could whirlwind sprint it. I'm guessing that's probably what they expect you to do, huh? Yeah, that's definitely what they expect you to do. Because this place is trying to tell you that that's a useful out come on Just take it slow nice and easy there we go good yeah we don't want to mess around with this guy too much 
gonna try and keep him at a distance and slowly build our shouts back up. I totally whiffed. It's fine though. Yeah, I figured it was gonna happen. So I need to not use a shout so I can have Whirlwind Sprint to shoot back across and then just let him die there. That'll work. Um, Whirlwind Sprint. Give it a save there so that we don't have to keep freaking doing that. Forward sprint is equipped. There's a guy here that we can kill pretty easily. And we're not even gonna bother trying the restless Draugr right now. We're just we're just gonna provoke him and then whirlwind sprint. Pass. Where's he, he stinking at? Where the crap is he? Here in a second, I'll check my play hours on this. I'm curious now. Yeah, there he is. Hey. Come on, punk. Do some destruction XP on the way. Come on, dude. I know how much damage that crab does. Bull crap. What? Well, New Vegas Hardcore more is easy. Skyrim Survival Mode looks tough. Skyrim Survival, it's, it's difficult. I mean, obviously, if you have, like, armor and stuff. Oh, he can reach from there? If you have armor and stuff, it's obviously, uh, you know, you got more tools to work with. But, um, it is, it's, it's, I'm pleasantly surprised with it. I'm not in Legendary Mode, so technically it could be, even be a little bit harder. Um, I'm in Master, not Legendary. But that's the one thing I do like about it is that the survival mode is independent from difficulty. So if you want the, like, surviving experience without the game being absurdly tough, you can do that. Um, which is, is pretty cool. Um, I need to play New Vegas's like, hardcore or whatever. Um, that's not something that I have... I don't know if I've ever actually... I, I've not played New Vegas nearly as much as... Oh, poop. Wait, was this just to get to a chest? I don't need no stinking chest. I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna run. Why not? Let's see how far we can go just running, since I did that for no reason. I'm trying to get down to, here we go, right. Now we can just like ignore all this. Skeletons aren't hard to kill, so we can just do that. Um, how do you get down there? Where's the, oh, it's over there. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? There we go. Nice. Get him out of here. Let's learn to become ethereal. I need to um, get a dragon soul for this, obviously, but it's a really good, um, really good shout. Really good shout. Gonna get, it's gonna bail me out a lot as soon as we get it. I know it is. It's a good one for when you want to just sprint by something and not fight it. Get some free destruction experience through all this, which is nice. As soon as we can get into bed, I'm getting that dual casting. It's just a matter of when we can. Huh. I mean, presumably, this in the middle doesn't come on since there's already a dead body laying on it, but you never know. Man, it's so hard to, like, pass up things that I want to grab and go sell. <laughs> uh, where is it that I'm supposed to be going here? Oh, right, it's just, like, across this way. I forget. Well, we're getting close now. Um, whirlwind sprint time. Already active. Good. Now we just... 
What? It hadn't started closing. I hate the kill cams in Skyrim. I really hope they do away with that in um, the next one. Because it's really annoying. Okay, this is a room that like lights you up, right? Yeah. Darn it. You can't like recover from sprinting and heal quick enough, which is annoying. Yeah, I mean the healing didn't even slow it down. That's insane. Okay, so we still got Whirlwind Sprint um, equipped, so we'll just... Uh Except that I thought you could activate it in the air, but apparently not. It's possible to change the Skyrim finisher sneak animation and make a mod on it. Like, imagine if you could kick a dagger to the enemies. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. If, I, I'm betting somebody's made some custom stuff. Out. Well, I don't know. I guess it'd be kind of hard to maneuver that, huh? I just want to turn them off, honestly. They're so annoying. Because it's also, like, defensively is a problem. You know, like, because sometimes you'll get in one of those animations by somebody else, and it's, like, nothing you could have done about it. I've never had this much trouble with these, like, floor traps before. So we're going to have to whirlwind sprint straight into these guys. Right, and there's the one. Darn it. Ooh, barely managed to... Oh, man. Okay, so I, I need to whirlwind sprint to get over, but then I need fire breath to, like, get some damage off. I guess I need to use flames on... Um, the small ones. And then save... The fire bolts. Like, import the blender app. Yeah. I've used Blender for some stuff before. It's kind of, it's, I'm not good at it. I'll put it that way. So those all seem chill. Okay, so we can just do that and come over here and then equip. What do I have it set to? Five? No. That did nothing. No. How did I step on, what? Oh my gosh! I did. I hit jump and it just didn't. Yeah, this is where the death counter would have been. Uh, not so fun. So with definitely some drawbacks to picking the vampire route. Um, but that was kind of the point, is because there virtually were no drawbacks to being a werewolf. <laughs> so this makes it a bit more interesting. So we go here. We keep Whirlwind active. We Whirlwind our way across. Still die anyway, because you get stuck on something invisible in the air. Try again. Um, we have our route. We just need to execute it in a way that doesn't get me killed. Perfect. Switch to Flame Breath. We already know that this route is safe now. We have Flame Breath active. We need Flames active to kill these two guys. It did not activate Flame Breath for some reason. That's obnoxious. Alright, let's just try and play this 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 kind of way. Just to stay alive long enough to, to hit him with Flame Breath. I think that is the play. Yeah, back off. Goodness, the fire breath does not do much on him, though. Yeesh. Okay. Oh, that works. Yeah, walk around on that for a while, dude. That's what we needed. There we go. Yeah, I am taking a well-earned quick save after that. 
bust our way through here. Look, it's the horn of Jurgen McDurgan. That doesn't look like a horn. I'm gonna read the note, but I'm not picking it up because it's an item. <laughs> Speaking of, are there any items that I, yeah, I've got an arrow that got stuck in me, but otherwise no. Eat with whoever took the horn. This way, ignore the fancy treasure chest that we should be uh, looting and just instead run. Run past it with your naked body back all the way to Riverwood, all the way up high rock car. That's all right. It's part of it. Part of the experience. We have still not found a bed so that we can level up and get the dual casting, which is really obnoxious. Uh, it's so I got let's see we're at the five hour mark I can probably go till five and a half then I might have to call it for the night you are tired yeah well did really none of these people have beds like where were you sleeping whatever it's kind of obnoxious though where are they up here no no. Weird. If you're going to make beds be required, at least make it to where, like, when you find people, you find beds. That seems like it would make sense to me. Okay. So, now that we're done there, we are told to go to Riverwood, which is quite far away. It's much closer to Whiterun Stables. So let's uh, throw a marker on Catless Farm. I think that'll still be less running overall and less dealing with the elements. And overall, just less time. So we're going back over to Solitude. Use our last 30 or 20 of our last 30 gold to pop back over. Um, yeah, that should work. Is this the abandoned shack? Water's freezing cold. Oh, yeah, I just nearly killed myself. Whatever. I had to get across somehow. I think that is the abandoned shack. Okay, so... Well, I mean, we don't have much of a choice at this point. So as long as you don't swim in it, you're fine? Jump! Get out of the water! Oh, my gosh. Yes, I know a level up is available. I don't have anything I can do about that. No, the key to the abandoned shack, and there's another river to cross. Are you freaking kidding me? Can we do this maybe and hop over this one a little bit more safely? Looks like it. Except that there's something over there that we have to fight now. What are we surrounded by? More frostbite spiders. Cool. Something shot an arrow at them, though. Bandits? Maybe we don't mess around with them. I know. Yeah, bandits. Can you imagine you get, like, ambushed by bandits in the woods and then some naked... Dude runs up and burns them all to death. Oh, I thought I was a goner just now. Thanks for the help. And if you need any supplies, I have a good sell. Yeah, I don't have any money, dude. And I can't take the supplies anyway, so forget about that. Um Alright, Catless Farm isn't too far at this point. Hopefully we can get there before freezing to death. We have like virtually no stamina. And we're moving very slow. So you know, we're, do we're doing our best here. I don't remember it being this cold when we were here before. I thought it was like actually kind of warm. Oh yeah, no, I just got a warmth symbol that popped up. Why does it change that drastically like right beside solitude? It makes no sense. But whatever. Um, so this water shouldn't be frigid, right? Since we have a little sunshine, hopefully. Let's just hop, just to be safe, we'll hop.
This is how swimming works, in case you did not know. <laughs> That's how swimming works. If, if not, you just don't know how to swim. Right. Nobody's ever taught you. If you can't swim like that. I don't make the rules. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, we just hop back over. We talk to Delphine. And then she wants to see you kill a dragon. So we can get another dragon soul off of that to learn to become ethereal, which is nice. At some point, we need to go get Da. Um... But yeah, we're we're managing. We're definitely making pretty good progress. I'd love it if we could get to the point where like we're ready to do the whole Dalmore embassy. I mean, no, there's no way because we have to do the whole Esbern crap too, right? Uh, where is the cart at, Mister Cartman? Not it. Never mind. Uh, could you please take me to White Run Stables? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be oh, Can you feed on somebody and them never know about it and everything just be chill? And it, like, because it doesn't kill them for some reason. You're just kind of munching. <laughs> Starving. Hmm. Actually, there's a bed we can sleep in in Riverwood. We can just run straight over there. I don't want to deal with all the loading zones to get into Whiterun. So we'll just run straight to Riverwood. Uh, do we steal a horse? Maybe we steal a horse. I don't know. What's the chances I get a bounty on my head for this? Because I can't pay it. Then again, prison's just a free sleeping in a bed. So Yeah, we steal a horse. There's an open animation replacer mod so you can replace the animation and give you own conditions for the animations to work. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know that I would have the patience to deal with all that, but it's definitely interesting. Kind of cool. I'll have to pull up some videos and see what kinds of stuff people have made. Also, I find it very weird in Skyrim that you can steal a horse... And as long as people don't see you get on the horse, they don't care that you then ride off with the horse. Um, makes stealing a horse significantly easier than stealing a horse in real life uh, most likely is. I wouldn't know. I'm not usually a horse thief. Um, but it seems like it would have a little bit more they went into it than it does when you do it in Skyrim. Just, you know, a thought. Become weakened from hunger. Well, I just need to go munch on somebody. Good thing there's a whole town right here. Yes, I know I have a level up available. That is what that has been my objective for quite some time. Thank you for the reminder, Skyrim. Mud crab. Come on, horse, you got this. Good. Okay, so the objective here. How do I get off this thing? If possible, we really want to avoid uh, engaging in conversation with them because I don't know if they'll attack if you don't. So we're gonna try and not talk to them. Hello. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business. Oh, you have to actually pay her ten gold. Attitude. That's exactly how much I had left. Well, so that's interesting. You have to pay ten gold. But you can have the one on the left. In order to. Um, you have to have 10 gold in order to do this quest. You cannot beat the game without spending any money. You have to give her 10 gold to to trigger the Delphine stuff. That's interesting. I hadn't even thought of that. So I'm glad we changed that rule because otherwise I would have spent a lot longer getting to this point. That was the wrong room, wasn't it? I would have spent a lot longer getting... That's the room she takes you down. But first you have to go sit in this one. It would take you a lot longer to get to this point for no reason. Come on, Delphine. Pick it up. So you're the dragon board. I think you're Follow me. Yeah, but I can like sleep in this bed, right? Okay, we want more magic. We've reached level five. That's cool. Uh, and it's time for dual casting. We've been waiting for it, and we finally get it. 
Boom. Let's actually sleep till nighttime. Um, which will first get us rested so we get all of our like magicka back. But then also we want to see if someone else is sleeping around here so that we can feed on them. That is the uh, that's the objective here. Get some food back at us. Empiric powers grow. Now, does anybody actually sleep in this inn? Hey, now, you be careful with that fire. Yeah, shut up. Of course they don't. Close the door, then we can talk. I guess we might as well wait to eat until all this is over anyway. I can go feed on somebody else in town. Goodness, and this is gonna take a while. Okay. Come on, Delphines, hurry up. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. Surprise. I guess you can't be too careful. That I am not your enemy. I, like I said, I'm part of a. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, yes. There's, there's an animation mod. Enemy. Your enemy is down you can do a finisher. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish that there was more stuff that you could do that's like intentional on there and, and stuff. I wish there was like a button for it or something like that, you know, as opposed to just it happening sometimes while you're just using flames, you know? If you don't trust me, you will... Which of these options do I have to click on to get you to go to the next section? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Good. And you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Dragons are they weren't gone. Yeah, I'm on. happening to bring them back to life. I and I figured out we're going to go there and you're going to kill Kynes Grove. Okay. Now we're going to go to Kynes Grove. Okay. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. Let's see, let's see her get into her traveling gear. Boink. Oh, she's in her traveling gear. That's better. Let's get on the road to Kynes Grove. Okay, I'll meet you there. I got to go do some dastardly things real fast. Some absolutely dastardly things apparently nobody sleeps in this inn kind of defeating the purpose of an inn courier i've been looking for you looks like that's it what i can't read it you cannot remove quest item what is it oh is this some creation club thing no well, we're not we're ignoring it i can't drop it but we're ignoring it so we just got to avoid these cultists for a bit here believe the Riverwood Trader people sleep up here. One of us has to do something. Oh. I, said no. No adventures, no I have to finish their no chat history. first. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's, hear Let's go to the house where they like me and where I'm allowed to sleep. And they're bound to be sleeping at this point, right? Oh, it's locked? I thought we were friends! I'm not fighting these guys. There's bound to be an unlocked house around here somewhere, right? Freaking Fandles locked. Locked. Yeah, now they're all going to be locked other than the inn and the trader. But the trader... So I have to just wait for this to be over. I mean, I guess I can give him the claw since we're using money now. That's, there's no reason not to. I get paralyzed if you use sparks. That'd be cool. Maybe you could talk some I don't know what you overheard. Uh, yes, an ornament. You find, I'm going to put this back where it belongs. Yeah, I mean, he'll give me 100 gold for this, which we can use to fund the other crap we have to do, so I don't see why not. 400. Oh, crap. All right, now y'all go to bed. I need something more uh, pressing from you. Perfect. Just don't come up those stairs. Just he didn't see that, right? Help me! Help me! Those fools are actually fighting. My money's on the field. Am I did that count as a crime? Like, do I have a bounty now? Or she just ticked? She's just ticked. Oh wait, hold on. Crime. No. 
that's what you're doing. Yeah, I'd say that's good enough. We'll just peace on out. I just Oh hey there. Listen, I thought we were buds. I thought you were just doing you were just doing me a solid. Don't worry about it. Me. <laughs> She's still chasing me down? My vampiric my vampiric powers receded, so unfortunately I can't like just magic hand her into liking me again right now. Um so torn oh that's that's the wrong quest right now. We'll have to go back up there later. There's no point in uh doing it prematurely. So we need to go this way. Um, is there any reason to take like a Oh, uh, if we can get to the Windhelm stables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take the white run to Windhelm and then we can um pop in and take it out. That's great. Let's uh, get a little bit more illusion power off this guy. Fury! Fight me. Fight me. Fight me. Oh yeah, I got the dual casting now. So he does the, the Kamehameha, you know? Okay, so now we are running to the White Run Stables, which is farther left than my map marker. Got to keep remembering that. Yeah. Yeah, okay, sure. Oh yeah, with the Apprentice Stone, after battles, my magic fills back up fast. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, white run stables are now marked on the map, which is nice. Darn you. Yeah, fight me. No reason not to get all the extra little XP we can get from like wild animals and stuff around here. Perfect. Get our health back up, good. We'll want to get restoration dual casting soon too. Then we want to get the flames perks that give us extra damage on fire spells because damage is going to be important. Um, I mean, I don't think it'll be too long before we've kind of... The well the well will run dry on our spells, for sure. Good thing is we just got a, a good amount of carriage money for the rest of the playthrough, which is good. What did I say? Windhelm? Yeah, Windhelm is my kind's group. Cool. Uh, Skinses, where do you want to go? Uh, Windhelm, please. It is cheaper than any other thing. Well, back and we'll I haven't actually went to Windhelm from a carriage before because I, I ran all the way there from Winterhold. Speaking of Winterhold, when we have to do the whole Septimus Sigmus thing or whatever later, I'm really concerned about getting through that alive. Um, with the, the freezing damage. Oh man, that is an aggressively bad sound. Before we fight the dragon, we'll have to wait until daytime. But we're not worried about it this second. So, oh, the carriage ride. I'm hungry after a long carriage ride. Oh, we're also going to start freezing to death. Whatever. This is Kynes Grove, right? But at Kynes Grove, there's like, like we can go inside and warm up here, I think. Bet we could find somebody to chew on, too. No, you don't want to go up there. A dragon, it's attacking. It flew over the... I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Okay. This is an inn, right? Bound to be some sleeping people if we wait long enough. We can eat, we can rest. Actually, we can't rest unless we pay. I guess we can pay, though. You are warming up. Good. Anybody sleeping around here? I'm hungry. Are you freaking kidding me? Why is this inn just completely empty? Can I just... Can I just be an innkeeper now? Oh, 
man. That's making actual me hungry. That sounds so... Like, ugh. What the heck? Okay, well that's not doing what I need it to. So let's just head on up here and help help out Delphine. Um, magic. Or is my... Yeah, my highborn's ready again. So we should be able to manage this with that. As long as Delphine pulls her weight at all, we should be fine. Work stronghold up there. Oh, we do need to wait till about 8 p.m. so that it, I can have regen back up, because otherwise this is going to be brutal. There we go. Yes, I know. I'm hungry. Oh, wait. I did that outside, too. That was a mistake. Uh, I might not be able to survive this fight from, this is what we came for. like, the cold. I definitely can't. We'll give it a second and see, but no. There's, there's no way I survived this because of the, the cold. I gotta run down here and warm up and then come back. Goodness. So I have to be very cognizant of like forward planning on all this kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm about to die. I am numb. I have become so numb. If you will. I mean, if I have to go down to no stamina, I have to go down to no stamina. But I, I can't freeze to death. That doesn't help any. Where's the darn door? I'm going to die before I get to the door, aren't I? Yeah, if I get stuck on a rock, I am. We're in. We're fine. Okay. But we still can't, like, sleep, right? There's nobody here to munch on? So dumb. Let's just stand here, wait an hour, get warm. Good. But we're starving to death. Which is great. Is there anything over here, wherever this is? This isn't like beds and stuff, is it? Nope. Okay, well, let's go kill a dragon now. I have negative amounts of stamina, but at least I have magic and that regenerates. Oh man, look at the sky. That is gorgeous. That is so pretty. Holy crap. Of course it has fire breath. Why can't we just get some frost dragons in here, huh? Not actual, like, frost dragons, like, characteristic. Like, not the classification of frost dragon, because they're way too strong for me. What do you mean? Yeesh. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a highborn moment. Even then. I am Hear my voice. Once we get him grounded, it's easy peasy from there. Is that another dragon I just heard? That better have been coming out of him. Come on. I need to get as much damage off as I can while this is active. My voice has been silent. Come on, get back to full. Get back to full. Get back to full. Good. I need to ground this guy. Real freaking bad before my highborn wears off because it's about to wear off any second. It just wore off. Darn it. If we can get him on the ground, then we'll be good. Oh, 
good enough. The dual casting edge she's so much magic. Oh, is he downed? He's downed. Okay, we're gonna let the magic regen for a bit while him and Delphine kind of go at it. And then I can swoop in and deal some extra damage to him. The Apprentice Stone is making a big difference though. I can genuinely tell that, but it'll be a pain in the butt if we fight anybody with lightning spells, but we'll deal with that when we get to it. All right, I can uh, do this at least. Should have been doing that already to let it oh i'm dead love it love that that's an insta kill i should have quick saved in the middle of it i'm trying not to quick save mid battle that feels cheap oh, that's dumb it won't let you pause while he's landing on and killing you that made it there or not, but whatever. Just land right back where you were, please. Almost got him with that one. Okay. Come on, dude. Really? Again? This is annoying. Could you land somewhere, dude? Are we serious with this crap? He was just landed there a second ago, so like, I know he can. There we go. Let's do a quick save with him hitting there. That's not what I meant to do. Grab Highborn. What? That was some actual bull crap. on the ground. Just get some residual damage on there. This dude's bound to have a really high fire resistance, which is what's making this stupidly annoying. <laughs> what? I went through him, I swear. Oh, she shot him and, and got him into grounded mode. Oh, up there? Why? Alright, so now we set fire breath. This works. I mean, we're tickling him, but we're getting there. almost could be worth joining the Dark Brotherhood to get um, the Marked for Death shout because it's so good. But I don't... There's so much running around, though. Dead. 
dead. Yeah, I need to get a bigger rock behind behind. To hide behind. <laughs> bigger rock behind behind. <laughs> if I can learn how to talk. Dead. I thought if he got hit by a shot while he was doing that, it would interrupt it. Not that it would just completely ignore it and make it turn to me instead. Close one. What? Is Delphine down right as I reload? Is that what's happening? I think it is. I know he's fighting. So he's chomping on something over there. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh, whatever. I'll make my way back up. Your voice is no match for mine, but look, take my puny fireball! And then watch Delphine kill him. Why'd it give me that if. If it was just freaking watching Delphine kill him. Air is frigid here. Well, hadn't noticed that recently. More like everything was on fire, you know. But whatever, sure, air is frigid. Yeah. Love it. I really wish shooting fire from your hands had any impact on how chilly you are. Uh, shouts. We can learn to become ethereal now. Yes, I would like to... I understand. I would like to unlock... Nice. Um, I can set that to like six, right? Yep. God, uh, it's true. Yes, can we? Really are can we ready. get on with the quest now? I owe you some answers. Go ahead, whatever you want to know. Not a damn thing. Really? Interesting. Come on, damn. come on, come on. Wandering around in the dark. I'm one of the last. Yeah, I did. It took a bit. <laughs> now that dragons are coming, but we got there. This is clear again. The first thing, the Thalmor are our best leader. Before the, our grand, so we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamlin. Nothing's the Empire, and now the uh -huh, who else uh -huh. gains from that? But the fact, if we, problem is that place is. I'm not. Meet me back. Keep an eye on the sky. Back to Riverwood. Love it. You know, if you wanted a freebie fast travel, where was that abandoned shack at? I don't know. The amount I have to sleep, it would end up happening before I wanted it to. Well, unless, where is it? It's not anywhere near where I'm trying to head, right? Where's the abandoned shack? That's an easy cabin. It's like... Oh, it's up there by solitude. Okay. Never mind. Okay, so we run up here. Pop back over to White Run. Sheesh. You cover your, uh, My unmentionables. Beats Karma before you don't have to worry about spoilers. Well, that's good. I'm skipping through all the good dialogue anyway, so I don't know how much could be even be spoiled. Okay, I would like you to take me to White Run, please. Climb and back, and we'll be off. We'll talk to her in Riverwood, and then I'm probably going to end stream for the night. I'm quite exhausted. It's in the middle of the the wee hours of the morning here, so we will be finishing this up here in just a second. Um, but let's go chat to her in Riverwood first. I officially can't sprint anymore because I'm so hungry, so um, while we're in Riverwood, hopefully Cam Camilla, is that her name? Won't be mad at me anymore so that I can go back to eating her you know that's what we're shooting for uh it's a slow walk over there though another dragon i'd really really rather not especially not in the daytime let's just go ahead and uh let's go ahead and make it night just in case 
it sucks because I'm gonna I'm gonna lose a lot of magicka. But I, I during the day, what am I even supposed to do? Yeah, I've got like no magic now. I don't know. I mean, do I need any more dragon souls anytime soon? I don't know that I do. Because they give you... Like, the graveyards give you the info for Dot. Like, you don't have to go get your own dragon soul for that. Here's Chili. Goodness, I can't see anything with all these weird filter effects. There's Riverwood, though. I can see enough to tell that. We've got a bed here we can sleep in, and then let me go see if I can go have a little snack first, though. That would be nice if it if I did. Going with regular vampire, right? Yeah, the the oh, not these guys again. The Master Vampire Quest would just be too much of a sidetrack for it to make sense for this run. Um, so yeah, I'm just staying regular vampire for the time being. I mean, for yes, for the entire run should be. I, I, I don't see me getting to the point where I would, I would go the Master Vampire side of things. Oh, now it's locked because... I'm guessing this door's locked too? Darn it. Okay, so we have to head to the inn. Can't feed on anybody here. That's the bummer. Is going to be trying to feed on people without lockpicks. That's going to make this kind of tricky. Trying also not to engage the uh, Dragonborn DLC. <laughs> I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan. Um. So I have Vampire Seduction. I can use that to feed on somebody before we leave here. Um, you got no clothes. Glad you noticed. Well, since we're already starving to death anyway, let's just... Actually, let's just go sleep in the bed. What? It won't let us sleep in the bed anymore? Oh, well. Let's just... Uh, huh. It's going to go 24 hours. I'm already starving to death. There's no reason not to. And get all my powers back and all that kind of stuff. Hello. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. I've been doing this a long time. And the Thalmor. I can Dolphin's kind of annoying, in my contact. opinion. His name is. I'll get. While you're doing that, meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Sounds good. Be careful. So I have to go meet him in Solitude now. Okay. Is there anybody that uses any of these beds? I can't really feed on anybody here. Just out of curiosity, could I use this Vampire Seduction on one of these cultists? They're bound to be higher level than that, right? Over here. Yeah, no. That's what I thought. Just wanted to check. Um, okay. So now, we go back to the White Run Stables, and this time we go to Solitude. Great. I guess I'll go ahead and do that. And in White Run, there's somebody I can feed on in White Run. I just want to not be starving when I start next time. You know, like I think that would generally be a good way to, to leave off. So we'll take care of that real quick. Um, let's give some walking music. And then yeah, we'll we'll be good for the night. Five and a half hour stream. Not bad for first one back in a little while. And I'll probably be on here more tomorrow, so there's no point in wearing into the ground right now. <laughs> Become weakened from hunger. Bitty -bitty -doo. So we go from here over to Solitude, but first we really need to find... Actually, no, we should find somebody to feed on the other side because the cart rides take so darn long that you're starving by the time you get there. So I should really just go ahead and... 
and travel over and then a Catless farm find somebody to feed on and then I'll I'll probably end it over there. Seems like a good plan. Problem is that I'll be tired though, but that's just I mean I'm always gonna have some something. I don't know if there's ever a scenario where I could be good on everything all at once for any significant amount of time. So, solitude, here we go. Hooray! Can I ask for better weather? I don't know. I'm freezing out here in my undies. Alright. Now we just gotta go find somebody who's asleep. And then give him a little munchy munch. Well, except for that it's daytime. It's fine. We will wait till nighttime. And then we'll give somebody a munchy munch. That's the plan. Good. You are hated and feared. Nice. Okay, I just saw this door closing, so somebody went in here. And it's not locked. Can I help you? Now I'm just waiting for you to go to bed. What time do you people go to sleep? <laughs> naked, 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 naked. You need to leave. Oh freaking heck. Really? I need to find somebody who's by themselves to use my power on. What about it here? Locked, because of course it is. Uh trying to find this to trying to do this in a way that does not like give you a bounty every time is kind of a headache. Wait, what about, there's no shot this guard's a low enough level, right? Nope. I don't even think that bothered him. <laughs> That's interesting, so if it fails, it doesn't like trigger thing. I mean, it's, it's powers are a once a day thing, so I have to like not use it, but. There's been another dragon attack. So yeah, we need to just go find somebody who's off on their own that's not a guard and turn him into a thrall and feed on him, so. <sighs> then we'll we'll be good. All right. Oh, this whole thing. So they're Maybe there's somebody asleep in here. This is an inn. Right, isn't it? Is this not an inn? Yeah, it is. No. No. Am I downstairs? Are you serious right now? Let's run through this conversation. What do you need? Really? Here's the deal. Don't plan on... Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. But, okay. I don't need anything. I don't have anything. I think they expect um, do I have anything I can drop? I do not. More. Please sleep. Fantastic. This is exactly what I needed. Feeding time. Help me! Help me! Okay, so he woke up from that for some reason. Let me try and stand on the other side of the bed before I do it. And if that doesn't work, I'll just use my power on him. Seems there's always more to be done. Why did he get up right then? It's because he thinks I'm trying to talk to him? Maybe we stand like here. Seems there's always more to be done. Dude, that's not how sleeping works. Ah! Whoa, whoa. Whoa. What did you do? Let's just fill up on this guy. Glad you 
decided to check us out. Yep, me too. Fantastic. Um, if I could sleep, though, it'd be great. Soft sheets and hard liquor. What's not to like? Yeah, because I'm now tired. Welcome to the winking. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll Mine show for you a day. your room. That's just why. So maybe I can now sleep here and then call it from there. Oh, yeah. And now he's back to normal. Okay, cool. So you can do that on somebody, and then as long as nobody else sees it, it's all chill. That's great. That's really great. Which one of these beds will let me sleep in it? I don't have to wait for him to get all the way up here. Of course, I picked the wrong one. Okay. I think most of this is indoors anyway, so I'm okay if it's still... I and mean, we'll have to take the carriage over there or whatever, which will take a while. So daytime is fine here. Let me know if there's anything else Fantastic. I am well rested. Wait. What is weakened from? I thought that was from being hungry, but I just ate a bunch. I am satisfied. What does that mean? Is that like a disease? Um, afflictions. Time spent while unwell. Linger long after you've improved your condition. They naturally wear off or can be cured like other diseases. Okay. Huh. Okay. Well, I think that, um... That's going to do it for today. We'll start with the Thalmor Embassy next time. I mean, that's a lot of progress in just under six hours. I don't know. I, I don't know if we're halfway yet or anything, but we're we're definitely getting some good headway down. And we got all of our, like, chores to, to start off. So, I mean, we are main quest all the way through to the end at this point. So, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, but I do need to get some sleep. So... For anyone that stopped by stream today, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I am Magoo. Peace and out. Later.